because then there was some weird running meme once I finally showed a picture of my wife that they said she looks like a horse and I was like I need my horse baby oh. She's like my mother and my lover I love the horse I love my horse baby I love my horse baby I love the horse baby dog She's like my mother and my lover yeah I love my horse baby She's like my mother and my lover dog I love my horse baby dog You're my soul mate some makeup on your eyes right before you cry never ever say goodbye marry till i die you're my soul man i just wanna get on top of you and ride until the sunset baby let's go get some door dash let's go to burger king fuck all the junkies in front they're just shooting up like they got guns Let me get you a nice little burger with the buns I got all the funds I just wanna chill and have fun You can play video games as long as I get drunk Make some quick pulls, those are my rules And if you follow them I might say I love the horse baby dog She's like my mother and my lover, yeah I love my horse, baby I love the horse? I need my horse, baby There's nothing whatsoever on my wife that looks like that I love my horse, baby She's like my mother and my lover, dog I love my horse, baby, dog you're my soul man Put some makeup on your eyes right before you cry Never ever say goodbye, marry till I die You're my soul man You're my soul man I need my horse baby oh. She's like my mother and my lover I love my horse, baby I love my horse, baby I need my horse, baby oh. She's like my mother and my lover I love my horse, baby I love my horse, baby you wanna know what he did? He took the face of the escort and put a horse's head on it. And he said, my wife looks like a horse. I need my horse, baby. Oh. She's like my mother and my lover. The rain is very heavy. Heaviest of rain. Just the rain has lots of mass and weight and volume. Thank you.
I Vega has joined the gang. Canceling my membership because you used this song. Wait, shit. All right, we're done with that. Good morning, good morning. I hope all of you are having a fantastic Saturday, whether it's morning for you or not. Um, also, y'all are definitely hating on the best DSP song, uh, Heavy Is The Rain. I don't know what was up with that. The song bops. I don't care what any of you say. Some of you can say, Mole Man, you're wrong. It was definitely Heavy Is The Rain. Um... Uh... Shout out Iviga for the re-up this morning on the membership. Uh, make sure to cancel next time, and I'll be sure to play more of those banger DSP tracks, dude. But I thought it... Whoa, that's not the screen I want to show. Ag, 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 ag. Um, but I thought it would put us in the mood for what we're going to watch today. The Heavy Rain Style Stream. Uh, how heavy is the rain, by the way? Uh, very heavy. It's... Uh, it, it's, it's uh, Full of mass and weight, in case you didn't know. All the X's in chat for the heavy rain bop. Fan world, all of you. All of you. Um, yeah, we're going to be watching the heavy rain style throwback stream this morning. I haven't seen any of it, but he did it twice. So I've got both streams. How far we make it in, I have no idea. We got the pause counter, um, because you know he loves to pause. So if any of you could keep me true to the pause counter i would appreciate it if you got the time if not i'll do my best i will try and count all of them as accurately as possible i don't think i have anything more than that we're not going to do a schedule segment right now uh, i'm going to put that somewhere in the middle we'll just get right into it heavy rain style been a fan since shout out raw phil Hi, for getting evening, me the everyone. link to this hello i'm just sitting down we're about to Chill for a little bit before we begin with tonight's very fun and special Retro React stream, which I hope you guys are ready to chill and reminisce and laugh and enjoy the past together here ready with me. Ready to chill. Unless you've never seen it, in which case I think you're in for a treat. How's everyone tonight? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to hello. DSP Throwback. That's right. This is only my third stream on the channel since I uh, relaunched it back in January. And I hope that you're all doing well and you're ready for a nice, relaxing night of retro fun here with the original Heavy Rain playthrough. Very nice. And, uh, man, I'm excited to try this. Awesome. Very so excited. we're actually going to start from the real beginning. We're not starting from the beginning of the playthrough. We're starting from the beginning of the playlist, which, yes, an actual unboxing video. Remember when those used to be prominent? Oh, my God. Unboxing things. Yeah. I forgot. He, to do he, them because he did this with the Red Dead thing as well, where he had like a video before he actually started the game know, where he just talked over the dashboard. Now we get the unboxing. Yeah, it's gonna be neat. This is what the people wanted back in the day, you guys. 
They loved when I looked at the very box on my countertop. It was very yeah, meaningful. Really got me noticed on YouTube 14 years ago. Awesome. How's everyone tonight? How are you all doing? Oh, I find you all well. Remember the table? Remember this table? This table was filmed quite a lot back in the day. Retro my underscore content. Jim underscore has joined the gang. <laughs> Big ups, Retro Jim, for joining right, the, the gang. Age really of gaming, appreciate it, brother. Spot. The PS3 era was so great, says Jack Yak. By the way, thank you, Jack Yak, who became a member tonight. I appreciate that. Guys, this channel, FYI, really is for preservation and posterity purposes. Meaning, I am not intending for this channel to be a major part of the money-making portion of my business. But a lot of work goes oh, into this why channel. Why are you telling Every people Every single this? day, there's videos being edited and uploaded. I'm re-watching them. I'm retitling them. You know what you don't need to do when you make content? You don't need to tell your audience which portions are for and are not for money making. That you don't need to do that. I've not I just don't understand how you can start making content, enjoy making content and then slowly evolve. I guess it wasn't all that slowly, but evolve into telling people outright which parts are for and not for making money. What are you talking about, bro? Make the content. Shut the hell up. You paint yourself in the worst possible light. We haven't even started yet. Um, it would be great if you could support the channel in some way tonight. As simple as a super yeah. Chat. Remember this table oh, exactly. Channel, How boring. Some memberships to fellow viewers or a tip. All would be great. Guys, remember great this light tonight. bulb? It was the you one that used to be in my ring light. My goal with this channel is this yeah. Is it's gotten and us many years. One and then continue and finish Final Fantasy 13, but to bring L.A. Noir into the mix, which is a playthrough that's also missing from the internet right now. I would love to see that return. Um, and then after that, the other expansions to that, Amanda like for Wolf example, has joined the game. Um, Big up Spando Wolf for joining the game. Oh, really appreciate it, brother. All right, let me get rid of the fake 672. Ack, ack, ack. Fake 672, Sorry. get out of here. You guys here. let me know if you see controlling world. and stuff going on. I'll take care of it. Um, but anyway, um, no, to bring other things, for example, I was saying later in the year, we could do Undead Nightmare, the DLC for Red Dead, come October. How cool would that be to see the Red Dead DLC actually launch October and go over the month of October, one, you know, one part a day till it's done? Um, or bringing back uh, playthroughs that you guys like from the past, but basically they're not very good right now when they're from the state. <laughs> you know, the classic playthroughs from back in the It's day, all of your playthroughs, man. What are you talking about? Visual, better audio. Proper thumbnails edited. Let's bring back these playthroughs that weren't very good. A bunch of ten-minute videos, right? In fact, I have a little update. So, as you know, I have uh, some editors who are working on this stuff behind the scenes. One of them. Shout out our team of editors. Days, That's the closest this. you'll ever get to a shout Fallout out. Fallout Three, and ran Fallout Three through a music removal tool, and it seems to work. And what I mean I by that. Is, okay, shut up, remember, the shut reason up. That I cannot believe he actually wants to go back and watch his Fallout 3 playthrough, given just how drunk he really was. If you haven't seen it, I, I beg you, go go find the parts, um, even if most of it is muted because of the music. He is absolutely shit face plastered in every single part. It's insane. And I can't believe that he would want to watch that. He would want to go back and reminisce about that. That's not a man who's moved on. That's not a man who isn't the same guy he was yesterday. Fallout 3 is a playthrough that likely I would not be able to watch again on a retro react night like tonight is because of the music. But they may be able to remove the music and therefore it would be able to be watched again. <laughs> and of course, that would be awesome because number one, I would be able to have the playthrough go live here edited and looking much better. But in addition to that, I'd be able to maybe do a react to it as well. Right now, I cannot react to Fallout 3. That music gets claimed and blocked. Uh, Drew, it's right better away, and worse. Be it's better that. because it's more entertaining because he's so even worse things, at the video okay? games. Um, but it's, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's worse because it's actually worse gameplay. Just one of many things. And uh, I hope that you like guys... Someone, like, if you think he doesn't understand games and mechanics now, like him playing you know, drunk Fallout 3, like, enjoy it. someone and said it in chat, uh, uh, some Frenchie, yeah, he just missed the entrance to the Final presidential Fantasy subway multiple problem. times. Just, as of tonight, just walking past shit that is in plain view. Uh, Red Dead is just about halfway through. I believe one or two more parts, and Red Dead is actually officially halfway through its playthrough. Final Fantasy Thirteen is just about to hit halfway through. It's that far. So, um, we'll see what happens. It looks like the real 672 accidentally got hidden. 
It looks like someone tried to uh, to moder uh, moderate the fake 672 and click the wrong one. I, c I took Yo, care of Yo, Duty Streams was in the chat. Real Look at him there. should be all right. 672, are you here? Can you talk? Hi, Phil. I'm Argentinian, and I'm restricted from gifted memberships. Hype for harm for the harmful slurs. You got erroneously moderated. Duty, I guess. Hopefully, you're, you're okay. Who knows if that's the real Duty? Come out. He's probably you? already banned. You? There he is. He's here. Slayer, good evening. Good to have you here. Yes, Slayer. What a video about Singapore laws today. Your country, again, so many people criticize my your country. My God, Slayer. Go laws, home. And they come to find out. Basically, Go to Minecraft. Your laws are. Just do it. I'm subject, sick of it here. I'm not going to say it right now because it's shocking. You ruined the reacts. You ruined the throwbacks. I, that really surprised me. I was like, what the heck? So that was fascinating, man. How was dinner? It was good. It was uh, uh, chicken, baked chicken with uh, breading that my wife makes, her own recipe, and some uh, green beans and mashed potatoes. Nice American dinner. I agree, Warren. This is painful. Mm -hmm. We just got here. We haven't even started the goddamn playthrough yet. What are we doing? When you, moved? you mean the origami that came with this game? I had it for many years, and I had it in my Christmas tree. And I believe that when I moved, I took it with me. But basically, like, a lot of those original decorations that I had for a Christmas tree, eventually I did get rid of. Like, I don't have the Ryu Street Fighter for headband anymore. I don't have the banana pouch that came with Donkey Kong Country, whatever the hell it was. I don't have any don't fun have ornaments on my tree anymore. I just have a bunch of lazy, <clears throat> generic Christmas balls. Yeah. How, how fun, riveting, and hey, responsible are you, you mature Haseo adult? Haseo just gifted five legit memberships to the channel. Yo, Paul J. Hey, Brazel Jr. just tip or just super chatted $2 to the channel. Whoa. <laughs> At Atlas, will we see your sandwich shop again? Uh, yes. Yes, you will. Uh, eventually. One day. Soon, maybe. I put it in the sandwich shop analogies when I can. It's just sometimes they don't roll off my brain the way they should. It's because uh, my brain's completely rotted all the way through, in part due to the guy. So much to say, oh, for supporting the channel. Congratulations. I know I usually use the little one well in the corner, made. but I, I uh, Slim D really should just use the big blown up Ultrasonic one. Ultrasonic Asquake and Matt Mage. Awesome. Welcome to the Throwback Club. <laughs> yes, hey, we'll the call throwback it. Welcome club. Welcome to the Throwback Club. By the way, I throw it back. just so you guys know, tonight we're going to be doing this for around two to two and a half hours. Um... We're doing it again next week, but I don't know if we're doing this same game. Remember how every time we do a throwback stream, I do a poll? So we're going to do a poll over the week. What should gonna we do, do next a poll. weekend for Dude, can we, for another one? Can should we play we the goddamn game? Rain again? Should we do Dark Souls 1 again? Should we do Red Dead Redemption? Or should we do something different? You know, let's think about it over the week. I would say Bully was an awesome choice. Someone came up with that when I was like, Bully sounds good. But not a lot of people voted for it this week. I was surprised. <clears throat> All right. Sounds good. Nothing? You got nothing. Yeah, there you go. Corey says, this is the playthrough that made me find yep, your content. There you go. Sweet. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We get it. Been, been a fan since, since Heavy Raid. Raid. I didn't know who Dark Side Classic. was. I was more known as being a Street Fighter player because I was playing Street Fighter 4 a ton. So that's what I was known for at this time. And then all of a sudden, you know, I played Heavy Rain, and this playthrough just blew up on the internet. You're going to see every part has over 100,000 views. It's crazy how many views I got on this playthrough back in the day. Oh, excuse me. I just want to point out that they voted for the heavy rain playthrough two weeks in a row. Like they yeah. they watched this and were like, "Yeah, I could do that again. I'd love to see that." Ah. For those of you who have not seen this playthrough, prepare to laugh. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna do a preface before we start. But you know, 14 years ago when I played this game, it was a very different place on YouTube. I wasn't even look. This is the original Dark Side Phil channel. So this wasn't even before I was doing this for a job. This was my hobby, and I was just dicking around constantly doing games like this and doing this kind of irreverent commentary. You're going to see I am having a blast with this game at the beginning, making fun of it like crazy. It's really lampooning the shit out of it. And it's hilarious because of that. Now, some okay. of it is kind of cringe because a lot of the time back then, I really pushed the boundaries of what you could do. Bro, listen to how he's like, he's hyping this up. Be prepared to laugh. My content, irreverent. People love this shit. It was the best thing ever. And basically, I'm the funniest person that's ever lived. But it might be offensive because I acted like a huge racist back in the day. But don't worry about that because I'm not him anymore. Sound good? <laughs> Just, dude, just play the goddamn video. So just understand that that commentary is not representative of what, everything I would do today. Uh, 
But it is funny as shit. Uh, thank you, Sparky31, who did a super chat. Says, Dark Souls 1. You should play some Dark Souls again. Every once in a while, people want me to play Dark Souls. Uh, I'm always down for that. Of course, I did start an Elden Ring second run last year. Never, never went back to it. So I don't know if that's something you'd be interested in. Or if you actually want me to see me play original Dark Souls again. There you go. <clears throat> Revan says, I remember playing this game. I beat it in one whole day. Wow. Uh, Slayer, yes, I saw your message. Sorry, I didn't respond. I did see your yeah, message. Yeah, Slayer, I saw your message. Day. Shut I just, the I don't want to hell up and I move on, bro. Matter of this stream, so. <clears throat> All right. All right, so guys, this is a very interactive stream, meaning even though I'll be watching and reacting just oh like my you, God. I'm going to be talking with you all night. We're going to be hanging out. It's a chill environment. It's time to have fun with the game. Going back for the first time in 14 years to a classic playthrough like this is awesome. I know it's going to be a great ride. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, that being said, uh, hey, the contributions are greatly appreciated. Out. This channel mostly is done for posterity purposes. And when I do this once in a while, make a couple bucks. So tonight would be the night for that. You know, I'd make like a dollar a day on this channel otherwise. Not even actually. I think it's like 50 cents a day on ad revenue because it's just two playthroughs that are half done. You know what I mean? But over time, that will change. Um, so thank you tonight for any contributions, any support. And uh, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of an intro, and we're actually going to do the unboxing first, and then we're going to go into the playthrough, okay? There we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it sound so meaty? Run it back, run it back. I want to hear him pop that bug open we're again. Do a little bit of an intro, and we're actually going to do the unboxing first, and then we're going to go into the playthrough, okay? Gabriel with the super chat tonight. This is about That's some wild. cartoon Thanks, shit right there, dude. Now, guys, there, on these dude. super chats, can you thumb them up? Can you do a <laughs> thumbs up on the super chats? Because here's the weirdest thing. That was available to me That's so at one point, goofy, and it looks like dude. they removed it. But I swear people were actually doing that on the couple super chats that I got over on DSP uh, Reacts today. Earlier today. Like, people were doing super chats, and people were thumbing it up. So why is it available on some YouTube channels and not others? I have no idea. You know, oh, speaking of things that are available on YouTube uh, channels. Or, hang on. I don't know. Right. Maybe it's a uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, Maybe like it's a, a whatchamacallit. A candy bar, I guess. Where some people got the feature and others didn't. So my React channel has it, but not the throwback of the React. channels. This is weird. It's very odd. <clears throat> Why are we watching the unboxing? Because unboxings are a thing of the past, and it's cool on a throwback channel to experience the past, is it not? Uh, right. no, stupid, but... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Block, report, or you super chat, that's it. Okay. Alright. Uh, no, this is not you, Kirk. That is not you at all. I'm gonna ban this account because they're claiming that they're Kirk and trying to cause problems. Get out of here. How dare they? <laughs> this Kirk isn't problem, known right? to cause problems right. or anything. All right, are we ready to start? Shall we begin? You still have some of your, your games in your cupboard? Slayer, that's awesome. You know, I... I Slayer, that's awesome. Can you quit? I quit no typing in chat, questions. man. We'd like to start the stream. They were retired many years ago. Most of these... At any, at any point. After the fact. <clears throat> What's funny is I rebought this game. I traded it in. I rebought it to do a second run later, and I traded it in again. I think. All right, let's uh, let's get ready here. <clears throat> that little All beep right. reminded me of the ask the FYI, king. Uh, man, it, motherfucker! It. It's not that I'm ignoring you. I don't see it yet, so I'll keep my eyes peeled for any tips tonight. Um. And like I said, again, this is a chill stream. This is not just being ultra-focused on this. We can talk. We can, you know, reminisce about the old days of content creation, the old days of gaming, the old days of YouTube. It's all good. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Ready? Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. So ready. How long have we already wasted? Like, actually, how long? We, I mean, oh, I didn't get a timestamp at the beginning. It was like 23 minutes he started talking. So we sat here for 13 minutes, just shot the shit. Very Hello, cool. everyone, and welcome cool. 
to DSP Throwback. Tonight we're doing something special. It's another one of my Retro React streams, and in fact, this is only the third stream I've ever done on this channel. Um, and we're doing something special. People, over the years, when asked what is the most prominent, the most memory-jarring, nostalgic, resonating playthrough that Darkside Phil or DSP has ever done, the answer that most people actually give who have been around the block and remember back in the day when I was a prominent YouTuber is Heavy Rain. This playthrough... I gotta wonder how much of that is a meme, though. Out opportunity for me to become a name in the gaming community on YouTube. Before Heavy Rain came out in early 2010, I was more known as the irreverent guy who did commentary on Street Fighter 4 and every once in a while. He saying irreverent. Like, game. He, like it but means it really something. wasn't until Heavy Rain that my video started to very prominently be featured on the main channel page of YouTube under the gaming category. And every single video in this series, 50 plus videos, received over 100,000 views over the years. I mean, it was crazy how awesome people yeah, received was crazy. this kind of commentary. 100,000 really like views is kind of a lot. Uh, my particular style. Not he would so never get that play, now. But instead the opportunity to explore and make fun of the game and environments, right? Like, there's so much in Heavy Rain that you can walk around and mess with, and it's hilarious to kind of investigate and observe and commentate on what's happening in the environments. Now, the game gets very serious. <laughs> it does. And actually, this is the, I would say, probably the why did, first Why did that get it? <laughs> like he, uh, there's a lot of stuff to mess around with. It's fun to mess around with it, but it gets very serious. <laughs> why? Why do we get that? What is, what is going on there? investigate and observe and commentate on what's happening in the environments now the game gets very serious <laughs> it does i just actually, i don't was, understand what was I funny there probably the first game like this where it was like a murder investigation game and my yes that that's thick dong he absolutely started off the stream in the youtube mode fellating himself you know, it's very cool this game that are getting uh kidnapped start the stream murder, fellating like, yourself you know, start well, the video fellating yourself it kind of it's all very meaningful of being like a horror murder mystery right um I really enjoyed this game back in the day. Um, I had only played one other game of its style, and it was from Telltale Games. It was the Back to the Future Telltale Games narrative-based game. But I had only played that one. That was it. I had never really done another narrative-based game. Um, I call these games choose-your-own-adventure games, meaning there's limited gameplay. It's a lot of quick-time events and like choices to determine where the story is going to go. But it really is a story game as opposed to, say, anything that's really skill-based or action-based. Uh, and it's funny because back in the day, a lot of people thought after Heavy Rain came out, this is the direction games were going to go. People were absolutely sold that you were going to see games go more towards like movie-based, narrative-based experiences. Now, to some extent, that did happen with Telltale Games and a few other releases from Quantic Dream, the company that made Heavy Rain. I just, today, I have, I have really nothing to say anymore. right now. Even the ones He's that just... come out. Uh, just are rambling again right they really have scaled back and now i think people want more like the longer experiences give me a hundred hour rpg give me the ultra challenging from soft style game or give me an, a cooperative uh game with give friends me the ultra hard from soft style game. -based games really Man. have fallen back in scale and prominence you don't really see them anymore okay now if you want to talk about throwback okay first of all as you can see this playthrough is on my original Dark Side Phil channel. That's my old channel before I ever did this for a living. It was just a hobby of mine, okay? I would go to work, work all day long at an office job, come home, and making these videos was my way to unwind, right? This was not anything that was monetized. There was no monetization of gameplay back in the day. None of my content on Dark Side Phil is monetized at all. This is all raw gameplay for the sake of fun before there was any opportunity to make it big and be a YouTuber who made this kind of content. <laughs> pretty much a lot of people get into YouTube today. Oh, I want to do that. I want to be that YouTuber and have it be my job. There was no job doing this back then, right? Um, I mean, right off the bat, just take a look before we even hit play here. This playthrough starts with the hey, launch morning, day unboxing of the game. Now, this was before I made this an ongoing Yeah, Vaporware 336 with the two. Unboxing. Almost 40, 40 minutes and no gameplay. Instead, Jesus, I know. Isn't was, it unreal? Uh, Isn't it unreal? This was a series of stuff where, you know, what I would like to say is that I felt that back in the day, there was a lot of content in games, physical games, right? That was worth uh, exploring, essentially. And 
you would unbox a game and there'd be all kinds of stuff inside of it that was like little goodies and things, collectibles, little. Oh, yeah, dude. They used to put little candies and, and like a coloring oh, book page coupons, in there, all folded you know, up so, so you could much. color while it installed the game. Yeah, yeah. Like life was different point. back then. You guys you wouldn't know because you weren't born game. yet in the right. 2000s. But back then it was neat. So I would actually go and buy the game at GameStop or wherever, come home, unbox it, and have that be a separate video. And then I would actually play the game and it would be kind of a part of the playthrough. Um,. But that was a long time ago, right? Like, li literally, that was ages ago. Um, and now that's just not prominent anymore. This was an ongoing series that I did for a very long time, uh, unboxing of games. And it just another thing that's kind of a remnant of old YouTube. No one does those really much anymore because there's nothing in a game to unbox. Nobody right? does unboxings uh, anymore because everybody thing. just the buys their games digitally. Who would have thought? Table that folded upwards and would actually elevate in front of me so I could do things with the keyboard or the camera. Guys, nice. nobody does food videos. reviews anymore because everybody's TV just eating food cube. So, like, everything in this... Turns out when everybody has the exact same product and there's nothing to it, there's no reason to do a review or an unboxing of everything because everybody has food cube. Okay? Uh, quick shout-out Shout-out all of my food cube enjoyers. Mr. Puffy Nipples. Wow. First tip of the night, $1. twenty-five tip. Heavy Rain is still one of my favorite games. Um... I love Heavy Rain. The only uh, problem how? with a game like this <laughs> uh, that once you know the plot, basically you'll never get that element back. You know what I'm saying? Like once you know what's going on in the plot and how it, how it goes, you can never get that element of surprise back. Because I remember when I played this game, the way I handled it is every night when I got home from work, I would play it a set amount of time. And then I would actually do a day one end day recap video what I think what are my final thoughts from the all the gameplay I did that day oh I used to do a daily rap back in the day very cool killer, stuff like that and it continued over the course of hey, good morning, the game it was basically like a review at the end of each session which was Paul really J. Brazel Jr. with another two the at King Be Cruel no big ups ability. bravo on Once Phil losing it hey, yes morning, King Be Cruel gave us the spoon bit certain scenes pan out differently because Joel Rao with the two euros pig explaining opening up a physical box I agree dude because I don't know how to open up my own game most cases. Most games don't have that. Most games are just like, well, everyone's going to make it to the end no matter what. This one doesn't. This one you can actually make wrong choices and have characters not be in the rest of the story. Okay? So that was unique, and I really liked doing that. Um, but for me, it's kind of hard to go back to a game like this to play because I already know everything in it, right? Like, I already know the options and everything, so... <clears throat> There you go. So hang All on, right, this so. dude, this is the guy, this is the guy that bought how many DVDs and Blu-rays, right? And like, once you watch a movie, you already know what's going on in it. So why would you, why would you watch it again, DSP? But we bought a thousand DVDs and Blu-rays. Heavy Rain, a game that has multiple endings, choices to be, to be made, and some sort of interactive gameplay style. Why would I play that? I already know the story. This just doesn't add up, man. It just doesn't add up. Not me sitting here defending Heavy Rain or anything, because personally, I don't like the game all that much. Um, but it, uh, th that logic just doesn't follow through. It just doesn't make any sense. I think we're going to get started with the unboxing, which used to be was called Release Day Unboxing, but this literally happened before I made the Release Day Unboxing series. That's why it's called Launch Day Unboxing. Let's see how it goes, and, uh, and then we're going to get into the playthrough, okay? Now... I haven't done this in a couple of weeks. Please, guys, in the chat, let me know how the volume levels and everything sound. If you need to get the, the video audio to be louder or whatever, let me know. And what up, Joey we'll B? Just on the fly. Glad you could make this stream today. Ado, here it comes. Here we Heavy go. Rain. Without further ado, 40 classic. minutes of stalling. Original here on DSP Throwback. Let's uh, let's watch this unboxing. Hey everyone, it's DSP. Uh, once again, <laughs> it is a launch day playthrough that will begin today, and as you can see. We're going to start Heavy Rain. Now keep in mind that I am in the United States, so this is the U.S. edition of the game. I know that there have been other playthroughs of Heavy Rain on the internet already. It's probably because people... Why did he not use a tripod? The European version. For some reason, you get the, the shakiest cam in the world. Up in Europe. And also, the only place that you could even buy the collector's edition of this game was in Europe. So unfortunately, I had to get the regular version I think the dude the had game. like early onset um, Parkinson's so right the bat, or you something. Get a couple cool things. First of all, here's the game Heavy Rain, obviously. You know, some nice box art. <clears throat> what I liked about it is this is pretty cool, all right? You open it up and you say, oh, it's the standard, you know, your instruction booklet, your CD. And then when I pulled out the... It's funny because I say it's the standard instruction booklet and CD. Right. Today, th th you don't even get that. Today, you open the box. There's nothing in it at all. It's empty. It's just the game disc. Literally nothing. No instructions. Not Literally nothing, nothing, dude. Nothing, nothing at all. Empty, right? So pretty cool that this had it in there. But yeah, I now, now that I've heard that, I remember... 
I wanted the collector's edition because this game had been hyped. Of course you did, because you're a greedy consumer. Military style would fit it. So I thought, oh, I'll, I'll spend the extra money. I'll get, I'll get the collector's edition for a special unboxing. And it just didn't exist. You couldn't get it in the U.S. You had to have been in Europe to get it. I guess Quantic Dream only did a European version of the collector's edition. So I just got the standard here. Instruction book. I said, oh, what's that behind it? Oh, get out of here. And what it actually is, it's the origami from the box art. You Whoa. actually have a piece of origami that you can fold cool to be like the origami for the origami killer. I thought that was a neat little, you know, something, a neat little How thing cool to include is that? in the game. I wonder that's if this actually neat. has anything to play into it. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Oh, I can't even read that. What does that say? Or just origami. Oh. Hate. How, how do you like how the, the camera doesn't focus, right? <laughs> Again, using a handheld camera. It, you know, 720p back like then. Pause. Not Yo, he's pause. shitting on his own video. And you have to wonder if, like, the, you know how sometimes kids play games. How do you like how my setup it's sucked and everything looked like shit on my old videos? Haha, ha, you guys watched it and gave me a bunch of money, though. I don't, but... I don't want to spoil or anything. I haven't played the game. What yet. an yeah, asshole. Isn't it, isn't it true that, like, there's certain origamis that you, the kids will go like this, they'll fold and unfold, and then they open it and it says a word, and I guess that's part of a game or something? I don't know. Game I don't know what those cool. are called, but I just seen one the other day, and I'm not surprised that DSP it, never did any of that kind of shit. Of That'd require him to have some sort of communication with other people. And I have it physically, too. 672 says, yes, it's a shame this era of gaming is essentially dead. Hey, I know. Oh, I know. I really wish it wasn't. I really wish that, that this kind of stuff was still prominent, but yeah, what can you do, right? Uh, so anyway. Uh, yeah, fortune tellers. This, this, this era, era of gaming is essentially dead. Um... I miss the physical collector's editions. I think everybody does, right? Physical yeah, collector's editions. Yeah, and, and Stu's got a point. Not only would it require friends, but it would pretty much require a girl because DLC. girls were the only it's ones I knew that had one. those, and I definitely didn't know how to make one. I was too stupid, dude. I was like, okay. eating lead and drawn on the you know, desk or whatever. The so. Uh, and then because I pre-ordered a GameStop, and this is kind of a new thing, I didn't even hear about it. Yes, we can't talk yet. to girls. He was going to be married, so stupid. This, this piece of uh, documentation here says that <laughs> the Heavy Rain Chronicles are a series of downloadable, playable episodes that expand the Heavy Rain experience. The first chapter, The Taxidermist, allows players to play as an investigative journalist, Madison Page, on her first assignment tracking a serial killer. Similar to Heavy Rain, the story of The Taxidermist unfolds in different ways based on the decisions and actions of the player and it says it's valued at $4.99 if you actually flip it on the back and you read all the rules and conditions it says that this is basically a downloadable content and it's not going to be available until the 31st of May Very so because cool. I pre-ordered this game at GameStop I got the first episode because I gave them the, the money Sonic before I knew whether the free, game was going to be good or not classic cool, consumer now, style unlike other people you know who, who are going to have to just kind of spend five dollars to figure it out I'm going to get the first one for free and if I like it and I think it was worth five dollars I'll continue to buy these Except, Except, those who don't know, it never happened. Here is the story of what happened with Heavy Rain. The game oh released and actually was critically acclaimed. For the most part, people really liked it and wanted more. So then the Taxidermist TLC released a few months later, and people really liked that and were dying for more of these DLCs to be released. And here's what happened. Sony, because remember, this was a Sony exclusive at the time, actually went to Quantic Dream, the game developers, and said, so we want you to make Heavy Rain a PS Move title. We want this to be a flagship title for our new oh motion controls. Oh my god, controls. move controls? Yeah, motion so controls? DSP them. already hates and it. Quantic he wasn't even going to get a chance. Well, we don't really see the value in that. Our Yo, game's already out. We Jika, man. Get tons of extra sales. Thanks for the sub, brother. Do that. But Sony was like, well, listen, you're partnered with us. You got to do this favor for us. We want this to happen. There was some kind of a business dealing there. So Quantic Dream literally said this to Sony. We'll do it, but it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of time to port this game to PS Move. If we do that, we cannot work on the DLCs. So the entire idea of the Heavy Rain Chronicles will go away. We're just going to leave it at the taxidermist, and that's it. And Sony said, okay, do it. So here's what happened. They completely canceled all of the standalone episodes. They never happened. Only the taxidermist ever came out. By the way, the taxidermist is one of the best playthroughs ever. It is one of the most crazy, hilarious what? playthroughs I've ever done. Yes, Heavy Rain, the original is great. The Taxidermist is equally good, if not better. All right? Why so didn't we watch like that then? Like what that, the hell are I we doing here? Amazingly cool. 
guys, guys, the food here is pretty good, right? But the food at the restaurant next door is it, it, it just as good, if not better. Then why the hell didn't we go there? What are we doing here? I think was a huge disaster, and the only way that it ever got rejuvenated was oh, because Rambo's in it. Yeah, you know what? It probably is better than. Guess what it needed to operate. PS Move at least, controller. At least DSP so would actually be having fun. money they really made out of PS Move. Outside of that, it was a huge failure. So, what a joke that we could have had multiple awesome DLC expansions for this game and they were canceled because of Sony's stupidity. Anyway, I digress. I just thought that would be something That story sucked about. ass, man. We could have gone our entire lives really without hearing that. State how many episodes there will be. However, that's a pretty cool way to, uh, go, one, to, but... to keep going. You know, if you like the original game, the four stories of the four original people, what maybe happened if you keep to this? the game, you know, you get a little flavor for the first uh, additional DLC episode, you'll keep buying them, and I might end up doing that. In fact, because of this, just because of this, I'm going to keep this game after I beat Did it, it again. because I'm going to want to try that out. Why is he tapping uh, everything? To see how it is. So, and that's true because most games... I get it's I a launch damn box. You have to and just I keep, keep them, tapping I shit, dude. Just, just, just to have the camera there. And this is a rare Look at this shit. You don't got to touch everything. The taxidermist DLC He's like a kid. Boy, am I glad I did because it was superb. <clears throat> That's heavy rain. Uh, you know, out of the box, unboxing. Obviously, your standard, you know, instruction booklet, who gives a shit. But I thought that was pretty cool to include the origami, and that's a nice little souvenir because who knows, you know, after May, after I do these, I might trade the game back in, but I want to keep this. This is pretty neat, and I might actually figure out how to fold this like the origami in the game. Yo, this game that I, I'm going to wind up is. liking, I'm probably just going to trade so, it in, get rid of it, right never play bat. it again, but I'm, I'm going to keep all the game. little goodies um, inside. I'm just going to sell them the disc like a maniac. Start playing. I'm actually going to grab a bite to eat right now because I'm starving, and then I'm going to jump right in. Great information. So this is a little I will be playing this later tonight. See, and that's awesome. how cool it was. Like, I literally would come home from work and film that, get that video uploaded right away, and then I would eat, I would start recording, but that would be a teaser. Get everyone hyped on the channel that within a few hours, Phil's going to start uploading the next new game, right? Oh, heavy rain's coming in a few hours. This is sweet. So it was pretty cool back yeah, then. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sure was. a bunch of people like were like that. They so were like, oh, are, man, I can't wait. Let me set my alarm. One of the heavy rain oh, boy, 3 a.m. DSP's ago. finally drunk correct. uploaded heavy rain ago. gameplay. Five. 189,000 views on the original Dark Side Phil channel. This is not even my big channel. D DSP Gaming was my big channel, my prominent channel. This was before then. That's how many views this playthrough got. Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty sweet, huh? Okay. Now, one more time. I'm just going to preface this by saying. We, oh, I'm sorry. We already. That was this another This is pause. commentary from a bygone era. It's going oh to God. be absolutely over the top irreverent. I'm sure we're all going to enjoy it and be laughing at it here. Uh, in just a moment, but understand, yes, I go ham on this. I go crazy. You're, you're I go ham. I go ape shit. I, did in this first part that's I go regarded. That I don't do in videos ever again. Um, but it's pretty neat. Let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, everyone. You know, I had PS3, to do it to them. Snipe. Heavy rain uh, on the PS3. Um, the PS3. Right off the bat. That's what it's called. I have to say. These game makers are fucking Yo, awesome. Yo, wait, hang on. Doing. We hated They're it on fun. him the other day on the re on the React. Now we're calling it the PS triple for the meme? Nah, dude, you don't get to hate on him and then steal the bit. That's not how this shit works. You couldn't appreciate the art when you were watching it, but now you think it's funny to reference it? Shut the hell up and get out of here, dude. An actual clown. An actual... Imagine actively hating on something and then stealing the bit anyway. I've complained he many times that PS3... By the way, how does it sound? Is it, is the volume good? I want to be able to... That you can hear the game, but also me. I, when I watched back the Dark Souls videos from a couple weeks ago... Yeah, Chad Warden. I knew it was Chad was something. Loud. Chad Warden. So yeah, Chad actively Warden hated on Chad game. Warden, saying that he was annoying. Oh, why does his bedroom look Six, like seven, this? Seven, yada, yada. And then wants to steal the bit. Come on, bro. I'm lower the, the volume a little bit. At least appreciate the video when you watched it before you steal the bit. I just lowered it a little bit. Let me know if I need to lower it more. Okay. Yeah, fix your audio, stupid old man. Inventory, gigantic install to your hard drive, uh, usually taking upwards of you know 20 minutes to a half hour, depending on the game, and uh, they can really eat up your hard drive space. Well, what did they do with this game? They decided they said, hey, wait a minute. You know, there's people that just sit the fuck around and wait to play the game. They don't want to do that. So what did they do? Well, if you watched my launch day video where I basically showed you the contents of the game and what comes with it, you saw that they actually include an origami uh, folding paper ah. <clears throat> with this game. And I thought, oh, well, that's going to be cool. You know, later on I'll figure out how to fold it. But guess what? 
while you're waiting for the game to install to your hard drive, the game, as you can see on the screen, nice. actually gives you step-by-step -step oh, instructions on how I to forgot all about this. I'm not going to bother you with that because you're going to be able to figure it out if you, when you buy the game yourself. Wow. Dude. Take a look. Look. So now I got my own little origami, and he fits right there. That right is so screen. cool. Straight from the box art. Pretty damn cool. And uh, that is an ingenious way to cover up the loading. Literally time. can't or see it because the color's the all so trash looking. The canary origami got your rubby mitts all up in front of the lens. Very cool. Sort. That's and basically, uh, back in the day with these big, like, Sony God. exclusive titles, they would yeah. have big tie in campaigns, and one of them was, um, yeah. like, you get a bunch of avatar icons, and the origami icon is still to this day 14 years later my profile picture on playstation network i kept it all this time i never changed it it's always been the origami it's because you're lazy and don't care forever i don't see why i would ever change it right pretty cool so pretty cool i guess how cool is that hey, morning, don't sit Kanye. around like an asshole with your thumb up joel your rowe you with another install. two euros how to stop goat laughing, goat laughing it's an issue please do. help that's, i agree dude that's i mean they really they really thought it's been getting worse that, and, and the you know, goat laughs the uh really no uh it's um, the two five dollar yeah, tip i need to stop all of it from but Murphy. i'm just gonna die this way human are my favorites when it comes to these type of games out of all the interactive games which ones are your favorites definitely the walking dead season one Gross. Bad okay. pick. Which has one of the crazy most emotional endings I've literally ever seen in any video game ever. To this day, I still hold to that. That I feel it is one of the most emotional endings ever done in a video game. Um, and probably this one, I would say. because Only because I'm a sucker for a good thriller and a good mystery. And the fact that this is an ongoing mystery where it keeps you guessing and it has elements of... You know, uh, detective stories has elements of Saw, the movie series. It has all these different elements. When together. has DSP ever given any yeah, evidence really, that he really enjoys thrillers? So I would probably say this. Anytime he doesn't understand something, one, immediately he immediately he just throws his hands up and he goes, "Well, I don't know, dude." And then he like makes wild accusations. Five bucks. Okay, let's. When has he ever indicated he likes thrillers? Before we start, the one thing I want to say is this: I did watch some video reviews of this game. However, I've not watched any footage of the game. Good. No so I really have absolutely no idea who the killer is. I haven't seen any clues or anything like that. But what I do know is that I was told uh, in some of these video reviews that if you pay very close attention to the game, you can figure out who the killer is before the end of the game. It's not like some ridiculous surprise twist where there weren't any clues to let you know. It is, it is, yes. you know, determinable who it is. You just have to yes. really play close. That's the most commentary we can get from the guy today. Yes. So that's what we're going to try to do. Try to do this together and figure it out. And we'll go from there. So let's. I will say this. All right. I'm just going nice to say pause. this up front. Please, no spoilers. Obviously, I can control that in the video comments. I can't control that what? in the live chat. Please, no spoilers of the plot. We have people here for the very first time watching and don't know the plot of Heavy Rain. Oh, my so God. No Dude, the game came. When did Heavy Rain, Rain like come out? I actually enjoy this for the first time, genuinely. And you know, if people like this, you could continue and do the full playthrough react. It's 50-some parts, but if you do the math, it's about 10 hours. Dude, this game came out in 2010. And we're sitting here going, uh, no spoilers, guys. People uh, don't know the ending. Are we for real right now? Dude, It's it, this came out in 2010 and we're still spoiler protecting? That's insane. Who? Who does it know? And if they don't, it just sucks to be them. Roughly, give or take. Guys, don't spoil uh, episode so, five of Star spoilers. Wars. I haven't okay. seen it yet. Check it out. I know it came out in like 89, but don't this spoil it. Automatically, no shit. <laughs> okay. I literally wasn't even born then. You're right, Snood. 2010 was before me. And bear with me, because again, I'm going to have to be adjusting the volume constantly until I get the right levels and things. What just happened? That was really weird. No. <laughs> It takes this long to go between loadings or uh, title screens. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're building. Oh, Snoot, I don't know when it came out. Shut the hell up. I was Loading. I was uh, I was playing. I was joking. I was memeing. I don't know when Star Wars came out. I literally wasn't well, alive I'm back then. I'm How am I supposed to know? A lot of game loading on my screen. Oh, here we go. Oh, Saturday. Here we go. 11:22 a.m. I shit the bed again. <laughs> Too much peppermint schnapps. Ugh. Immediately started in with the uh, the like scat jokes. I love it. Yeah, it was so funny back then, dude. Ooh. Irreverent. 
As he sits up, we get an amazing cock shot. <laughs> right at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of stuff like that coming up. You'll see. Not real cock shots, but you'll see to what interact, I mean. interact, make the indicated move with the right Why are stick? cock shots funny? But if somebody mentions anything vaguely romantic or sexual now, uh, he's married, uh, stupid. Uh, but... <laughs> two hours before I have to do anything. Ah, uh, I guess I better get up. I got a lot to do today. I gotta call my mom. I gotta take out the trash. Ah, oh, fuck that. I'm going back to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, I'll get up. Come on. <laughs> All right, buddy. Rise and shine. Time for kegs and eggs. Kegs and eggs time, yeah! Try to do it slowly to see how you can control the animation speed. So you can go... Oh, 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 okay. oh, 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 shit, I let go. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Ooh. Amazing. Where's my first trophy? I got People out of loved this, on, dude. Man. Give me something. <laughs> Alright, hold R2 to walk. Use the left stick to change direction. So as you can see... If you're wondering, geez, why is the video flickering? I was going to mention the camera, it. The camera really it had stole my bit. exposure. Okay? Now, for the record, someone has already, one of my editors, ran a lot of these videos through the editor, and it looks much better. However, tonight, since we're doing throwback, uh, a throwback-style stream, I wanted to do the unboxing video, and I kind of wanted to preserve the original quality so you guys can see this is what it was like back then. In the future, if people wanted to see this re-edited with the editors, getting rid of the flicker, better audio, longer parts, new titles, I could do that. But for now, I feel like I wanted to really retain the original quality. Plus, now we can see how many views each video had too, right? Which is Because that's neat. super important. Um, it's I super mean, important to me that I get to flex, right? Like, that's what it just said. It's important to me that I get to flex how many people viewed these videos so you knew how cool I was back in the day. What an absolute maniac, man. Like, the ego on this guy is insane. That he went out of his way to make everybody watch a shittier version of something specifically so that he could flex his viewer count. God damn, man. That is insane behavior. Get some help, bro. $2 tip. Never in my life would I imagine would flexing like that on everybody the on the internet. Day. Knock, knock, boo But for boo, DSP, it's just baby. another day I in his office. I have movies or video games myself in a long while. Yes, season one of The, of the Walking Dead got me. I, I really started, like, bawling my eyes out. No exaggeration at the end of the season one of The Walking Dead. For good reason. You know, I'm not spoiling for anyone, but... Yeah, it was a pretty heartfelt game, to be honest. Bloom Kit with a super chat, asking something ridiculous I'm not gonna answer, let's continue. You can go outside, you can walk in the room too. Here we go, what do we got in here? Open the fucking thing. <laughs> well, he was at it. I, what the, what the, is that right thumbstick or left thumbstick? I can't tell what they're telling me to do. It's, I think it's right thumbstick. So I thought why would it be motion, left thumbstick, Bozo? Oh, you move your character with the left thumbstick. Okay, better put some fucking... What are you doing? Put clothes on, you <laughs> idiot! <laughs> and anytime you can listen to what your character thinks by pressing and holding down L2. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Okay, that's exciting. What else are you thinking of? Anything? No. Maybe he can't get dressed till he takes a shower first. Here, walk out on the Why would he get dressed and then take go. a shower? DSP, what sort of topsy-turvy world do you live in? I, guys, I always put my clothes on before now I get in the shower. For indecent exposure. That way I don't have to clean them in the in the laundry later. I could just I just clean them in the shower, obviously. Saves water or something. See him. Good morning, Mr. Jones. Hey Billy. How's it hanging? Loose and slightly to the left. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Billy. That's a hell of a house. Oh, you could actually hang out at any point on the railing. Imagine wow. living in a house with a giant freaking balcony like this. Pen, or so apparently, you're not a play Yeah, form, imagine the SP. So apparently he does have a son. You jealous? So already we're learning about this character. He has a son. All right. What do we got over here? Hey, look, it's a teepee for his bunghole. <laughs> a Beavis and Butthead reference. Kind of wow. For my bunghole. You wow, guys, doing Cornholio. You guys might not know, but Beavis and Butthead was a show on MTV back in the day. What do we have? Like I said, I know you guys might not know that because you were all born in 2009. Took everything. Now all I have left are these fucking black underpants. 
<laughs> this guy's face looks like, if at different angles look at that, he kind of looks like Brad Pitt. He does look From like the Brad underside, Pitt. Look he at does. His face. You know why? Because his because uh, his eyes. Take a look right now at that freeze frame. His eyes and the nose and jaw structure do kind of look like Brad Pitt, nope. but only from certain angles. And when you go this up, this is what we paused for. Another angle looks nothing like him at all, but from certain angles, it does. It just looks like they altered it a little bit, huh? All right. Well, I guess I better go over here. I, I don't oh, think he this? looks anything oh. like Brad Pitt. I'm going shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you. A cute little oh, handheld way, note. She she could have texted him, but instead she wrote him a cutesy handheld note, which is uh you know something that romantic people do. Because I maxed it out again. Oh, she maxed it. Was 2010. That bitch. I don't know what you wanted. And she left those fucking aroma candles here again. I told her to get rid of those shits. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was alive in 2010, and I don't oh, think I had a cell phone. Ooh. I wrote all sorts of goddamn notes. Fuck your mother! Fuck your mother! <laughs> Jesus. I've been watching too much uh, angry video game nerd videos, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> ack, 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 ack. I name dropped to someone more important than me. Uh -oh. ack, 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 ack. The bathroom. Uh oh. Jesus Are you ready? Christ. Here it is, the most challenging part of the game. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh yeah, we gotta brush that shit. Yeah, shake the controller. Ooh, give it a good brushing. Come on, yeah. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, we gotta get to the side to side action. Can I get up and down action now? Let me do up and down. Oh, what are you doing? There it is. Yeah, yeah get the up and down. <laughs> get all the grime out. Get the fucking lima beans and spinach out from last night. Get all those pubes out from eating out your woman. Oh, there you go. Oh. No, Zaku boy, you're right. You're right. It is inane and stupid, Terrible. but what it isn't. Is dead air, and I guess I have to appreciate that. He's at least talking, something to work with. When this type of symbol appears, unfold the movement slowly with the with the right stick, so like this. Slowly, slowly. we shake. Don't nick the skin. Step Be careful. By step, inch by inch. Oh! Oh fuck! I cut myself. God damn it! <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. Come on, man. Like seriously, can you name another video game where you do this? Can you name one video game in your in your mind? You're like, oh yeah, the first thing you do is you take like a shower in the beginning, right? Like no, <laughs> what? No game has this at all. Every, every game skips this stuff, and you just get right into the game. But this is like, no, this is real life. This is what you got to do before you start playing. There we go. Okay. Now, Whatever. Real woman likes a I guess he's hair, right because I, I can't. Oh, but it. like at the same time, I know Metro other games line. do have <laughs> mechanics <laughs> like this. Like Red Dead Two has, the uh, the you know, the barber shop <laughs> thing or whatever. And there's an entire mission where they make you go and do that style a, shit. A, a but uh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Whatever. Says, I guess I'm dumb and stupid. I do this old version of Phil, even though I know you don't like it anymore. The ignorant comments have a certain charm. Laughing out loud takes me back. Google apparently thought that, that I needed some ignorant. reaffirmation. Like, I knew that was the Very audience. Cool. That was what they wanted back then on YouTube was this kind of stuff. I had I had a much younger audience back then. A lot of people were teenagers in 2010 who were watching my stuff. So you know that's that's what you were trying to go for. Today I have a much older audience, more mature audience. They're not for this kind of stuff anymore. You know what I mean? Wow. Very nice. Did he say intentionally ignorant? Now, what do I do? Oh, that's I right. Think Google was walk. yelling at me. I <laughs> no wonder he's not moving. They have a chair. I did not miss the two. The no. Next to the no. It didn't pop up shower. yet. It's open. Redbird. UJ. Seven, six. Whose commentary is worse? Past, fills, or present? Um, Man, that's a rough one. Because he's not funny either way. Which one is worse? Um, uh, probably pass. I'm gonna go with pass because he's consistently not funny, and I never laugh. Um, at least present Phil, I like to bully. Game just started. Here it comes. Oh! Come on! What the hell is this shit? I wanna see fucking ass. What are you doing? Don't show it. Show me a big butt. Don't do it. A big male buttocks. Don't do it's it. Ridiculous. Don't show any. Don't show it. Smooth. Oh, oh come on! on man. They show me more nudity. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Give it a good, a good dry in there. <laughs> oh, yes. Heck, heck, heck. They Very showed exciting. his cock and balls. Can you oh, believe it? Aw, oh, he put underpants on? 
<laughs> All right. Oh so I feel like we're going to split. This is a perfect place to split the part. But I feel like I should clarify. No, there's no actual nudity in this game. Yes, you see his butt cheeks, but that's it. But I did that for comedic effect. Like, I added, I edited that in to part one. I thought people would like that and find it funny, and they did. I mean, why do you think it has over 500,000 views? Because no one else crazy. is doing that shit. They're just playing the real game, and I'm editing in full. Hey, S Stefan Griffin, uh, with the 499. This may be more masturbatory than when he literally punched the clown on stream. I agree, dude. I agree. The guy will suck his own legacy off until he dies, and there's nothing that we can do about it except point and laugh. That's what we're here for. So the game did not actually show the cog and balls. He just did a little edit there. The only time DSP edits is uh, what it has to do with uh, male members. So I guess big ups for that. I'm sure it made somebody laugh back in the day. Funny shit and stuff like that. So there you go. But no, this game does not have any real like legit nudity. I think there's one particular scenario that if you play it out a certain way, there could be nudity, but if there's no, like, sexual, true sexual content in the game. It's just, you know, it's more realistic stuff like this, okay? Because sexual okay. content anyway. isn't realistic. Yo, wait, no, wait that a minute. That is actually what he just, he just admitted. There's no sexual content realistically. The dude confirmed does not get laid. I mean, obviously we knew that, but that's what he just admitted to. He said that Basic nudity is realistic, but sexual content? No. People don't have sex in real life, stupid. Uh, they're they're married, and everybody knows after you get married, there's no sex. Everyone here live, God and who's watching on demand? Verhoeven, with the five euros. His audience is mature now, and not into this stuff. That's why I make them watch it again, for money. I agree, dude. And he's not the same guy he was yesterday. That's why we laugh at the exact same jokes and behave the exact same way as back then. Because we're totally different. Sound good? Sounds good to me. And by the way, Obviously, let me know what agrees. you think of the old style Phil here in this one of my most prominent playthroughs ever. You know, leave some comments. Let me know uh, what you think of that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in part two of the retro replay of Heavy Rain. Cool. All right, really fast. <clears throat> I just want to get up and stretch my legs for a second, but um. Oh, we gotta get up and stretch our legs yeah, already. No, back then I could do on the fly editing like that. Awesome. Remember, I, wasn't I mean, he's, he's been sitting here no bullshitting for like so I would just what forty minutes total now. Into a video editor, find some actually stock less time than me, and, and he's gotta stretch his legs. Don't worry, editor, guys. And you know, it would be take like an hour to edit, but it would be fine, and I would put it up on YouTube. So that actually, that was funny, right? Like that was funny. That was funny, right, guys? That was funny, right? Wasn't it funny? Tell me I'm tell me I'm hilarious. Tell me you were laughing. I did that for part one because God. of that scene, but people really loved it. So <laughs> sorry if I'm in a mood today. No, I have no reason to be. I just it's just the guy on a Saturday morning gets gets me frustrated. There we go. Stretch. I guess we'll look at his chat right now. Uh, B I T W awesome with the Romance right. Madison classic yeah, B I T W awesome. Thank you to everyone who's here chilling, and for those who have supported the stream so far, thank you very much. You know these streams are really the only opportunity I have to make any money on this channel oh for the work God. that I put into it. So thank you to those who are supporting it so far tonight. Give me buddy, give me buddy, well, give me buddy. Correct. Back then, clips were only ten minutes long. You could not go longer than a ten minute clip on YouTube in 2010. You, your video would be rejected. So I had to split the playthrough and play into these 10 minute parts. Today, obviously, if I were to re-edit this playthrough, number one, I would upscale it, get rid of the the that blurriness or the uh, <clears throat> strobingness that you saw in the light, the flickering, and I would definitely make it 30 minute parts to make it more digestible. So, yes, Derek. Good evening. Good to have you here. <clears throat> All right, are we good to go? I don't see anything else to shout out. We can continue. Okay, here we go. What is that emote in this chat right there? What is this? Can someone tell me what this emote is? This is not something I'm familiar with. Alrighty, everyone, we're back. Retro replay of Heavy Rain from 2010. Let's get right into part two. Here we go. Jack G in the chat. Right, Derek so is here. Pog. Right there. Yep, Derek is our little Pog right. champ. Ain't that the truth? His giant stromboli is PG-13. I'm so impressed with myself. Now it's time to go kill people. It's, oh, it's spam? That's what it looks like. I thought it looked like a little can of spam. My name is Paul Rubens. 
Oh, you can switch camera angles. I forgot about that. It's in here. The toilet. Yes. Can I take a shit? Oh, I gotta take a shit, man. I don't have to piss. What are you doing, man? I gotta take a shit. Look at this. You can even pee in this game. You can't see the pee, though. That would be he rated left X. the door open when he uh, took a piss. You can't see the pee, that. dude. He did leave the door open when he peed. He didn't close the door. Thanks for that courtesy, leaving the fucking door open while you take a whiz, dickhead. I also didn't flush. I forgot right, to flush. Here? Oops. That's my bed. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Scat, scat, scat. scat. My kids room. I, I didn't oh, point man, it out. I'm, I'm numb kids. to it already. We just got here. What's this? Oh, here we go. I like to play with balls. What is this? Get ready. Do do do. Failure. What is so funny? You pressed the wrong button. button. He just said it on the screen. Here we go. You press pressed the, the wrong right button. button, stupid idiot. Press the correct button to juggle. Oh, oh, you fucking moron. Pick those balls up. <laughs> you like playing with balls, don't you, buddy? All right, here we go. Amazing. Right, Amazing. Are you guys laughing yet? Here we go. Expert are you, level. Are you like, rafflecoptering all over the floor or whatever? Yeah. The big finale. Oh. Balls. I thought he was going to spin. Ag, 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 ag. Okay, what's over here? No, I agree, stranger. This is tough to watch. That's why we're here together watching. Because there's no way I could watch this solo. There's nothing in the fucking room. What am I in here for? You know, I just realized too. Today, wouldn't it be considered offensive to have a TP for your kids? Because you remember it used to be cowboys and Indians, but now it's oh, you can't say that. You can't say Indians. It's got to be Native Americans, and it's not polite to do that anymore. Oh my God, really uh, DSP politics is gonna suck, people. dude. You can't even have that anymore. Like that's been. We're gonna sit here and talk about history, TPs correct? because of saying Indians is okay. Like this, whatever, man. In 2024, we'd be like, oh, that's completely unacceptable. You can't have anything Native American related for your kids anymore, right? <laughs> Why? I just realized I'm watching. I'm like, there's a TP in the room. Why can't like, we have Native, Native American like, style shit for our kids right. anymore, dude? It's over here. I'm gonna go downstairs. I should get dressed before going downstairs. Says, no, you're going streaking, dude. Yeah, India <laughs> punching air right now. <laughs> in, all of India is downstairs crying in the snort fort. I'm playing the game, not you. You do what I tell you, bitch. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go fucking slit your throat in the bathroom then. You don't listen to oh. me, asshole. Where's the razors? Oh, come on. There's no razors in the bathroom? That's bullshit. Where's the gun? He's gotta have a gun in here somewhere. Very risque. Alright, man. Trying to put on your echo wear. You ready? Echo wear. Fubu. No, isn't echo? No, echo wear is not what he wears. What does he wear? Oh, he wears a unique low. That's what he wears. Oh, like, doesn't that that dude wear echo now? No, no, no. That's the one with the rhino. Y'all yeah. remember echo? Hey, good morning. I don't wear pants. I just take a. Hey, Redbird, UJ76 with another two. Didn't mean to be annoying. Just an Atlas style fan. Uh, you weren't annoying. All these outdated references. I think I did actually miss it. I was lying. I was waiting for the alert to come through, and then it never did, or it did, and I missed it. And I'm stupid. He still looks like Brad Pitt to me. It's so odd that they made him look like that. <clears throat> All right, Frank. Yeah, Echo is the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South Pole Frank gang. Back. We're going streaky. Look at Echo the pretty butterflies. Stop. Yeah. Stop. The character's thoughts change with the situation. Remember to check them regularly. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. Again, apologies for this. You noticed the strobing light. That's again because of my old camera pointed at a TV. If I were to like remaster this for this channel, uh, I would definitely run that through. If I were to remaster this, I'd all change all it so it looks like better. But right now, we're going to watch the shitty sense. version because that's I couldn't wait. Sound good? Back. Sounds good to me. What did you do with that time? Work? What the fuck? You're home, dude. There's no time for work. There's <laughs> time for play. Cody Carls with a super chat. He says, this is the game that I found you from. I can't believe it's been a whole 14 years. Been a fan since Heavy Rain, does. blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we get it. Moving on. And then I went back to it, and I did a second run with alternate choices. And then a few years later, when I started doing direct capture, it was one of the most requested games to do a direct capture playthrough of. And I did it, and now it's like, I've, it's been a million yes, years. Yes, Mazinger Destro. It, it he like was that. watching his it's Heavy like Rain gameplay. It's capture so robust. If you just got here. I realized it was like 10 years ago. I'm like, oh my god. What's outside? Well, before we go outside, let's check out the rest of the house. <clears throat> Looks like it's my son's birthday, Jason. Jason! Mm. Nice meme, dude. Your stupid memeable uh, opinions uh, or moments or whatever the line is. Memeable. Those are the rules. <laughs> nice spatula. What's this? What's in the fridge? 
Birthday cake. Oh, there's the birthday cake. Eat it. Eat the cake. Eat it. Eat the cake. <laughs> Dude. Dude. I had no idea I said that, but that's the first thing that comes to mind. Eat it. Eat that cake. It doesn't matter if it's for your son. Eat it right now. You're hungry. And then that's exactly what I said in the playthrough. <laughs> that's great. Take a nice big slice also, out of it. I was totally peeking in my OBS. Very so cool. Oh, orange juice, you <laughs> bum. Oh, yeah. Shake it's it. actually, <laughs> it's actually crazy to me. Actually crazy that he managed to say the same joke, not only in the Red Dead playthrough that we watched, but also now in the Heavy Rain playthrough. It just goes to show you nothing has changed. He's 100% the same person that he was back in 2010. And that's crazy to me. Imagine not growing as a person and not changing that entire time. Amazing. Amazing. Ah, same commentary. It's yours, bro. It's the same you commentary. What's going on? You did it again with the orange juice then? <laughs> Shake it up. <laughs> <laughs> same commentary. It's yours, bro. It's the same commentary. Amazing. Awesome. What's Great. going on? What happened? Don't drop oh, it. Yeah, straight from the carton. Fuck that family. <laughs> what the? What are you doing? He choked on the orange juice. He choking on orange juice. What are you allergic to citric? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, remember that. That's the first clue ever. Wow. That's actually <laughs> insane. So if anyone How do you make the same joke that many years apart consistently? <laughs> Imagine being unfunny for 14 consecutive years. It's gotta be like some uh, Wrigley's uh, records or something. The beginning of the game for no reason. What's the point of this? Nice. They just put it in there for something to do. Look, broke it the first day I had it. It's to introduce introduce you to all the mechanics of the game, telling you you can interact with shit you don't need to interact with and waste your time, dude. That's it. The remote control. It's really not that complicated. All the children just trip on it and break their faces. Wow. Well, he has a lot of presents on there. Nice. What a lucky boy. Yeah, what a giant backyard. What a lucky boy to have a good daddy like me to take care of him. Most people have broken homes, horrible parents, but me, I treat my boys with respect. I checked this right onto the uh, Playboy channel, <laughs> penthouse. Wow. See, I know what my boy wants for his birthday. I'm not stupid. Wow. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Get some tunes. Oh, yeah. You might be onto something there, Hate on? Army. That is probably the case. He's just saying the first thing that, that comes to mind. And, and and he's saying it out loud as soon as it comes oh to mind. God. So that's how he's Kelly able to Clarkson. say the same thing. Oh, God, because despite Clarkson it being 14 years apart, he sees cake and eat it. I don't like that shit. Again, all these references so outdated. Like, who the hell talks about Kelly Clarkson today? And going to cut off his new album. We'll do it live. Wow, and then the do it live, uh, He's watching Bill O'Reilly reference. You guys might not know who Bill O'Reilly is, okay? Right, so, watch. Bill O'Reilly was... The... It's some cartoon show. Look at this. What show is that? Hey, what are you doing? Probably another original show, just for oh, this game. Oof, it's stuffy in here. I should get some fresh air in the garden. What the hell kind of weird-ass cartoon is that? Yeah, look at that. It looks really weird. Well, I want to listen to more of his thoughts, you assholes. <laughs> oh, Mazinger, I like that. Uh, I like that idea. I have Kat in here for the yeah, throwback no, style no, no. reacts. Yes. Because she was such a yes, big fan back in the, the day, probably since Heavy Rain. He's wearing a cowboy hat and he put a piece of dynamite in a wall and blew it up. Remember that classic episode of Naruto? Oh, yeah. What was that, season three? You guys remember that classic episode of Naruto? I don't yeah, me neither. Oh, you want some coffee? I don't watch. I don't watch uh, Avine. Grace and the kids will be back any minute. He's phasing the couch. Oh, he's got some tunes now. Anything over here? Oh, what do we got here? Computer room. It's funny because the game presents you with a ton of options right now. Like, you could go out in the garden and investigate the garden. You can actually, I think you can make lunch, I remember, I think. Or clean up the kitchen or make lunch for when they arrive home. Um, you can mess around here in your office. Like, there's like ten things you can do. No, I don't think it was an anime you either. Have time to do them all. So multiple playthroughs, you would always play the beginning of the game differently and investigate different things. And they actually designed it that way. Is that a, a wine? Is a wine cabinet there? It looks like. 
Oh no, it's not. He's got like diagrams and stuff in there. Oh, he looks to be like an engineer or something. He's got blueprints and all kinds of stuff here. Check this out. Lord Kane 666 yeah, has joined the gang. He's a blueprint artist. Yo, Lord Kane 666. Big ups for joining the gang. Did he just pause real quick? Hang on, let me run it back. Did he? You can do. Yeah, he did. Sorry, but the game doesn't it. give you enough time to do the text. He's a blueprint He's somewhat artist. accurate with this, at least. Trying my best. Whoop. Xbox, How the hell did he drive so, draw so straight with his hand like that? Ooh. Look at the uh, It's because he's a professional, stupid. Uh, oh. Turns out uh, well, when you do something every day and it's your profession, you're supposed to be good at it. I know DSP would know nothing about that, but it's the way it's supposed to go. Exactly. Oh, that short? That cartoon was actually a short that was made in France called Pirates. Here we go. Shout out, uh, France, I guess. This has to be baloney, right? This is the one time France is ever going to get a shout out from me. I don't think the architects would really draw like this freehand. They probably use tools and stuff, right? How would you draw so... Look at that! How would you do that freehand? Look at all those tentacles. What? I don't know about that. new house in like two seconds. Amazing. How did he draw? It's almost like maybe that's his job or something. Idiot. Interesting. He's got a big ass uh, plotter. I have those at work. Oh, that's right. This Crown is the early intro to pictures. the game. I forgot. Nothing Blue actually has happened such. yet. I don't think in the plot. All right. Let's see if he wants. If he wants a cup of coffee. If not, we'll go outside. He said he did say he wanted some coffee. Maybe he gives him an extra kick in his step. Oh, oh too late. Oh, See, shit. too you long. You didn't tidy up the garden, dude. They're home already. You took too long. Oh, you're gonna get it now, buddy. No, <laughs> hey, take yes. it easy. You're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Mm, Fuck no. Ten years old. That's <laughs> not exactly grown up. Ha 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 ha! I said a swear at a child. Isn't isn't that funny? Sure. Go right ahead. Here's God, this sucks. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Ethan, can you please help me? Eat no. eat shop. Bitch, shut up. Talking to my boy. Oh, press and hold down the buttons. Oh, no, it's one of these sequences. Oh, yeah, yeah these like are a pain. Buttons. These are some of the ones I failed the most of the playthrough, I think. Did I say I wanted a kiss? How dare you? Still got the scotch on my breath from last night. <laughs> uh, they've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. I like that DSP is projecting his alcoholism onto Ethan here. Oh, I've got scotch on my breath from the night before, like... No, bro, oh, that's UIRL. So that splits the part. Yes, okay. So remember, each part on YouTube back then had to only be Yeah, actually, it's gin, though. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Play perfectly like bad. Uh, and I would just stop the camera and then literally start the camera right again to start the next part. So, you know, it would roll relatively smoothly if you just watch the playlist in order, but obviously it is kind of jarring. And again, with these remasters that I'm doing on this channel, I edit that part out. So the parts just kind of roll smoothly into themselves. So it's not jarring between. It's one of the other improvements that I would definitely do. So, okay. Uh, not really. What? I tried, but I didn't really nail it. <laughs> you know, he doesn't even have to do parts anymore. He could just upload the whole VOD with AI style timestamps from OP Boot. A billion things to do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Oh, that's a cool change of camera angle. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. Living room cupboard. Okay. No problem. Leave it to me. Where the hell's the living room Drop cupboard? the plates, smash them on the floor like a clumsy oaf. The What's up, Bradley Sublet? We're hanging and banging. We're room suffering room? through the heavy rain throwback. Room, right? Waiting for anything to happen. Hey, Ethan. I thought I asked you to take care <laughs> of the plates. Well, I don't know where the hell I am. God, they're in the living room cupboard, right? Yeah, they haven't moved since last time Is that right there? It's right there, I think. Oh, over here? No, I think I missed it. I think it was right there on the wall. Where are the presents? I walked by them before. Now I can't find them. Is that it? Right there. What the hell just happened with the audio? I walked by it. Ape shit. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, this is it? Who keeps their plates in a cupboard across the house? It's right by the dining table. Aaron Hines just super Fishes. chat ten dollars. Here's something Strength. to maybe help Seriously, you get something later for surviving this. In the living room. Hey, good morning, Kanye. I appreciate that. Appreciate that, Aaron Hines, with the tenor. Uh, maybe I will get something for me to uh, cope with surviving this. And Lord Kane six 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 with the two. And K and Cat like this trash. She didn't see the signs. Uh, no.
She's uh, partially blind. P.O.P. Hold it down. That oh, the like line is legally stand. blind. I'm legally well, blind. Know, anyone who wouldn't keep their plates in the kitchen. Everyone keeps their plates. It's right by the dining oh, table. Right. You would bring the food out the room, in the pan or yeah, in the dish or whatever, and then you would dish it out right plates. there on the dining room table. Worry, just like this. You just turn right. around and put the plates uh, down. I, It's fine. You can keep your plates there. Nicely placed the plate there. Very yeah. good. And now we nicely place a plate here. Very nice. Not true. Fuck. And then this one I throw like a discus. Or I just place it nicely on the table <laughs> so I don't get into trouble. I don't want my wife nagging. What up, Boogie Dark Wings? I broke a fucking plate. These kids did a lot of art for the, hmm. for the room, like all the car construction the people, art they made, like a ton. Drawn. This is taking hours and hours to do. Again. Now I want to go play with the kids. I think I'll go outside. It wouldn't have taken that long at all. Because you just take all of those pieces of paper and stack them together, and then you would just cut them like one really thick piece of paper. Why am I explaining how to do children's arts and crafts to a 41-year-old man? Open every door three times in order to get through it. So here we go. Here's time number three. Here we go. It's Mark okay. Summers. Let's go. He has a Mark Summers uh, problem. Mark Summers from Double Dare had that same problem. Had to do everything three times. Great, another reference I don't understand because I'm not boomer style. Hold Summer. on, let me I look just, up who Mark fuck? Summers is. I'm making really? the same exact references. 14 years later, I had no idea that I said that. That's I made the same reference. <laughs> I thought the kids were out there. I guess not. Alrighty then. I it's swear I've never. Apparently, he hosted a double like dare. So what is a double dare? Just popping into my head, right? Mark Summers, the former host of Double Dare. <laughs> wow. So shout out to Slee who did a ten dollars super chat. He said, I'm "Oh, shout out to Mark Summers." Apparently, I watched the so show. Many does not. It's a game say show. Line for line. You this do shit. Is also, like, a real slide classic. down a slide into some Thank goo you, for or something. Chat. I'm glad. So glad that people over the years did have an opportunity uh, to go back and watch my. Oh, it was a Nickelodeon stuff, you know? game show. That's why they had I, the I, slime. I for purposes. That's why the Dark Side Field channel still exists, even as outdated as the content looks and sounds. You know, I save it there because I want people. To be able to go back and look at the old days of gaming on YouTube and how it was back then, right? I'm so happy to hear that so many people have liked this stuff over the years, man. I mean, look, part three is still 238,000 views and climbing. Where did they get those swords? Those are my $5,000 replica Lord of the Rings swords. To <laughs> get the fuck out there. Haseo says, was there an option to toggle how to handle the thumbstick actions? I honestly don't know. I don't remember. I mean, it's so long. Dude, though. he didn't even remember that there was a unique style installation screen. How is he going to remember one setting that's in the settings in the pause menu? He can't remember a game he played last week and he finished. How is he supposed to remember 14 years ago playing Heavy Rain? Haseo, you're stupid. Quit asking questions, dude. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Those are the swords of the ninja guy, Dan. Hi. Give me the sword, That's bitch. That's it. I'm free as a bird. Hey, oh, I dare remember this. Boys, okay? Aww. Okay, we promise, Mom. What a party pooper. Who wants to go first? Me first. No, me, me first. first. Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. Today we're going to play Drop You on the Head. <laughs> <laughs> Move the head of I was just saying, first, today we gotta pick play favorites. First. Choose the favorite son first. Nah, it's his birthday. He gets it first. <laughs> Alright, Jason. Let's do the helicopter. The what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you Yeah, Double Dare does kind of sound like something Are better to watch over the guys. giant swing. <laughs> <laughs> the giant swing, and now I let go. <laughs> <laughs> It's my turn now, it's my turn! Fuck you, son. You're the one I don't love. Ha 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 Wow. Okay, Sean. Get ready. You're the one I don't love. That's fucked up. Wee! Yay! Wee! And then I drop him over the fence. Oh well, I never only wanted one kid anyway. <laughs> Damn, bro, spoilers. Come on. I thought you said no spoilers. No, no exaggerating. And... I think that's right. that's funny dark humor. Like, that's that's like Mel Brooks comedy to me. That's like South Park comedy to me, right? 
But if that's I South made those Park comedy video today, people would be like, "That's oh, South Park so style Phil comedy." Child abuse, and Phil hates children, and he can't say that, right? It's like, what? Do you not? No, understand it's just Dark stupid. Order? Like, it's a prominent thing in society. Okay, shut up. That's one of the things with DSP that irritates me the most. Is he's always so quick to say, "Oh, people tell me I can't say this. I can't say that. They're so soft. They can't take a joke." When most of the time, at least in my case, and I feel like a lot of yours, it's it's not that he can't say that because it's offensive. It's because he's just not funny. The dude is just not comedic. He has no comedic charm. He has no storytelling talent. He's not a charming person. His charisma is negative. He has negative riz. And that's why he's not. That's why he gets so much shit for saying the things that he says is because in order to get away with saying things that people might be slightly offended at, you have to have some sort of riz and he has none of it. The dude is an actual black hole of charisma. It's just not funny. So people are more irritated than if you just were funny. It's always been. Why would you think that, you know, making that commentary today is something bad. It's still funny, I feel, right? But... For 2010, no one said shit. Everyone was like, okay, you know, I get it. But it's just, it mess, it's messed up to me that, like, you can't just make jokes anymore like that, right? Listen, you can't I'll just admit, make jokes anymore. Jokes, jokes banned on YouTube. Then, that were too far. Or even, like, the some racial comedy and stuff. I think this playthrough even has a little bit of it later on. But that stuff, I don't see any problem with that. To this day, I think you should still be able to make that kind of joke. I just don't understand why people are so up in arms about certain kinds of comedy today like oh there's a kid involved you can't even make a joke about a kid anymore dude did you ever see the naked gun movies did you ever no. see any of the lampoon movies no did you see any comedy from like the 80s or 90s like that no. was all about that and it was so funny but now you can't do that anymore right come on no usually when i watch movies from the 80s and 90s they're not comedies because i don't find I the 80s and 90s right dude i'm too young he throws him into the stratosphere Wow, he's so strong. And he has a heart attack and dies. He has a stroke. <laughs> oh, look what you did to your father. Why are they applauding? Oh, you leave me alone? <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. Oh, now it gets epic. Uh-oh, you dare challenge me, son? It this gets time, epic. Jason, I am your father. Here we go. Evil <laughs> Surrender, weakling. Say your prayer. That's it. Beat his ass. Watch, you gonna beat him down. <laughs> Be your own son. Please. Give up. I am victorious. No. <laughs> oh. oh this is like uh, this is like some oblivion uh, dialogue. Hiya. Whoa. I think the the idea out. is you can fail some of these and make the kid win, but if you do them all correctly, basically like you beat his ass. <laughs> Look. <laughs> This kid's getting his ass beat on his birthday. All oh, the beat down on his birthday. Now drop him on his fucking head. This is great. <laughs> act, 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 Pick him up, pile, drive him into the concrete. Go ahead. Isn't that so funny? Act, 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 act. Bleh. So stupid, man. Stab him in the back. My life is gone. That's right, boy. Brought you into this world, I'll take you out. You learn that. <laughs> and obviously, that was, again, that was an advantage of having a camera rather than direct capture. I could, like, point at the screen. I could put stuff up. That was an that. advantage? Yeah, I can do that. Why? Because I'm here on camera. But the years when I was using direct capture and no face cam, I couldn't actually interact with the audience in that way. It was just the raw gameplay footage, and that was it. So people liked the fact that I was like, oh, look, he's putting his hands in front of the camera and doing no. stuff like that level. No, no, they didn't. I'm starting to beat his ass. And I don't like it now. I don't oh, need yeah. to see your oh, grubby mitts like Jason, all in the lens. Uh, darker than hell. And he dies immediately. Jason, Jason actually impales him through the eyeball, and it goes out the back of the head and just completely kills the father, and the game just ends right there. It's a horrible, like, horror ending. I don't know if you ever saw that version. It's really awful. Let's see what we got around here. Anything? Nothing back here. Looks clean. Looks, uh... Looks like we don't have any anyone stalking. Oh them. my god. The bushes. I don't see anybody. Mm. No clues or anything out This here. is no the clues. riveting, no meaningful right. gameplay right. that he was putting on the, the internet. Look. Just walking around this backyard. No, one of the things I like about the game is like, it sets up perfectly like it's just a normal life, a normal family. Nothing's wrong. 
And then when things start going wrong, it's like shock value. Like, oh my God. You're like rattled by how much is happening. But in this case, like, it just seems like everything's calm, everything's peaceful. Just joke around about it all, right? Come on, Mark Summers. Where are you hiding your kinky stuff? I know you got stuff out here. <laughs> what? All right, where did kinky come from? Anything over here? Nope. Jesus Christ, the flicker. Oh, I better not keep everyone waiting. Lunch time. Why not? Yeah, there's no one in the house, it doesn't look like. <clears throat> All right, I have yeah, Boogie Dark Wings. I have no idea why people are paying him money for this. It's hate it's awful. I've actually never had liverwurst never ever. I don't even know what. And they voted for it twice, and I'm pretty sure the second time didn't somebody give him like three hundred dollars for it? That's insane to me. I actually just found that out yesterday. I thought people just wanted to see it and gave him three hundred dollars. You know, you know, maybe five separate people. No, it was one guy gave him three hundred dollars. Is that what that is? He just walked inside with me. Where could he possibly be? Let's find out. I don't know. He, ran, he came in and ran off. Maybe he has to take a dump or something. Maybe the kid has to, like... Hey, he's got little, humor. Empty his well, he's not invisible, that's for sure. We've sprayed every ounce of this house with paint. <laughs> Can he go upstairs? What the hell did he go upstairs for? Ethan, please Yes, he did go upstairs. Out. I'm trying, bitch. Holy crap, man. It's lunch. Lunch isn't even supposed yeah, to be warm. Yeah, of course. Green Mega Man says this looks like the home of a very high-income family. He's an engineer. Or a, uh, he's a oh, he architect. architect. Architects are very well paid. What's wrong with this kid? Did he just say lunch isn't even supposed to be warm? What's oh, up? no. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me run that back. Upstairs? What the hell did he go upstairs for? Ethan, please Yes, he did go upstairs. Out. I'm trying, bitch. Holy crap, man. It's lunch. Lunch isn't even supposed yeah, to yours. be warm. Green Mega Man says this looks yeah, lunch lunch isn't even supposed to be warm. All of you warm lunch eaters, uh, see yourself to Ban World immediately. I don't know what you're doing eating a hot meal for lunch. That's a uh, not right. It's all your fault. That goes against the DSP creed. Only if you sacrifice your life, son. <laughs> what? <laughs> egg, 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 egg. Child murder. Egg, egg, egg. Even if you don't want it. That's right, like taxes. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Taxes and alimony, son. Taxes and alimony. Mark my words. I know. That's right. Equivalent exchange, son. Only if you sacrifice your own life now can you bring back the bird. Do you sacrifice your life? Okay, so that's <laughs> not the end, obviously. What's oh, weird is... Like what's totally weird about that... Oh, by the way, we're in part four already. What's totally weird about that is the bird was fine, right? Like, you just seen the bird, what, like 15 minutes earlier? And the bird was perfectly healthy, not start showing any signs of anything wrong, and it just croaks like out of nowhere. So it's kind of okay. Free number two. I don't know shit about the bird. I missed it in the first fifteen Dude. minutes. I guess just, I wasn't paying like close a, enough attention. Pork lunch beef has an iron taste from the liver in it. Ew. Okay, never mind. I definitely don't want liverwurst. Oh no, this is still story number one. They're rocking, walking around with their kids now. All right. Going for stroll on the boulevard, love. We're going to the mall. Comic books. Let's go. Comic books. Back, back when malls were still safe, and you could take your family for a nice stroll to the mall, and you don't have to worry about crime rampant and big, big what? Uh, fights breaking out and all kinds of horrible things happening. Back when you, it was like a, a nice, good old safe family outing. X Men. Bro, days are gone. what are you talking about? This guy is so scared of going outside. He thinks that you can't walk around the mall. Like, actually thinks that you cannot take your family to the mall. Like, dude is living in constant fear at all times. I couldn't imagine living that way. If you're that scared, DSP, like, get something to protect yourself and do what you want to do. You literally living in fear is not the answer. I promise you that. Jesus. Oh my god, it's a clown. Stay away. Stay away from the clown. <laughs> yeah, Inked. He wants people to believe that he lives in a GTA online lobby. Everywhere you go, people are constantly oh, shooting idea. at each other and fighting in the streets. Do you think that the dad's going to be responsible enough to watch the kid? I don't think so. We're not going anywhere. Not this guy. Come on, honey. Fuck you, dad. Take this Jimmy tap. Boom! Right in the balls. <laughs> ball. I hate Egg, you, egg, egg. Balls. What are you doing? Immediately walked away. Did you see that? Immediately the kid okay. walked away, and he's paying no attention whatsoever, right? So, Haseo says, back then, all games were bought at GameStop. I mean, for a lot of people, yeah. Like, GameStop was your local game store. You would always go there and buy all your physical copies before everything went all digital. That's another thing that's Yeah, dude, because they, uh, they specialized in games. Now, I haven't bought a game physically in, in many, many years. 
Um, it was the kid did a super GameStop was the one place I knew as a kid that if we went there, we were looking at exclusively games and I wasn't going to have to go look at a bunch of shit that I didn't care about. Ma, I don't want to go grocery shopping and pick up any mustard or whatever. I want to pick up the game and go home. And that was the, again, the only time I knew if we were going there, there was no bullshit. We were going there to get a game and we were coming home. Sometimes I got scammed into going to the store afterwards. But that was besides the point. Daddy says, no, malls were never safe, real talk. No, you know, to some extent, in some areas, yeah, that's true. But no, I would say malls really were safe in a lot of places in America. And over the last, you know, five plus years, things have just gotten really bad. But this is not political commentary channel, so let's continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you watching your kid? Jason. Where's he going? Jason. Here we go. It begins. I, I hate this bit. Jason. It begins. What's he doing? He's running away. What an asshole. Jason. Jason. He's not listening. What a dick. Jason. 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 <laughs> He's completely Jason. ignoring me. Jason. Chase your son. Dude, Jason. tackle him. Did you catch your own fucking kid and go spank his ass? Oh, it's your kid. Talk to this creepy Hit him. Ass clown. Look, I'm in front of him. You're not supposed to do that. I bro I broke. I cut him off. <sighs> Jason, you really shouldn't want to run. Why did he completely no. ignore him? I was right next to him. No, I think I think what's supposed to happen is Jason gets a, gets a little bit of like like a few feet away from you, and you're supposed to be walking behind him. But I was like right in his face, and the game just like ignored him anyway. So That's pretty funny. Dad, can I have one? A clown? I'd love to have one. He wants his own clown. <laughs> Dad, come on. Talking about a, a balloon. Like slavery was abolished a long time ago. <laughs> hey, slavery joke. Let's go, dude. Ek, 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 ek. Jason. That's well, terrible. boys. Oh my god, he's scary as hell. Yeah, it really is. Look at his face. Here you go. It's like Ronald McDonald on, like, you know, Crystal Holy Meth or shit, something. Man. Of course. Sir. Holy shit, man. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. It's the clown from Death It's really Cloud. crowded in here. Oh, come on. Pay the man. Hurry up. Hurry up. He's walking away. Your son's a little shit. He's Hurry up, you <laughs> asshole. He's folding his money? pockets. You idiot. I forgot Where's all forms money? of payment. Here you go. Bitch, get the fuck out of my way. Oh, come on, man. Where'd the kid go? <sighs> so I lost the kid now. It's impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? Oh, he shit. Here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and just disappeared. All right, well... Since we're going to go right into it, this is a good opportunity to split the part. We're at 30 minutes. I, I we're splitting the part the right part here. I don't like making videos longer than that for this channel. Um, but yeah, now the game starts to get serious. You know, so not even going to let the kid get hit by the car before we split the part. It's like four again. more minutes, dude. Leave comments on the video. Let me know what you think. Make sure to leave to comments the for the algorithm. I'd really appreciate demand, it. Thanks. The channel, become a member. Do a super thanks on the video. A tip. It's all appreciated. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next part of Heavy Rain. All right. Good stuff so far, right, everybody? I hope you're all enjoying. Thank you for chilling with me here tonight. I'm having a good, a good throwback time with all of you. And this is this is one of the reasons why instead of... I, I don't watch his actual, like, DSP throwback vids and why we watch the, the Raw Phil restream is because he never includes these little uh, intermittent bags because he's splitting the part. And I don't think it's the same experience without it. So... And uh, uh, thanks for, for coming out and hanging out with me. If you um, are a, uh, again, a DSP Dr. enjoyer, Parker, just a reminder, in the same way that I am, greatly, greatly appreciate like this, this uh, really I think the raw restream from raw fills the way to go. It's nice that every once in a while we could do a stream like this and enjoy the classics. You need um, a bag, by the, way, by the way, with next week's uh, Sunday night, I'm doing this again. But the question is, what are we doing? Are we going to do more Heavy Rain? Are we going to go back to another playthrough like Dark Souls 1 or Red Dead? Maybe you want to see me start up like the Bully playthrough. Jesus like these Christ. are all classic things we can do. So think about it. And I'm actually Hurry tonight, up. when this stream ends, I'm going to put up the next poll. More Heavy Rain or you want to continue Dark Souls? Of course, all of you here are saying More Heavy Rain. Why? Because we're watching, you're watching Heavy Rain. rain. But hey, we'll got him. <laughs> all right. Jared Jackson with a super chat. He says, the rain is very heavy. Heavy is the rain. Interestingly enough. That hey, we listen song to that song. does Banger. not exist in this playthrough. There is a scene where I say, The rain is very heavy. Heavy is the rain. Yes, the rain is full of mass and weight and volume. But it's not to, like, a musical tune. I just say it. And it was actually Ghost Dro, someone who used to love my content 14 years ago, who remixed it and added the beats behind it to make it into a song. 
which is really cool. Did you guys know that he did not freestyle that over a beat initially? That the beat was actually added afterwards? I bet you didn't know that. I bet that's new information to you. I bet you thought DSP was actually talented or something and had some sort of musical ability. Little did you know, someone had to do it for him. And a lot of people heard that song over the years and really loved it and know it, you know. So that's really neat. So thank you, uh, Jared, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, Regal right, the Seventh. He does talk about his content right, like it's go. historical. Like people Falcon are supposed to remember all Falcon this Falcon shit, Falcon. but he also wants to treat you like you've never seen his content okay. before and you Hello, don't know everyone. all of the shit here. that he's Welcome done. Welcome back to the special Retro React stream event here on DSP Throwback of the original Heavy Rain playthrough from 2010. Now, up to now, it's been all fun and games. But just to forewarn everyone, if you're squeamish, if you have issues with scenes of horrible actions and things happening, I strongly urge you to look away from your screens because now heavy rain is about to get heavy. All right, let's continue. Disappeared? What do you mean? You don't even see anybody actually get hit by the car, no? What do you mean if you're squeamish? Like a boa constrictor sucking up his prank. Fucking kid, I knew this shit was gonna happen. Here it comes. This is bullshit. Jason! Where's this? I don't see a red balloon anywhere either. What's genuinely funny is some people have never seen this playthrough and they're actually wondering what's going to happen in the playthrough next because they don't know, so that's pretty cool. Jason! Jason! Cool. Where are you, Jason? Jason! I'm looking in the chat. I'm scanning. Jason! 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 We Jason! Didn't go. We didn't go into the fashion store. I don't see anybody in his chat that was uh, with like, Ooh, what's going to happen? I see zero people. I scanned. Jason! Nothing. I don't see him anywhere. Jason! The game store. It's GameStop. Not the video game store either. Where is this kid? Jason! This kid's fucking dead, son. Jason! You can guys. Oh, stop. how right you were, DSP. Bad news. Jason! Out of the way, the assholes. Downstairs. Where the hell did he go? Look for the red balloon. Jason! We don't even see a red balloon anywhere, right? Jason! Oh, there's one. There it is. There it is. There it is. Jason! Jason! Oh, there's the balloon. I see it. I see it. Jason! Jason! You know, oh, no, Visible Dimwit, I don't know if you're talking about the dad, DSP, or the kid, but you know what? I agree. I lost him. Did nothing wrong, did everything correct. Like, oh my in God, all cases. I can't get to the kid. What do I, what's going to happen? What do I do? Right? I don't see any red balloon anymore. Jason! 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 Thank you for mimicking the Jason DSP as if we didn't already hear it or something. Jason! It's over! He's Jason! Gone. Jason! The bookstore, that's where he is. Not in the bookstore. Jason! Come on, you little runt! <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree, Chody Taint. This game does look stupid. Because it is. Ack, 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 ack. I'll never find him. And DSP, uh, DSP has that ability though. He makes every game look worse than it actually is. Like Heavy Rain is just fine. It's mediocre if you ask me. No, it's mon shoes. But uh, DSP, of course, makes every game look far Another worse than it is. Another red balloon appeared behind you. Look at that. Chiaki acted the super chat. He said, "Jason, Jason." Thank you, Chiaki. There he is. Holy shit. Jason. It's very tense. Even the music. Look at this. It's the wrong key. It's the wrong kid. There's another red balloon. Hurry up. Jason. He goes right to jail for, for grabbing a child that's not his. Fuck out of my way. Jason. The fuck out of my way. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason. There he goes. Jason. All right, prepare yourselves, Jason. everyone. Prepare you yourselves. Jason. Oh, my guys, you get hit by a car. Here it comes. Dude, he's straight ahead. Prepare yourself. Dude, he's straight ahead. Oh, shit. He was straight ahead of you, you idiot. There he is. Jason! Dad! Stay put. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, oh no. Jason, no. No. What's he doing? He's running across the street. The like slowest run possible. Why is the kid hurt? 
And there goes the balloon. No. And the balloon's floating off. You just can't tell because my camera's overexposing the fuck yes. out of that right box there. Now, wow. so, some people are so, legitimately having the same back exact then. reaction I just did. They're like, wait a minute. Didn't you see what happened in the scene? Ethan jumped in front of the car and took the impact of the car to defend Jason. So how did Jason get hurt? Bad writing. I almost feel like the original scene, he jumps and he tries to grab Jason. He's too late and Jason gets clobbered. But they felt like that was too brutal for a video game to have a kid get hit legit by a car. So they changed the scene in the game. But then it doesn't make sense because it doesn't change the outcome, as you're about to see. It doesn't. Yeah, make any SX sense too, all. Kirby. I you know, agree. Really it, this scene does. Ha it doesn't make any sense. It does look stupid because the, the dad man? gets hit I first, I I, and I, I don't really see how the kid would have yeah, taken any sense. damage I'm aside not. from, like, the dad. Dad's weight on him, but even then... At like, first, I thought Ethan died. I thought, oh, maybe oh, Ethan got hit nice by the car, but you know he's a main character, so he wouldn't be dead this early. So I'm it doesn't make sense. to continue now. Hold on, let me go take some fucking cyanide pills and slit my wrist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what do you mean? I'll it's the nice upbeat intro. What are you talking about? Get you really pumped for the game. Yeah, Stranger, that's that's kind of what it looks sudden, like, is that Ethan Jesus crushes Jason, Jason really because the car stopped five They're feet coming. away. Their son got killed because he was a dumb fuck. <laughs> he just knew that his dad had turned into DSP, and he's like, it's it, it time go. Oh, well, I can't take this shit no more, man. In action. <laughs> <laughs> Pascal Langdale. It's a French cat. Isn't it a normal name? French Canadian. It's a French game. <laughs> hey, shout out Jacques de Coq. A classic. I think that's what he named himself in uh, that MLB game he played in like 2019, 2018. I like the names are in the same environment like that. What? Huh? Run that back. Run, run that. What would they call that? Ultra run that by me one more time, please. I like the names are in the same environment Jackie like that. Jackie Chan. What? Why are we saying Jackie Chan? What? What about this scene? What about this scene says Jackie Chan? I'm confused. I like the names are in the same environment Jackie like that. Jackie Chan. Okay, shout out Today Jackie Chan, I guess. Altered reality AR yeah, to have rain. like the title in the in the environment. Oh, oh shit! The black guy from Lost, or not Lost, uh, Heroes. People are too close. Shit out of me! Oh my god, this woman looks dead. Dead. The car's gonna hit us. Come straight for Get the coffin. Yeah, Verhoeven. That's what I thought was that it was an Asian style corner store, but then I didn't even see any Asian characters on it. So like, we just said Jackie Chan. Oh shit! It's Kobe against LeBron. <laughs> If only the game was made by Ubisoft and you would say Eve Gemo and it would have 400 microtransactions attached to it. Oh well. A couple quick shout outs okay. here. Okay. I received a. <laughs> Kobe versus LeBron. I received a dollar tip from Ryu. Will you play through the classic modern Ninja Gaiden games? Classic ones are on Switch on Online NES. Modern has the Master Collection for PS4. Uh, I don't know. I've always wanted to go back and beat Ninja Gaiden 1 because I never have. I've never legitimately beaten the game. I tried years ago on YouTube, and I couldn't do it. Ninja Gaiden 1 is so hard, I could not beat the final stage. So maybe one day that'll be something for my gaming bucket list. Maybe one uh, day we'll go back tip. and beat Ninja Jason, Gaiden. was this the plot of the remake of Friday the 13th? Yes. After being struck by the car, Jason rises from the grave and becomes the pint size slasher. And he just starts murdering everyone, and that's a different game. That's, that's Heavy Rain 2. <laughs> of course. Why do we entertain these absolutely regarded super chats? This is just like a movie. You should have just hit him with the uh no, stupid and moved on. Like that actually would have wasted less time and probably have been funnier. And letters that just sit around. Yeah, I think so. I think I remember. Fringe is a great show by the way if you've never seen it. Fr Fringe was to basically like the new X-Files. For those who liked the X-Files in the 1990s, in the early 2000s, there was this show called Fringe. I never saw it. Fox. What is? I, I, I've seen the commercials, but I don't know what a Fringe show, is. And I really loved it. Only had like four or five seasons, though. That kid looks like he was about to ball John crying. I agree, Boogie Duck Wings. There's nothing worse than a guy who's the only one laughing at his own jokes. I agree. Don't club us. 
someone's gotta laugh at DSP's jokes though, or else uh nobody is. So he's gonna he's gotta be the guy, dude. What a great last name, Bull. <laughs> I'm the one. Merry go round. What's going on here? Showing different settings from the game, I guess. Actually, yeah, these are things that come into the game later. Those are all scenes from the game that you visit. The rain is very oh. heavy. Heaviest of rain, just the rain has lots of mass and weight and volume. See? Doesn't sound like the song at all. Two years later. That was it kind of sounds just like the song without the beat, though, later, in all honesty. I'm surprised right, so he actually said it with some said, sort of cadence. Said, a few years later or two years later. It says years have passed since apparently Jason passed, right? From the weakest car strike I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I can't move. That's, I'm so glad you guys agree. It sounds yeah, the same guy. It sounds exactly like the exactly like the the ah, the, the song does. Exactly the like song. it. My dad. Wow, what a happy kid. My dad. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta go with this loser again. I'll never forget the day, Dad. You and your evil balloons. <laughs> I know what you did. <laughs> Those balloons were your idea, Dad. We all know that. I've never forgiven oh, you for the balloons. I thought he picked him up from his mom or something. I think he did. All right, what do I do? I think he picked him up from his mom's house. I very clearly, that's Maggie's very clearly a school. There was a sign that said elementary Maggie. school. Everyone who used to watch this old stuff, man. I mean, this is the, the classic nice camera stuff. I, I couldn't see shit. Seems like he doesn't really want to talk. Heavy rain. It's been this thing for weeks. Heavy rain. For weeks. I forget where this is supposed to take place. It's in the United States, but I forget exactly the location where in the United States. But it's funny because most of the voice acting cast is French Canadian, so they all have like French accents for no good reason. Sean's waiting for me in the car. Dude, this must take back. place the same place that Seven does, where Let's it perpetually so rains like, all the way up until the end. I'm waiting like in the car, you asshole. asshole. Yeah, he is, because you're an asshole. Seven, a movie I've yeah, seen, believe it or not. Sucker. And it has Brad Pitt in it, dude. It's like a uh, full circle reference. Yeah, also You're welcome. Maybe Pennsylvania because the train station. Oh, so it looks like Penn Station. Hmm. Learn how to be an Penn asshole. Penn Station style. The weather would make sense. There is a lot of rain on the east. Coast. So when are we getting the Penn Station DSP Trizer? I, oh, <laughs> I caught you peeking, Dad. Dad picked him up. I caught you peeking at me, Dad. Don't look at me. Get that shit in gear. All right, let's GTA some shit, son. Yes, I do mean yes. the seven and I gotta go pick up some let's drugs. The ten monk classic, a classic gang, gang banging, you know. Uzi's out the window. <laughs> let's go, son. You throw the grenades out the back. <laughs> that would be a different kind of game. Written and directed by Michael Bay. They go, they pick up big With smoke, and then they go to the drive-through and start getting ordering food. <laughs> yes. Actually, you know what's funny? I couldn't have possibly made that joke back then because I hadn't played GTA yet. I played GTA in 2012. I had never played 3, Vice City, or San Andreas until 2012. So I literally couldn't have made a, a GTA joke like that until then. Dad, why did you what? take me to the bordello again? I told you, Dad. <laughs> Shut up and play. Wait, I just, I keep bumping my microphone. I'm so sorry. He, he didn't play a GTA game before he played Heavy Rain. Therefore, it was impossible for him to make a GTA joke. I don't think that's how that works, man. I think you can make all sorts of jokes about shit that you've never experienced or played. It's it's like GTA was part of the culture, especially after GTA 3. What? Also, very strange to have never at least experienced GTA before 2010 when you were playing Heavy Rain. Whatever. Whatever. Your fucking Game Boy. I'm nitpicking, I guess. The car had a CD player? Yeah. You know. Car cars at that time had CD players. 2010. They all did. It is confirmed to be Pennsylvania Slayer. Okay, so apparently it does take place in Pennsylvania. Well, I didn't even know that. It's definitely not as nice of a place as they had before. Yeah, I'll say. It's a little downgrade here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Watch some cartoons, son. Get that SpongeBob on. It's gotta be. It's gotta be awful because you realize he's a. He was a architect, and an architect is dependent on, basically, inspiration to be designing buildings and stuff. Imagine losing your son. 
How are you supposed to ever be inspired ever again? You're probably in like a deep How are you supposed to be inspired like ever job, again? Where he just does going through the motions kind of work every day. He has to be creative and inspired and positive and he probably couldn't do that anymore. So he probably ended up losing his job, hence why they're living here. <clears throat> Bro. What? It looks like they just moved here. They got boxes there. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly, Jewel Bro. The other son doesn't count now. We don't we don't have any inspiration left. We have no meaning to our life because our one son died. The other son, Gwet Flocked Doodle. I don't care about that kid. It I guess it should have been him. Like what? How does he think that people move on in real life? Like you have to like that's that's one of the themes of the game, maybe? I don't know. And DSP, despite playing the entire game, completely missed the point, I guess. Very cool. Very cool. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. I'll take a hearty helping of shut the fuck up, Dad, if you could just leave me alone for a second so I can watch my show. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Be disrespectful to your parents. It's you know, funny. Dad, I hate coming here to begin with. That's why I turned the TV on instantly when we arrived. What do we got? I try to pretend like I'm not here, but, you know, no you don't beer? get the picture. No, orange juice. More orange juice? This guy's an orange juice addict. It's the same scene from the beginning of the game. He still likes orange juice. He didn't drink the beer. I think you can choose. Is orange juice not a staple in your you fridge, DSP? Your do you not have you orange juice? You look bad in the eyes of the sun or something like that. What up, Mistra? He's done with his citric, uh... Maestra. Mistra. Both of them. His citric Is that a pizza? Apparently. Does he have a pizza completely exposed in his fridge, open like right, that? where's the food? <laughs> where's the snack? Is that how you make pizza? Just leave it in the fridge, pre-made? Here we go. Give him a, uh, a tasty fruit. Let's give him a tasty fruit. He ain't gonna want that. He wants candy or chips or something, you idiot. Like that, I don't want the shit. Uh, they're not letting me give him the tasty fruit. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. What the fuck is this? Nyeh! <laughs> See, he's a good dad. Hold on, I want to check stuff out first. He, he gave his kid a fruit. He's a good dad. That's all the evidence I needed. Five o'clock? Five o'clock high! <laughs> oh, God. I haven't seen that movie in a million years. Five o'clock high. I didn't even know that was a movie. But more boomer-style references I don't get. A shitty chair. He's, was he exciting. was saying earlier that he was being ignorant on purpose, intentionally ignorant even for his teenage audience, and then he's talking about movies from what the nineties. Oh my god! It's that, already after five. I totally forgot the game was that complex. There's actually a timing mechanic where they want you to do things at certain times. Of course, time passes much faster in the game. I totally forgot that even existed. One, one second, guys, because it's actually getting very cold in here. I want to turn off my fan because my feet are starting to get real cold. I'm just gonna turn it off fast. Okay. Woo! Okay. Late. So 6 o'clock he has to do his homework. I'll remember that. Force the kid to do his homework. You must. Uh, well, he's not gonna do it on his own. Like, DSP doesn't know what it's like to be a kid. Heavy the back, yeah. rain. There's lots of rain because the game's called Heavy Rain. This <laughs> music is so rain. sad. It's such a sad piano Fucking tune, you know? Kevin has joined the game. Himself stroking like this is peak narcissism. I agree, Kevin. But that's why we're here. We have to take a look at the peak narcissism. To put it into context, the uh, pre-stream day after day. You need the full view of the guy. Oh, 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 oh. What the hell? How do I do this? <laughs> he lines up a shot, right? He holds it up. And now what do they want me to do here? Up, oh. up. Oh. Oh, man, it's a fucking rim he job. sucks. Come on, man. You can make a basket. Come on, man. You know Larry Bird. He's your boy. <laughs> okay. Shout out Larry oh, Bird. Man. How you like that shit? That's right. I'm the fucking man. Still got it. Put that shit back down. You're a white man. What are you doing playing basketball? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. White people can't play basketball. What a classic show. <laughs> Very nice. Racism, very Sorry, funny, very like nice, play very cool. Go play some cricket. <laughs> I don't mean to be racist, but it's a, it's a fact. Okay. We suck at I don't mean it. to be racist. White people cannot do X. 
Black people cannot do Y. Not Thank racist, you, Roy, though. Thank you for the super chat. You just keep up the good work. Room. Thank you so very much, Roy. I appreciate that. Biggest super chat of the night, by the way. Actually, biggest contribution of the night. Game. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> Verhoeven with the two. Remember, Jackie Chan. How could I forget Jackie Chan? What's that? Teddy bear? What's that? What's the significance of the there? teddy bear? The hell is that? Stuffed animal? Yeah, I don't know what the significance of that is. Oh, God, he's uh, sneezing. sneezing. He's getting sick. He's highly contagious and infectious. Take a pee-pee. So, so far, so Let far your kid comes over. Bomb. What did you do? You handed him an apple. You turned on the TV, so he's spending time by himself. You handed him an apple. You went outside, played basketball by yourself, and now you're taking a piss. You've done nothing with your son since he visited, so why the hell is he even visiting, right? Missing, right? <laughs> what Good a great morning, dad. Man. It's funny because in the in, originally he was a great father. And look what happened. The loss of one of his sons completely That's crushed right. him. And now he's like a broken dude. Wait, right? what? Dude, you don't have to hang out with your kids at all times just because they're over, right? Like sometimes your kid, he just kid gets off the school. He wants to sit down and watch TV like he normally does. He wants to, you know, you'll eat dinner with him and do do the homework with him, and that's when you'll spend time together. You're gonna let him relax for a second. You're not gonna be up your kid's ass just because he's there. It's just a normal day for him. I love Omergami. What do you know about parenting, DSP? What do you know about an actual connection with a child? It's an ill. He asked for sick. Show this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Of course. Ill, ill, that's what I said. You've got a cold coming on. I'm gonna see if I can find some medicine for you. Medicine? Where the hell would he put that? I'm gonna go to my secret Over meth here? lab under my house and see if I have any medicine there for him. Why are we making meth jokes in 2024? Like, honest question. No medicine here. What the hell? Is that, this guy, is is that doing it like for you guys? Is the meth joke? Or a guy it? who has an entire, like, otaku room dedicated to, like, anime waifus and shit, right? Like, <laughs> the way, like, he's a disgruntled, like, unshaven, walking around, all depressed. <laughs> Maybe there's a medicine cabinet in another bathroom up here or something? The second floor. He's got two bathrooms. Is that medicine there? Brandy and NyQuil? That's what your grandfather used go. to give to you? Well, that'll knock you the fuck out. Brandy plus NyQuil? I think that's kind of overkill, though. You should take one or the got other. the medicine. No? It looked like he took some medicine. <laughs> what happened? Did he get it or not? What the fuck? Where's the door? He's got, God, like, this gameplay is so ass. There. Palm trees or like, like, like the mechanics stuff. aren't that complicated and DSP is just having well, sure is problems ba with the basic navigation Walking around a house is too complicated for this man. He's actively getting confused. Oh my god, look what he drew! Oh good, when the car squished his fucking son. <laughs> what a great picture for your son to draw. Wow. When the car hit both you and your son, killing your son. What an asshole. Wow. That's a hell of a picture to have in the room. <clears throat> Yeah, penitence, and I agree. But at least we're here together, and we're hanging in, banging uh, again together. Wow! I appreciate everybody who's uh, toughing this one out it's with. It's not good to store Like I said, I didn't watch this before. It and it could just, you know, destroy. It. You're actually right. Like we actually store our medication in our um, in a cabinet high up in our kitchen. That's away from like the cooking and everything. So that way. It uh, it doesn't doesn't have that effect. That's actually a good. Just, point. just let me bang, right. bro. Just let me bang. All right. Uh, let's see here. Hey, look at all those uh, look at all those Argentinian memberships not going crazy. Real. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. I'm just gonna double check this. It's not real though. All these memberships you're seeing, they're not real. Don't look Wait at them. Second. Nope. Okay. Hold on, everybody. I'm just getting rid of it because I'm getting rid of something in chat because it's fake. It's another dumb troll. I'm taking care of it right now. It's fake. It's a okay. stupid troll. Ignorant bitch. How dare he derail the React throwback stream? Come on, dude. Get him out of here. Fan world. Hit him with the limb. Hey, here, take this. Will I do a throwback stream of me reacting to this stream? Uh, no. Why would I want to watch my own annoying voice? Hell no. Let's see what time it is. He has to do his homework and he also has to eat dinner. 
Homework at six. What time is it? It's almost seven. It's six thirty. It said what? What at six? Hold on. Homework. Let's check the schedule. He's got to do his homework right now. It's late. He's late. Homework at six. So let's see if we can get the homework done in a half hour. Ah, uh, homework. Homework. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. No! You're gonna run. Do your homework! I'm a guy 99. Do not let me distract you from being productive. Uh, put on headphones and watch um, on your phone and do some chores or something. Get set up in the kitchen. Do your thingy thing. Don't give me lips, son. That's what I do all the time when I'm not streaming. I put on DSP stuff and then I just do stuff around my house. <laughs> not being like DSP is a great motivator for life. Really. Oh, no. Turn that shit off. It's horrible. Oh no. Discipline, son. It's all about discipline. Ironic, coming from the uh, egregious alcoholic, will go off, I guess. You can, though. You can have the beer, and I think it's supposed to, like, negatively affect the plot because it makes the kid think that you're, like, a scumbag and you're drinking around them and stuff. Alright, what you got? Homework time. Homework time. Very robust. Well, you don't really think of anything. No. Do you help? Do you get a push up? Come on. Push up. What's the point? Is he? He's not even asking me questions. Oh. All right, maybe if you push up, you get Do up. Do something. Respond, son. Is he, Good lord, you're dead. Is he doing the you're homework? Dead to me. I guess he's doing the homework. He doesn't need help. I'm confused. I'm pressing every button. Nothing's doing anything. If you push up, you're gonna get up and not help him, right? How do I tell when he's done? Wow, All these exciting what an exciting scene. Of nothing happening. La la la. <laughs> Imagine your dad staring at you doing your homework. Yeah, uh, my parents had to leave. Like, not only do I not work well under pressure when someone's watching. The old running joke I had. Um, but my mom would actively get frustrated if we just took too long. She had to just, like, walk away. Which was great, because I didn't need her there, but... What about dinner? Isn't it dinner time? Let's see time? what time it is. Hold on. Is it dinner time? My mother's patience was not all that high. I won't lie to you. It still isn't. Oh, is Let me have a look. Shout out, Mom. Homework. Fur, 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 fur. Just looks like, like you're done. <laughs> off you go. You're pretty good. You're only off on every single fuck question. You want every answer. <laughs> and Daddy's a, poop, a stinky poopy face. How dare you? Now, how do I cook dinner in this game? Huh? I need to cook us some dinner. Kirk tipped me a dollar and says, why aren't you reading my donations? Are you icing me out or cutting me back down to size? I, Kirk, this is, I'm reading every donation. My God, dude. So. Kirk is such an attention whore. Just get him gone, dude. Out. Like literally I'm reading every tip I've gotten. This is it right now. This is the last one I got from you. I'm not ignoring any contributions. Maybe you're saying, maybe I'm not getting the notifications. I'm reading everything that I got. So far, if you, anyone tipped tonight and you're saying that I didn't shout it and out. Every, like, I, you right. can see everybody in chat that's like, LOL, this guy. Kirk, stop derailing. Like, yes, not nah, banned. Shut up, Kirk. Like, you can see these people don't want him here. He is an active detriment to your stream. But let's just keep him around so he can continue to be an asshole, piss everybody off, and derail the stream. Now, Sound good? Sounds so good to me. Seen, maybe there's an issue here with notifications, but I just read it out. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I genuinely don't know what you're referencing there. But I don't know how. I don't know what you're referencing, Kirk. Shut the hell up. Seven o'clock. I have to cook so we can he can go to bed. Ah, uh, dinner. It's dinner time. I better make something for Sean. I hope we make lunch meat sandwiches for Sean. That's what he deserves. Can the I worst food right. known to man, Kirk, apparently. I don't, I don't even know how to tell. Him. Maybe it is a fake, Kirk. Look, nothing. They're giving me nothing. So I go over here to get food? It's in the fridge, isn't it? The food's in the fridge. There's no options to make any food, dude. I, I just got a $10 tip from someone saying, Man, I think I just got one of these uh, fake subs. Is there any way I can actually cancel out the sub? So I can, you know, actually buy a real membership and help you out. And the answer is, I don't think so. Again, this is one of the major shortcomings of YouTube is stuff like that. And I don't, I can a problematic don't chatter get a streamer like banned? That I don't actually know about because uh, so, yeah, my familiarity with TOS is not all that high. Thank you so because much for the it, most part, if you just don't act like an asshole on stream and you try and keep it in a uh, you know, normal style in your chat where people aren't just you know being racist, 
it doesn't matter. Like TOS, oh, like worrying about TOS to me is something that like only people who are doing something a little sketchy really have to worry about. Like yeah, you might have questions every once in a while. Like am I, am I allowed to watch this? Am I allowed to do this? But like aside from that, yeah, what happened? You could just kind of stream. God damn it! So the kid's not gonna eat now. What happened? Kid wants to watch this shit. Dinner. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh, yeah, I'm really hungry. Oh, you had to okay, ask him I'll first? Maybe now they'll let me do it. I'll call you when it's ready. That's pretty stupid that you had to ask him first if he wanted it. We'll talk to him about school. <laughs> How are things at school? Horrible. I gotta Is your teacher nice? She's a bitch. Everything's fine, Dad. All right. I think this is a good place actually to split the part before we. All right, we're splitting the part again. Here. What is happening? End of part three here. So. Oh yeah, Sean. Again, Sean everyone, got hit, or Jason got hit by a car. Relaxing and hanging and, out. And uh, for heavy we rain, shot some I'm hoops. Really having a good time, Ooh, you know. Big up. Experiencing it. Keep in mind, we haven't even gotten into the murder mystery yet. This is just the intro of the game. It gets much better once you get into the murder mystery. But I'm, I'm still, I'm having a good time here, uh, at the beginning. So thanks everyone. And if Are you're we having a demand, good time? Remember, please, if you like the You guys video, remember he hyped this up. He said it was going to be super exciting. It was going to be the funniest playthrough. Everybody loved it back in the day. Had a billion, million views. Made him white hot popular. You remember that spiel we got at the beginning? Yeah, I remember that. Okay, really brief again, guys. I just want to stretch my legs. We're definitely now we're doing here. one more part. I may do two more parts. Dying. I kind of like doing five parts in each of these streams. So we'll see how this goes. Oh. Ooh. Okay. He's got yo. He's got the Zelda jammies on. Oh, let, me let me run that back. We're definitely because you, you can see part. it. I may do two more parts because I I kind of like doing five parts in each of these streams. So we'll see how this goes. Oh. Ooh. Right there. Those are the blue Zelda jammies. This is dude. These are like he owns two pair of pants and this is one of them. You might actually catch this guy out in public wearing the Zelda jammies. That's how much he wears these mugs. That's insane. He knows he gets made fun of for these goddamn pants. You'd think that he just quit wearing them. Okay, stretch again. <clears throat> oh, I pulled my nose quick. When I'm president, I'm banning the Zelda jammies. If I find out that anybody owns Zelda jammies, it's straight into the gulag. That's the only way. Zelda jammies are a bannable offense. <clears throat> Ahem, excuse me. Zelda boxers are allowed. Yeah. So again, guys, if uh, if anyone is contributing and I'm not shouting it out, I apologize. I have shouted out everything I've seen, every super chat, every tip. You know, I, I'm sorry if guys, I'm not ignoring you. you. It's That's my setup's fault problem. because I don't know how to properly, you, you know, run my stream. Recently, with with notifications. I say through. as I missed a so chat earlier. Don't now. worry about it. Okay. Okay. Are we ready to continue? All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to the retro replay of Heavy Rain here on DSP Throwback. So far, so good. Pretty interesting mode to on. back into this game after so long away. I'm having a great time. The audience is as well. Seeing some of this commentary is funny because some of it is like way crazy and other is like I'm dead on saying the same stuff, which is really cool to see. Uh, you know, it's not. It's not cool to see. Some things have stayed the same over all obnoxious. these years, right? So. And Pyroclastic, you got a point. Nothing makes a woman lose control like Zelda jammies. And on top of that, nothing makes your woman lose control like seeing you wear the same pants for days on end without washing them as they get dustier and crustier from all of the earwax and boogers you wipe on them. Yeah, I'm sure that really gets Kat going. That's why she hasn't uh, bothered to make herself in a presentable shape in a while. Because she's just obviously gushing for DSP and his jammies. Oh, thank you guys. Let's continue. Like I know you're at home, but you oh, like someone lives with you. That's the person that you're supposed okay, to be trying to not impress pizza. every day, but look good to, you know? <laughs> or pizza. Oh, oh come on. Salad. You know he wants pizza. Mm, sounds good. That'd be a good dad give him pizza. Pizza time. 
Hey, I shout the out Spider-Man, right. I guess. Pizza time. He says what the kid wants. If you give him the other food, I think he complains. If I remember, I can't oh, remember. Oh, it's poison pizza. You lose. Well, he Your did have the pizza dead. completely exposed in the fridge. It could have mold on it and killed the kid, right? I mean, it's kind of messed up. He's giving him a pizza sitting out open. Like, what is that in the middle of the pizza? It looks like a big moldy spot. Dad, poison pizza again. It's probably like a fuck basil leaf or something, dude. <laughs> No, don't cut it. Make him pick board. up the pizza like a disc and eat it like this. Um, 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 around the crust. Um, Why is um, it um, green um, on um. the underside? <laughs> he That's rotates the pizza, side. eats it. Um, 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 you um, can um, come um, now, Sean. Not a children's entertainer. Let me run that. Let me run that back by you real quick so we can see how much of a children's entertainer we are. Cut it. Make him pick board. up the pizza like a disc and eat it like this. Um, 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 around the crust. Um, Why is it um, green um, on the underside? <laughs> he rotates the pizza, eats it. You can come now, Sean. Amazing. Thank you so much. I'm coming. Yeah, three-second microwave pizza. It's a new new invention in 2010. No time to play, son. It's fucking Speed raining Speed microwave pizza. Go eat. Corn cob style pizza eat. eating. No. Yo, I won't lie. Those uh, those square uh, Totino's pizzas. <laughs> you know the ones, the ones that used to be like a dollar a piece, the frozen ones. Uh, the I don't hell? cut those. Uh -oh. Honestly, I fold them in half. I eat this? them like a sandwich. Why I don't care. Juggling in front of your son Why would here? I dirty the pizza what? cutter when I could just eat it like a gremlin, dude? Yeah, exactly. Uh, why is this even an option right now? Hey, Dad, I didn't know you could juggle. Advanced juggling. I haven't tried it in a long time. <laughs> you think you could teach me too? No, son. It's an <laughs> sure. skill. I'll show you if you like. Absolutely not, son. Not until you join a union, son. Then what? you have to learn those kind of tricks. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we both had the same reaction to past DSP, though. Like, what? A union for juggling? Huh? Who? This is I creepy. He's staring at his son's pizza. Anything, so I'll just sit here and watch my son eat, I guess. Exactly. It's super <laughs> creepy. You starve from famine as your son eats delicious pizza. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dad, I told you not to try the new improved Domino's. It still tastes like shit. <laughs> and now I have to take a shit, too. Okay, 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 okay. You know what he dropped it? He dropped the piece. Did you see that? It went bloop out of his mouth. Yeah, you don't need to sit there. You can go and, like, touch other stuff in the house. This is creepy. He's just there staring at his son. He's, he's choosing to sit here. <laughs> Domino's is fire now. I mean, admittedly... I haven't eaten Domino's in many years, yeah. but the last time my wife and I tried it, we were so boy. disgusted. We don't ever want to try it again. Gone. It was so bad. Well, it, is okay, bad. wait a minute. This guy, dude, I swear to God, always has to have something negative to say about just random, you know, restaurant chains. We get it, dude. Not every Domino's is going to, you know, be an absolute banger and hit it out of the park, right? Sometimes you get a shitty cold pizza or whatever. They overcook the crust. But... Did abs like I don't, I've never understood. Oh, I got I had one bad experience at this Domino's. We never want to try it again. It was the worst thing ever. Like, bro, shut the hell up. It's a Domino's. Sometimes you strike out. Sometimes you go to your local Mickey D's and you order something and they forget half your food. You're like, well, that was a shitty experience. And then you move on. And if it's a consistent thing, then you can be like, well, I'm not going to go back there. But dude eats something one time and then goes, I, mean, I don't like this. I'm never going back. God, what a bitch. It is almost nine. It just strikes me as super entitled. I, I get not going back to places that don't get your food right consistently or their food quality is just bad. But like, it always, he always makes it sound like he tries something once or he goes somewhere one time and then he's like, well, I'm never going back. Do the right thing. Watch this terrible anime film. about pirates? Fish's swashbuckling adventure. It's like they're murdering people, right? There's death. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is 2D animation. What farce is this? This doesn't exist anymore. That is true. In 2010, you would never see this. Dreamworks will have your head for this. This reminds me of like the Prince of Egypt or something from the 1990s. It looks like good hand-drawn art. Or maybe like Atlantis. You ever seen Atlantis, the Disney movie? Yo, Atlantis bangs. Pirates of the Caribbean 4. The Chris Yo, you know what's slept on? Speaking wow, of Atlantis, four. since this sucks. Now there's um, way more than four, right? But that's funny. That was the reference I made back then. Uh, Treasure Planet. Bangs. Right, if you've never seen Treasure sweet, Planet, oh, it's disgusting. looks sick. Disgusting. I'm talking about the, not the, like, old-ass boomer-style version. I'm talking about the animated one. Talk a little be what? on, like, uh, space pirate ships and shit. 
Nothing He's special. He's playing bangs. What an exciting kid. Well, I'm not gonna let him play outside at nine o'clock. It's gonna be. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? No, I got some uh, drugs for that too to knock you out. All right, we'll wait a little before going to bed. Mm. But don't say anything to your mother, okay? Uh -huh. I've never actually seen El Dorado. I hear it's a banger, but I've never seen it. He does. He watch the Treasure Planet, dude. What is that? Why did he kneel? What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Dude, did you see his face? At I'd rather watch TV. <laughs> He's become a complete zombie watching the tele. I want to watch the TV now, Father. I cannot disobey the commands of the TV. <laughs> Uh, I, a few more contributions He's came in. He's got the television brain right, dude. Super chat, and he says, I don't know why my PayPal was anonymous. Uh, that was my tip, actually. Uh, I somehow got stuck with a fake sub on the channel and the retro channel. Thankful for nostalgia. I love this so far. Thank you, Jared, for the super yeah, chat. That's yeah, that's a zombie. That That's yeah, what a zombie looks like, where they channel. watch TV all day. Uh, that's why Left 4 Dead is so, such a good game, because you just walk around with guns and shit, and all of the zombies watch TV. And uh, I received a $3 Sound tip. Sound good? <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Is Indigo Prophecy also a possibility for a retro react? I would say yes. I would oh my god. Yes. Indigo Prophecy would be fantastic for DSP because not only is there sexual is stuff, but also racism. Song. And then it goes, You gotta let it go. Another love, TKO. That song gets blocked on YouTube. I know it for a fact. So I don't know how we would get around that. Like, I might have to just skip. There's a whole scene that new song's playing, and we might have to skip the whole scene. Um. But I don't know, outside of that, we could probably figure it out. Or maybe I could talk to my editors about maybe editing out those scenes that have that song in it. Literally, that's the only thing that would be that would not work. Have them edit out the sex the scenes, with these too. Games, these legacy games that have licensed music, now YouTube doesn't even allow any of that. So if you know, you go to do a playthrough of that game today, you can't even do it. The whole, the whole thing gets shut down. It's pretty stupid. Yeah, we got another editor shout-out, too. Big ups, big ups. Let's see here. Got to talk to my editors about removing this part because I'm too saying, lazy. You know, the game seems to have an extremely slow start. Do you think gamers today would have criticized it? Uh, yes. But at oh, the same you want to edit out um, uh, Dave? Okay, thing, let me. The I'll just. I uh, it is because back then this game wasn't prominent, meaning there was no games where you could simulate a real best life. Best I can do. The game was fantasy. You jump in. Your All I got. Things. There's RPG elements. This is just like you're simulating a dude's real life, and it feels so different than other games. Well, then you're going to. So bed. that's why I didn't really Come mind on, that it had a slow start, and bed. the game does pick up soon too. I'm not too. tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? I just said yes. Now you say no, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna say no this time. Now that's <laughs> Where are the stink lines? That's not pig pen, is it? Have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Maybe I'm a me? fake Charlie oh, Brown enjoyer. Oh, I got tons of liquor to drink down here oh. while you're asleep, kid. Come on. Peanuts. That's what they're called. Peanuts, not Charlie Brown specifically. That that's the kid, bro. Pajamas? Yeah, because it's not spelled this differently. Kid. The other one. In different parts of the world, isn't that correct? Like pajamas, sometimes it's P Y, and then in the United States it's P A. But I've seen P Y for pajamas before in other. Is it a Canadian spelling? Is that true? Maybe that's what it is. It could, Isn't it crazy they Canadian spell things Canadian differently Canadian. elsewhere? Who would have thought? Filth. Brian, I can't answer that. He says, why have other people been able to play Fallout and other licensed games with the radio on while you can't? Dude, I don't know what to tell you. I checked my Fallout playthrough a week or two ago. I looked it up live during a show, and it outright showed the parts that had... Grimace Gibman, no, like, this isn't a remastered playthrough. This is just the old playthrough like he's old watching. Part. That's why it looks like, I, I well, they all look like you. shit. But that's why it looks like extra really shit. I don't work for you. That's why sometimes it flickers, because this is still a 100% raw TV recording. In the UK, it's, it's very robust. Wow, really? It's not that here. Yeah, yeah, Bert Redbird. It's not Pigpen. Pigpen's got the dirt cloud around him. This is that other random kid. Minute, That's not that pig pen. Shout out pig pen though. Can you go in there? What's in there? Oh, it's just a light. Oh, it's just a light switch. I thought you could go into the. Oh, oh, it's the door. <laughs> and so he left the house. He left Sean behind. Origami killers. All right, I don't see any origami killers. <laughs> Wait, I see one hiding in the bush right there. Go get him. There were a couple of pastrami killers and a couple of. Uh, Mad slashers and crazy stranglers, but no origami. <laughs> either, so, 
Also, DSP was shitting on this house earlier. Like, if this, if Ethan bothered to decorate it, it wouldn't actually look all that bad. When I was going through a hard time in life, and I'm glad you still make content. You could turn this crack house into a crack home if you really wanted to. A legacy like I have, you know, being able to be true to myself, not change who I was over the years as a content creator, evolving for the better. And even though I'm much smaller time now than I was back then, like I said, this playthrough literally doesn't have a part with less than a hundred thousand views on it. Today, I'm lucky to get a 1,000 views on a video. Seriously, I know that sounds like something of a crazy change, but here I am, still loving what I do, still being uh, true to myself. And Here uh, I am, still doing this time. shit. You so guys are paying me for this slot. I'm making a living. I'm pulling Hogan's. I'm drinking yeah. gin. I'm drunk thing. tweeting at 3 a.m. on a sock account. Don't worry about it. We're having fun. We're hanging. We're banging. Oh, oh this is where I do my drawing. He's still, doing, he's still doing his okay. architecture work. Let me put my kid to bed before I start drawing like an asshole. Cause he won't go to bed. I know the kid. He'll be like whacking off to some. What? Huh? Softcore porn. What? You know. What? <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention. I was reading home. chat I'm and I start listening. I'm talking about softcore porn in the commentary. What the fuck? Yeah, this kid's By like way, 10. I have, to close, I have to close my window even further cause it's actually getting really cold all of a sudden. Like the temperature. Oh my gosh, we gotta close outside. the window, you guys. I'm starting to get freezing cold. I gotta close the window. I feel like my counter is like way behind by like t probably two. Okay. So like at the end when we get the final count, we're gonna Ooh, pretty much plus two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, son. Daddy's gonna put you to bed. <laughs> There's no one out there. No How is DSP there? going to continue for the rest of his life? He's not attracting more He's viewers. Because uh, he only though. needs the same four to keep uh, funding him every day, dude. Uh, as long as One Minute Man, OYC, uh, you know, all of the others. Uh, people like Slayer still exist. All, all four people who bankroll him. He doesn't care. It was an option. Too bad. Too bad, bitch. Time to grow up. No more security blankets for you. Too bad. I'm locking the door. You're not leaving this room. Go to sleep. Wow. It's pretty cool that some little insignificant thing like that actually has something to do with the plot. <laughs> That's fucked up. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. So says your dad. So the Go dancing peanut kid is called there. Five. <laughs> well, shout out Five. Damn. I think I think we're gonna make him a mainstay. Brutal, brutal choices in this. We game. had a couple Imagine different dancing style asshole. animations, and I think five is the like, answer. What a play through that would be. He's definitely getting it. Don't feed him. Don't help him with his. He's homework. got the moves. Don't give him the teddy bear. Damn, man. All right, maybe it doesn't call for that exciting music. Here you go, you little pussy. Fell asleep at all. Five with eating cat. So no, eating cat is horrifying. Without the bear. <laughs> hey, tuck him in. Don't leave him there with no sh covers. That'd be screwed up. What a dick dad to do that. Don't tell him about the bed bugs. Now, quick, give him a Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Dutch oven so funny? Farts, guys. <laughs> Yeah, it's so fucked Yo, up. Yo, hang on. Let me let me Give move five real quick because like you gotta see this guy, you gotta see this guy actually like double over in laughter from a fart joke. Screwed up. What a dick dad to do that. Don't tell him about the bed bugs. Now quick, give him a Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> So fucked up. Give him a Dutch right. oven. Mission accomplished. You don't know what ack, a Dutch ack, oven is? Ack, ack. A Dutch oven. Okay. A, duff, a Dutch oven. It's what like like siblings would do. All right. So what? you're in bed with your brother or sister, and you purposefully grab the sheets and pull them over your head so like you're stuck in there, and then you fart as hard as you can, and you hold it so they can't leave. And <laughs> that's a Dutch oven. You fart into the sheets and you hold it and trap them under the sheets with the fart. You never heard of that? <laughs> cool. 
I gotta brush my teeth. Maybe do a little bit of- Are you guys um, laughing yet? Oh no! I, I cannot uh, express exactly how like uh, straight my face is right now. Uh oh! What's going on? How funny! I don't think this guy is. Not take your meds. What is happening? Huh? Look at this! Oh, it is a panic attack. Look, he's back out in that street. Oh, wait, no, he's nice somewhere else completely. Yeah. He blacked out and woke up in the middle of the street. That can't be good. Look, he's got origami in his oh, hand. Man, he's got origami in his hand. Gee, Amazing commentary, DSP. Thanks for telling right us now. he has origami. Uh -oh. Wait a minute, that looks nothing like mine. Uh oh. <laughs> Great, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Where even is he? He blacks out, wakes up in the middle of the street with origami in his hand. If uh -oh. I recall correctly, like, this is uh, something that doesn't really get explained all too well. Right? For all my heavy rain style players. Uh, this is like a, an arc in the story that just kind of gets left in the dust and never explained. Looks like we're changing stories Holy shit, look at the size of the nose hairs coming out of his nose here. Extreme close up! <laughs> you picked the boogers right out. Did he have origami prepared for that banger of a joke? Uh, no, dude. It came with the game, and during the installation, he put it together. He showed it at the beginning. Rewind the stream. I'm not gonna repeat myself. God. You've earned a trophy. Interactive drama. Wow. Tuesday at 12:06 a.m. Point two seven two inches. Yeah. So here's the thing. To say oh yes, but here's the thing. A lot of people perhaps have never seen this playthrough before. So I don't want to talk about stuff yet because I don't want to spoil. So obviously I'm not going to say what's going on with the blackouts and the, or I'm not going to spoil any of that yet. So yeah, he's not going to spoil it. I will. So it's not explained. This, and you guys are confirming on, in the chat sometimes. Yeah, before they before it released, they changed quite a bit of the plot. It's um, supposed to be more magical we'll fantasy. Go, yeah, there was supposed to be like I a. Wanna, I don't want to jump ahead because a lot of people are like a neural link from him and uh, the killer I because the killer uh, was there when the when uh, uh, Jason I died and that so gave them some sort of, of telepathic so link or something stupid and that was we're part of the blackout. Eighty-eight thousand views again. Yeah. You got to think of old YouTube. Something like okay, that. Old YouTube. One hundred eighty-eight thousand views. No exaggeration. At a minimum. This video probably made me about five hundred dollars. Oh my god! But no, it didn't, because this is Dark Side Phil. The, this wasn't monetized. If I was able to monetize gameplay back then, bro is actually sitting here confirming he made money hand over fist for garbage ass gameplay. Five hundred dollars for nine minutes of him making fart jokes and observational humor. And we're supposed to feel bad for this guy that he doesn't have any money left. He made $500 in 10 minutes worth of work, quote unquote. Literally just watching the game essentially play itself because that's what most of this game is. Where did the money go, DSP? You bought goddamn uh, BMWs that you couldn't afford. Well, you leased BMWs that you couldn't afford. Never got them an oil change. You moved to the other side of the country and you invested in statues. Very robust spending. Goddamn idiot, dude. I could never feel bad for a guy who wasted this and much money. This video made oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot about the DVDs and copious amounts of gin. You had to be with a partner network to do so, and I wasn't until, with anyone until early 2011. So I did all of this for free. All of this was just a hobby, and I had fun doing it, and I liked the popularity I got doing it, but it was never for money. It was never, it was for, never money. for money. That's why I put so a PayPal link in my uh, description and why I made the King of Hate vlogs so that I could make all my money over there. <laughs> He's drunk too. Or maybe it's not different. This is the scene from the demo. They just cut part of it. Oh out yeah, yeah, side. yeah. So, so FYI, FYI, Heavy Rain had a demo had a that demo. came out like a month before the game came out, and I played the demo, and it was basically one scene, this scene right now. So I'm already gonna kind of know what happens because I've already played the demo. So in this regard, it's kind of not genuine first time reaction, which kind of sucks. I wish that it didn't spoil, but it, I already was spoiled just on this one scene. You didn't have to play the demo. Lauren Winter, ring the 
bills. No, nope, can't say it does. Oh yeah, see. Well, how about this, see? Yeah, Redbird. He absolutely oh, did. He, he thought that that YouTube money was going to keep rolling in forever. He thought that he was going to make that kind of money day after day on like royalties of his videos and that he was going to be set up for life. He thought he was like a rolling stone or something. Oh, this is a good hype scene for the demo. I agree. He thought royalties were just going to pay him out. And after like 10 years, he's going to be able to retire on royalties for the rest of his life. Dude's a clown. Actually interesting is, is like catches you. Now the demo, I knocked on these doors and do shit. What happens now? Fuck you too. Sir, do you believe in the transubstantiation of the Eucharist? <laughs> oh, the God. Lord's here to save you. He's a uh, he's a Jehovah's Witness. He's gonna pass out watchtower copies. Hello? Lord Kane, 666 with the two. This is like two man children. Never changed. You expected the guy to change like a normal style? Hell no. The guy's the same forever. Always has been, always will be. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh, I didn't do the quick tie. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Fuck! Because <laughs> I made a kissing and weird shit appointment. <laughs> now my whole day's ruined. <laughs> that joke almost would have been funny if it wasn't from him, in all honesty. Making a kissing and weird shit appointment would low-key be kind of uh, no, comical. Before anyone gets any ideas. Had he any talent. No, there is none of this kind of stuff. Yeah, Baron yes, Von Kane knows what's up. Good morning, Kane. Game, no, there's no funny business like that in the game, so everyone get your minds out of the gutter. This is a serious investigation. There won't be any kinds of that kind of stuff. You understand? Nothing. Your fridge, if that's okay with you. That's a shitload of crappy magnets. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the table, I swear. He's stuck. <laughs> he won't turn to the He's table. Too fat. What are you doing? He's too fat to get by the, the table. He's clipping into the walls. All right, it was the other side. That was weird. <clears throat> Fucking whore. Wow. Who makes you pay first? My God, dude. All right. Like, just blatant... I guess misogyny. Uh, this is really the only just disrespectful oh, the other way. Actually, to a woman of the night with a heart of gold. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is yes. that it? Yes, please. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. <clears throat> the families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. Johnny Five? I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. Uh, bottom text. Yes, most of the game is asking people questions and doing pretty much nothing. There is some more tense segments, but most of it is walking around and doing the prompts, and that's it. Uterus Punch! know something that can aid the investigation. Hello, Nugs. Glad you could make it. There's nothing you can do. It's like everybody's letting you know, you've missed dead. nothing. You we are He's just dead. sitting here. How old was I during this time? Talking our well, shit. I, I physically I was 28, but I think I had the commentary maturity of about like a nine-year-old. Who's that over there? Dun, dun, dun. Dude, it was 2010. We you were like in your late about 20s, about right? Maybe even 30. But, but you're right. I don't know what year Why he was born. <clears throat> It's not your but he had the anymore. he had the maturity of a nine year old. He had the the, the jokes of a nine year old or whatever. I just to throw that of course, out there, dude. Craving of mine, kind of reflected in my build, but you know. Anyway, your son. Oh yeah. Yeah, physically I was 28. Mentally nine years old though. <laughs> Me and Sean have the same mental capacity. Did you suspect anyone after he disappeared? I meet a lot of pretty shady characters in my line of work. Sure, I thought of it at first. But it didn't seem to make any sense. I don't believe any of my clients could have done that to my Johnny. 
That's pretty cool. You could pause it at any time. Sorry to do that. I just wanted to actually take this opportunity to turn the bright a little bit. It looked like it was actually getting a little too bright. Look how, oh my so god, you see how bright I made it? For everyone. I made the game like super bright with the Sorry gamma. That. Damn, that was like way bright. And all those other kids. He uh, Cody Carl's in a super Paused in the story. middle of a cutscene to adjust the brightness. Yeah, why not? Why would Amazing. Like, this is the, the genuine original playthrough. We already watched the unboxing. I don't see why we wouldn't watch the end of day stuff too, right? I think we should. I think we should leave it genuine. If we're going to do this playthrough, we should leave it like unedited and watch the whole thing start to finish. So I would say yes, we, we would do that. Wait, he did end of day so recap vids for this? He did a he did a daily rap for this? I did a recap video with my thoughts about what I thought had happened in the game and if I had any ideas of who the killer is and stuff like that. And people liked that. That was two that. consecutive like pauses, like by the way. Very they cool. Liked that kind of summary. <clears throat> uh, am I playing Rebirth like all the cool kids? Uh, no. I don't play Final <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> Never been my thing. <clears throat> It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. Because I was getting a d DP at the time. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh my god. He oh. was actually hiding himself <laughs> off of the camera. I'm gonna I'm gonna move five back down. We gotta sometimes he does shit that I got oh god, you actually have to see he was heard that joke I just made. hiding off right? camera when heard sex was mentioned. About selling her son to Singapore pirates. Well, by the way, I said Singapore. By the by the way, that's stupid because now I know Singapore is actually one of the most lawful countries in the world. I probably should have said like Shanghai or Taiwan or something like that. Okay, anyway, we should have slandered um, these other countries that, that we don't know about. Again. Sounds good. I'd be so. Oh my God. The easy answer is Somali it's pirates. Use of the children. It's uh, you know what I'm saying, but because I actually have made jokes like that in the last, I think like two and a half years ago, I made a joke like that, and now everyone hates me for it because I made a joke like that. Oh, what a horrible thing to joke about, right? But back then, again, people thought this was this was funny. This was, you know, this was okay. This commentary. So again, fourteen years, a lot of changes. That's brave. <clears throat> That's right. Now Slayer's furious with me. Slayer actually lives in Singapore. He's like, "What are you talking about, you fucker? Singapore pirates?" Who's the trumpet player in the background? He's right outside the window. <laughs> All right, actually. This is a good place to split the part. We're about to. Oh, we're splitting the in. part split again. Didn't we just we'll split the part? One more part for tonight, so we'll get five parts into the playthrough. All right. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying retro replay of Heavy Rain. If you are, I hope you guys are. Comments on the video. Jesus. Let me know what you think, and uh, consider maybe contributing to the channel in some way. Thanks a lot. See you in part five. I couldn't awesome. even say that I hope you guys are enjoying without yawning, right. uh, which just proves time, to me right? that we are <laughs> we are not enjoying. We are enduring. And uh, now remember. Right after, <clears throat> right after this uh, stream ends, I'm gonna post up another poll. All right, for next week, and we're gonna do this again. Next oh my week God, we're night. doing this this shit again, do dude! This? No, no, no. One? Do you no, want no, no, mute style. All right, guys. So it's my schedule segment time. For those of you who don't know, I do. Uh, a show over on WPIG every Saturday at 8 p.m. I will be providing a link to WPIG right now. All of you uh, can have that link. Make sure you sub. ALT does fantastic work. Um, we watch all the old Ask the Kings, and it's very meaningful and very robust, and it's super fun, and I love it there. We have we 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 love Ask the King. Probably a Jake James Lugo thing tonight. Um, yeah, every Saturday for the rest of my life. Exactly, exactly. There's so many Ask the Kings. And then tomorrow, it is the every other react that I do, where me and Inked Blessing will be watching the react all Sunday long. So hopefully um, you guys love that and enjoy that and tell me how much you love it because I need it for my ego, obviously, dude. Sound robust? Sounds robust to me. And, and by the way, uh, Jasper agrees. <laughs> What's the guy talking about? You know, all of a sudden this year, we've got Red Dead 1, Final Fantasy 13, L.A. Noir. We've got the expansion for Red Dead 1, which is Undead Nightmare. we got the Suicide King online co-op gameplay. There's a bunch of missing vlogs and things to upload. There's also... Yeah, we're still talking <clears> like, about what like, we're doing uh, on... Think, like, there's New York Comic Con and... Throwback other channel, this is crazy. <laughs> I went through my entire schedule already. No. That. So I have a bunch of content that's missing to put on this channel. But then after that, we could do anything. Like, we could do reacting to all kinds of stuff, really. Guys, we could react to anything. 
like uh, um, Cody Carl's, like grass growing tips. or um, water boiling or um, paint about drying. Like tip or do you mean a super chat? Super chat. I shouted out the one about the the end of day, but I don't see a tip. Are you saying that you tipped and I didn't cut shout it out? If, th if this is the case, then I'm not getting all the tip notifications. Something's going on where I'm not getting them all because I must be missing some. Because now it's both you and Kirk saying that. Uh, I'll, I'll very briefly see if I can figure this out. No, 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 Nugs. He might not have ever seen grass IRL before, but he's definitely seen grass on the internet. So he'll watch like a grass growing video online. It'll be like uh, 48 hours long. It'll be like a time lapse. And he's just going to sit there and go, meh. Mm. <laughs> And that'll be the entire uh, that'll be the entire episode. Sound good? He's gonna be handheld. He's gonna watch a grass watch. Okay, hold on. Ack, ack, ack. Oh, let's see here. So. Yeah, Crimson Akai, that might be the move. Might have to like put one of those uh, Minecraft parkour jumping videos somewhere on the screen yeah, so that people have something to watch. I we're missed because I don't think all these notifications came through. So I got a four dollar tip <clears throat> from Cody. I put one of those yeah, slime case, videos where they just like the mush the slime in a hydraulic press. Relaxing and playing games. Yes, I do, but at the same time, I kind of emulate that experience, which is why I do things differently. You notice I'm not sitting over there in front of two computer monitors with headphones on, hunched in front, going like this, squinting at the screens. I like a more relaxed situation. I sit back here in my chair. I watch a TV over here. I have open air sound now, right? Like this is almost like an emulation of back in the day of how it was when I was in my, my living room playing games. But you're right, you know, when you're doing things with direct capture and everything, I think a lot of things dramatically change. Um, and I agree with you there that, yeah, you know, sometimes I do miss the old days of doing things that way. Oh I my do. God. Uh, I'm taking a look here. Dude, and... you cannot say I'm not the same person. I've changed. I've grown. I've matured. And then be like, you know, I do kind of miss the old days when I made shittier content and made shittier jokes. And when I say shittier content, I mean objectively the quality was worse his his content is still shit to this day but like objectively he does now do direct capture he does now have a higher fidelity stream i don't think that that's the most important thing you can do for a stream because even if you streamed in 144p if you're entertaining you're entertaining there's no doubt about it like you can stream whatever whenever at whatever quality if you are entertaining dsp is not that guy he's just not but don't worry, guys. We miss the old days. We used to just sit our ass on the couch, kick our feet up, drink a, a handle of gin, have our, our you know camcorder pointed at the TV on top of the coffee table and just mass upload 30 videos in a day. Back when times were good, when we had money and we ate like shit. Hell yeah. We loved that. For the most part, I think I did get all the tips. I think... There might have been one or two that were missed. Um, I think I got this one. But then maybe this one was missed. So hold on. I don't even know how to see this. See what I mean? Like, I hate doing it this way. I don't even know how to... Does this work? Ah, this guy wonders why he never has... Why okay, he never gets anything done. Because he spends so much time doing in. this shit, dude. How long have we been sitting here looking at the tips? How long have we spent updating the leaderboard? There was the, Let's go, man. This one. Did I shout out this one? Oh my god. I don't again, I apologize. I don't know why these weren't coming up. Do I think that the dent took out the uh Yeah, look, so Kirk the had the DSP quote tips. from this playthrough? I don't think so. Saying, Please read my last contribution. It came from the heart. What do you miss? Because he acknowledged it, said it was gonna be in the and playthrough, the and then said that we're just gonna move past it because it was a different time and he doesn't say those things anymore. Actually, I clicked on the same one twice. See what I mean? This is messy. This is a pain in the ass to do it this way because it's all not sorted right. I can't tell what's been said before. Maybe this is the one.
DoorDash you a sandwich? Uh, uh no, stupid. Uh, we don't promote DoorDash what? here. Um, for the record, Kirk, go get I your own food. All these out if I had seen them come in, but I literally didn't see your tips come in. I think Kirk was like upset because he thought I was ignoring him tonight. Right? I think so, but I, you know. <laughs> anyway, I think there were two tips I missed from Kirk that are around seven bucks. I think I got the rest, though. I think I shouted out everything else. And then the Dan man just did a dollar tip saying, I'm really enjoying your playthrough. I never played Heavy Rain myself. It's fun to watch this for the first time. Big ups. All right. I think if I add in the ones that were missed, we're at 43. But we got to keep going. I can't. You see what I mean? I can't sit here and do this all night. That's what I've uh, been I, saying. I all supporting the stream. I'm sorry that a few of these messages didn't come through for whatever reason. God, it's the worst. Okay. And it, he's the person to blame right, for this. He's back. the one that got banned from Stream here. Elements and Stream Labs. He's There's the no reason he has to do this here. manually. Okay. It has nothing to do with anybody else. And for something that doesn't even need to be on screen, you don't have to have your last super chat, your top okay. tip, your tips. To, you don't no, need see, any agree. of those I things. Just do your stream. What we should do is get a rotation of playthroughs that we're doing on here and just kind of stick to those. I don't think that we should be doing too much open variety. Like, I, I think like if we have like five, six playthroughs going here, we shouldn't do that. We should stick to one or two and maybe maybe do those. But, um, and again, keep in mind, I'm not gonna do this every week. Big ups, like Ira. Twice a month we're doing this. So Subbing to like the channel, appreciate it. five hours a month that we're even doing this, so. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's, let's do one more part for tonight, okay? And guys, thank you for your support tonight. I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to Retro React of Heavy Rain from 2010. This is the fifth part, so I hope you're enjoying. Let's jump right into it and see how far we can get tonight in the final part. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said. I'm glad we finally got back to the gameplay. Probably. It's probably it more so boring. The part about this but, is, oh my god, saying in this game a wasteland, and it makes me scratch my head because that's not a common term we use in the United States. A wasteland. I don't even know like what that's referencing. Is that a type of terrain? Is that you know what I mean? Is that a what? location? I don't even know what they're talking about. But they act like it's a common term, and it's really not. Okay, Google. Define wasteland. This is the beach. Wasteland. Unused area of land. Terrain are overgrown. Very cool. Very cool. No, nobody ever uses wasteland, DSP. Except for that Tony Hawk game called American Wasteland or um, that Modern Warfare 2 map called um, Wasteland. Those are the top two things that come to my head when you say Wasteland uh, because that Tony Hawk game banked and Wasteland is a terrible map. That was only good for quickscoping at me. Come at me for it. It's fine. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. The dude doesn't have the basic. Yeah, yeah. The capital Wasteland like from Fallout, dude. It's just stupid. He's just stupid and dumb and stupid. So it confuses me. It makes me scratch my head. Right. Like someone said, what is it, it confuses like, him. Out? Makes him scratch his like, head. The whole world was ended and they found the kids on a wasteland. What are they talking about? It's weird that they use that term so much in this game. <clears throat> his body was found five days later with a Norigami figure in his hand and an organ on his chest. Yes, Phil did say the N word in his place. Absolutely right, Rachel. Animal stuffed up his ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? About eight o'clock. All right. And a SpongeBob SquarePants stuffed animal stuffed up his ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. This is a dead kid that we're talking about. These are. Who the fuck calls it? This is. She found her son dead, and he's talking about shoving a toy up his wow. ass. All right, cool. I got one clue. Called the cops about ten o'clock. Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. And by the way, I'll just say one okay. one thing. That's a little bit. What we just went through. This scene is very foreboding, for multiple reasons. I won't explain now because it would totally spoil the plot. But basically, that was a really interesting foreboding scene of what we just saw right now. Okay. Get out of here. Ah! You vile strumpet! How dare you speak to me in such a manner? <laughs> For that, I will take your peacock fan off the wall. That's right. <laughs> I will
will clog your toilet and double flush. Ah, <laughs> uh, scat joke. Yay. <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy that would clog, clog your toilet and double flush. Too, double scat joke. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I should have a timer for uh, time between scat and jokes and see see what the longest one is. Maybe maybe that's the next stream we do. We'll see how long before a scat joke. I just gotta use your bathroom before I leave. He clogs it and flushes like three times and runs out the door. Oh, I'll see you later. That maybe that's the gimmick for next stream. First scat joke is the end of the stream. It might be like a like a five minute stream. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on? Well, time for another night of porn and pizza. Oh, what the hell? I've been touched by an angel. Oh, wait, that's my asthma again. <laughs> Where is it? What's this? You thought he was going to use an inhaler, but he wolves down an entire oh, cream-filled Krispy Kreme donut in one gulp. Like, Triple oh, dose. Oh, now it's my hunger is satiated. I feel better now. Lauren. <laughs> Open up, baby. It's me. What are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. What? Sorry, but I really wanted to see you. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't uh -oh, know. All of his jokes, me. like, just numb. That guy just forced his way into Lauren's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged. Uh-oh. And not in a good way. What's going on in there? Can I join in? I wonder if Cat would like that joke though, the Krispy Kreme one. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? No, look. Down on the ground. Beat her. Swell. No, beat it, loser. Uh oh. Fuck this guy. Break that shit in. Hiya! Ninja kick the damn door. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. Oh, fuck you. I'm gonna beat the shit up. Uh oh. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Punch the face. Oh, oh amazing smash with the left. Oh, what is this accent we're doing here? Time of the game. Your ear off. Like, oh! Like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. You missed. Oh, I am the man. Oh, you cannot even hit me. You are so slow. You're being defeated by a fat man. <laughs> Look at this. He hasn't hit me once yet. Oh, my God. He's going to have sex with me on this table. Gag, 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 gag. Two guys having sex. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah, it is a German accent, but for pseudo Asian German style combo. I'm I'm confused as to why. Oh no. Oh, you wanna try coming me with a bottle, son? You don't know what's up. That's right, I'm the bottle fighting champion. Oh, I can mash fucking square. Just cut his fucking nose off with that shit. Toast his fingers, come on. Ooh. Oh, put him through the glass. R1. Yes, Tiger Knee. DDT! DDT on the floor. Yes! I'm beating his ass so bad. Look out! You can't hit me, son. You can't hit me, son. Oh, headbutt to the fucking chest. Sumo style. <laughs> Double punch. Rabbit punch. Falcon punch. That does come from this yeah, place. Wow. Actually. Fucked up. He didn't even touch me. Wow. Are you alright? She's got a black eye. Shout out all 408, 409 of you that are here right now watching this. I appreciate it. Sorry, it's not the most entertaining content on the planet, but like it is, it is the guy. Well, you should be careful. <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? <laughs> I mean, typically, like she probably would have a gun or something, right? Like if someone tried to break in like that, she would have blown right away at the door, right? Yeah. So, is that is that typical DSP? Do you have a gun? Is that something that you would do? Or do you have two home defense hatchets that, ha hatchets, hatchets that you uh, constantly say you would stab people with as if stabbing is the motion you do with an ax? No, no where's the, where's DSP no, with the heater? From breaking in and doing that. I'm trying to see and, DSP um, pull the toaster Cody, out on stream. Cody where did, at, uh, though? Super Chat and says, you made Red River Redemption your game of the year 2010 while viewers argued vice versa. Do you still stand by the stance? Uh, you know, for me to really fully answer questions like that, I'd have to basically, you know, watch full playthroughs, reassess and everything. You know, modern day, what game holds more weight? Like I said, this game is outstanding if you don't really know the plot. But once you know the plot and you're kind of spoiled on it, it's yes, not... Yes, the DS like, Pistola. Exactly, like, urban style individual. You know what's up. Gameplay elements, so... I don't know. I, I Maybe I still stand 
uh, to my opinion, a heavy ra or uh, a Red Dead. What about the mess? At least the Hummer. Mr. Come Shelby. Freebie. Thanks. <sighs> oh, thanks to solve these blue, blue balls, son. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, man. Just moments he before he had an asthma buffalo. attack, and he's fighting Peace full force, core. no problems. Uh oh, new character. The third character of the of the game. Why do we get an uh oh here. new character? All right. Nam and Jaden. Nam and Jaden. Chap. I forget how his this piece strapping story young starts. lad with the cut on his face. <laughs> he's a bad shaver. He obviously didn't know how to tenderly press down and shave properly. See. See Dude, <laughs> you shouldn't be proud of that. Private That's the same Private shitty Ikea. joke 14 years apart. How are you going to be like, ah, see? Ag, 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 ag. Shut up. You should be embarrassed. His chap lips, too. Need some, uh. And I got a bronze trophy, white knight. White knight. I got a white knight trophy as well. Tuesday, 805.680 inches. Oh, is this the murder investigation? I think it is. Okay. This is probably where we'll end. This is a bit. It's a lot of investigation in this area. You would do so much better by just replaying the games? I would think so. But that would require him actually playing the game and having to think, and therefore have to read the chat and be handheld. Well, like now, the game is playing itself, and he just has to sit here. DTs! Heavy. <laughs> Are we watching both gameplays of his? How do you mean? The like both part. the throwback style streams? Or was there like a, a second Heavy we're Rain playthrough that you're asking me if we're gonna watch? He'd have to rebuy them because they're PS3 and 360 discs? Uh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Shit. Debunked. You got me. Uh, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. <laughs> yeah, a lot of drug use in this game, game actually. What is it? It's true. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step Redbird asking you about my cats FBI. with the two dollars. Uh, can't answer that. I gotta protect my family, dude. JK, JK. I've got a male cat and I've got three girl cats. It's called the bird, motherfucker. How you like that shit? Yeah. Take that, five oh. <laughs> Oh, check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Amazing. Right. What, what, what good dialogue in this game. Slayer says, how often would you have heavy rain for days in a row on the, the East Coast? Uh, de depending on the season, like the fall, you could get a lot of rain on the East Coast. Like several uh, days. Can I cover his face like again? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and hurricanes, so. There we go. Uh-oh. Here come the men in black. <laughs> we can see through recording. rain and shit. Uh, kitty cam when? Uh, no. Can't do cat cam anymore. Um, it got sent to Banworld. But we do have 102 likes, which means it's bubbles time. Shout out all of my bubble enjoyers. Make sure your desk is cleaned off. Don't forget about the uh, don't forget about the document that you signed that holds me not responsible for ruining any of your equipment. And make sure to close your eyes because a couple of these are going to be coming right for you. So these glasses, the early the early prediction of something like. The Google Vision Plus or the Meta Quest or whatever, oh, AR yeah, headsets like or whatever. That That's basically what this Bean is. Burrito, this is an baby, AR headset. Before they existed, the, this game almost predicted that they would exist. Yeah, there's going to be bubble juice everywhere. I'm going to have to clean up AR after the stream. Detect clues in the environment. See this? Sploosh. Green well, J and J, uh, you shouldn't have signed the uh, shouldn't have signed the agreement if you were going to be upset about your electronics. You knew you were going to be held responsible for anything that got damaged or ruined. Ugh. Ugh. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Wow. Thanks for for all Thanks. that explanation. <laughs> wait, wait. Did he just? 
damn it. They didn't tell me this is where all the bumps hook up. Because I'm Ugh. looking for this guy. Thanks. Oh, he points. Okay. Wow. Thanks for, for all Thanks. that explanation. Terrible dialogue. Holy shit. I'm always looking for love in all the wrong places. I would have bought my, uh, my assless chaps with me. Sure. <laughs> oh shit, look at all this. Yo, congratulations, wizard. Wizard with the 10, my third son was born two nights ago. Happy to be here chilling with you. I have already looked at the kid and thought, I need to help make sure he doesn't end up like Phil multiple times. That's a good way to, to think about it. Will I make a joke about, I hope this is not Chris's blood? We'll find out in three, two, one. It's also strawberry flavored. Oh, mm. I didn't. Yeah, big up. I didn't make just, Chris's blood joke, I can't believe it. Turning every, telling everybody to just not live like DSP, I think would honestly make the world a lot better of a place. If DSP would do it, the answer is probably that you shouldn't be doing it and that you should be more considerate to somebody else. It's just a safe bet in, I would imagine, about 90% of situations. So big ups on your third gate. Leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. But they are a nice set of tins. Nice See you, Die Hard Jagged. Enjoy your uh, double dune screening in your at your local cinema. Hemoglobins. <laughs> Watch those hemoglobins. That is correct. If you are a channel member, you have access to the archive streams Wizard just immediately. Super chat ten dollars. So if you miss My any third portion son of tonight's stream, you want to watch this back ago. as soon as I go Happy offline. to be here, chilling with you. I have already looked at the kid and thought I need to help make sure he doesn't end up like Phil multiple times. Watch it in its entirety if you're a member. But I'm going to split it up into five parts and upload it over the week for everybody else. I thought this was pretty neat. This gameplay element of investigating the, the murder is right, pretty neat. I guess I should check out. There's obviously a clear trail going that way. I guess I should check out the body. That's a no-brainer. Oh my God, so bright. Hey, you there? God, these colors are completely washed out. It all looks like shit. Just completely blown apart. You know who he looks like? He looks like Blake? Alec Baldwin. I'm he does look like a Baldwin. Really Norman Jaden, he I'll does kind of. No, he doesn't look like a Baldwin. Why do you keep saying now. people look like people they it's don't look trivia. like? You what are ready? you talking about? This, obviously, I never would have said back then. So here's the deal. And this is absolutely 100% factually true. This is my original playthrough from when the game came out, release day. Okay? If you go watch PewDiePie's playthrough of Heavy Rain, which is after release, when he gets to this scene, he says, oh, Detective Blake looks like Dark Side Phil. He says that outright, right in the video, okay? Which is interesting that he says that. Now keep in mind, he played this game later after I grew the goatee. In 2010, I didn't have the goatee. I grew that later. So he played the game later. He makes that reference in his playthrough. I only know because people sent me the video to watch yeah, later. Let's, like, oh, that's interesting. Let's name drop and, and shout out PewDiePie. Is they went back and watched his old like comments on YouTube and come to find out before PewDiePie ever oh uploaded videos Oh my god. To YouTube, uh, he actually used to watch all of my playthroughs and comment on them. People found all that. They found all his old comments, how he used to like thumb up the videos and like all my content. So he used to watch my playthroughs before he was a YouTuber. Guys, I inspired PewDiePie and, and Markiplier and, and Jacksepticeye and up, um, The Rad Bread and um, Review Bra and uh, Keemstar and Only Use and I, Me Blade. I still this day, obviously, who I'm basically the godfather of, of content the on the internet. Everybody should be paying me in front of my free. Recording this being irreverent, being stupid and immature, I would inspire other YouTubers to kind of go on and do the stuff that they did. It's pretty wild to think, but it's there. I mean, that's how long I've been doing this. Almost 16 years, you know? And these guys have gone on to do great things and move on, and some of them don't even do YouTube anymore. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Yo, how have we been here for three hours already? We've done nothing. Like, we tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes. I can't hear myself. Thank you. Duh. So right do bulls. Yeah, PewDiePie is retired in Japan now. Well, 
He's like hanging out with this kid and just doing whatever he wants. Did you guys see that? It's pretty big. Straight through him. What happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a So body. now you can obviously see in this part the shortcomings of my capture style back then. Look how awful this looks. All the lighting's completely off. My camera's exposed. Oh, and I've fuck, I fuck, dude, I'm so bad with the nice pauses today. Oh my god. Lighting. So it looks god awful, right? It's almost unwatchable. I'm curious if, like, say I were to, to redo this playthrough for this channel and have my editors, you know, upscale it and do the adjustments, how much different this scene would look. Because, God, it looks terrible. It looks like a dripping painting, doesn't it? I am slipping up. At 6 o'clock this morning. It's so difficult right to, to remember There's that he's... Like, because like the the, he pauses. And I just go, origami. okay, the guy stopped Those again. Origami. That's the first time he says origami. And again, because it's French-Canadian, a lot of French-Canadian um, pronunciations, and they constantly say origami in the playthrough, which is really weird. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. All right. What else Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour. I don't actually need the subway surfer. Shut up. No, I'm not that. I'm not like that. I don't. None yet. Never mind. Given the neighborhood. I don't need the subway surfers though. Saw anything. All right, Cody, I'll keep my eyes peeled for that. Scene. Cody, you saying you tipped again. I don't see it yet. Well, I'll, I'll definitely give you a shout-out by the end of the stream, but I'll, I'll see you because I might get the notification for it. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. And we're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. Nah, oh. Michelle says, no. Michelle says, this is how I see with I'm not wearing my glasses. Exactly. It's so blurry, right? No, of course not. Yes, people know all about that, it's considering he never wears it's his glasses. Bad. That's why he's constantly it's squinting at his TV bad. screen that's at a 45 degree angle on the other side of the room. Yes, a very robust setup for a full time streamer, if you ask the body me. Been identified? No, not yet. We should know more. All right, Boogie Dark Wings. Uh, thanks for stopping by, brother. Appreciate it. My men are going over to see him with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, he'll, he'll be fine. Fucked in the ass. Listen, I'm, I'm a little busy here. All right. Why don't we discuss all this a little later? Back at the office. Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Now, hey, Jane. How cool would it have been if they did go through with the Heavy Rain Chronicles? And there was a whole separate story with Norman Jane investigating, like, another Im uh, murder, like a three-hour story where he's going from scene to scene. He's tracking down clues. He finds a killer. He has to hunt him down and arrest him. That would have been sick, right? That would have been but sick. That would have been insane. That would have been so... Wobbling um, controllers that would have been robust. ...balls on top with PS Move compatibility with this, this game. It was so fucking stupid what Sony did. It's pretty messed up. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. All right, all right, all right. Get the fuck out of my face. There it is. The AR there it is. Here we go. This is it. Here we go. So if the trail ended over here... Yes, we did. At least we did get the taxidermist. It's just sad we didn't get everything else that we were promised. Up here. Because of Sony's dumb decisions. Ah, up. Whoa, oh. shit. Whoa. You didn't wear your Tim's. Whoa. Whoa. Like... Wow, what an awful, awful voice that's the problem. Oh, this ah, is the quick time. Circle. This is annoying. This quick time. Triangle. You have to hold the buttons and the do quick inputs. time is annoying, guys. L1. Like the whole game. But it's annoying now. I'm holding down six fucking buttons. You can re release the older ones that aren't highlighted. Oh, you only have to hold down the two at a time. I see. Yeah. I thought you had to hold all six of them. You don't. You just hold the two that, that are on screen at once. Slip. I wonder if you fall now if you like careen no, down and break your neck or something. Triangle. I don't think I did that Yay. in any of my runs. <clears throat> I'm special. I figured out how to climb. R2, D2, <laughs> L2, R1. Dude, he's I can't believe people used to watch this back in the day, dude. This is insane. Why would you want to watch somebody play? Of strength to climb this foot. <laughs> you slide all the way to the bottom? Oh, wow. How much longer is the scene? Oh, it's about to end. Oh, good. Perfect. We got our stopping point. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Yeah, 
Absolutely they are. We got are. footprints of the killer here. Ooh, tire we even tracks. got tire tracks of how the killer got away. Interesting. Peanut butter. And I'm trying to get the Subway Surfers gameplay, but like... Thank God the killer left his bright neon green tracks. I'm being tempted so about it. it. How convenient. Oh, oh no! You son of a bitch! His new clothes ruined. Ha ha ha! He flips him off! Fuck you, motherfucker! How dare you! That's great. I don't see any more clues. But we did get the tire treads, right? I guess that's Why it. The hell is that bloody? The body's still here. Hey, I checked the body out. Oh, I didn't see the body yet. Okay. okay. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. It was Slimer! Slimer was sliming the children and leaving their bodies in the wasteland. Ew. Same as the other victims, really. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. That is true, there's too many people there. I gotta check out the body, I guess. Alright. Oh. So. Oh my god! It plays playing an ad! Which makes no sense, because I'm not kidding you. I'm watching this on my channel that is YouTube Premium. So this is an error. This is a literal YouTube. No, you can't error. pay your bills, but you're not done this you got less YouTube Premium. Reason, not playing the correct something video. tells me your uh, something tells me your priorities are a little check. messed up. If that's the case, my guy. YouTube Premium. Ag, 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 ag. Oh, I don't know because now it canceled out of the playlist. Well, I don't even know. I don't even know what part that was. That sucked ass. Hold on. Let me see if I can sync it again quick, because it's to, it's not supposed to play ads. Uh, I have YouTube Premium. That was part 10. We finished part 10. Is this a subtle shill for YouTube Premium, by the way? Whoa, wait, no. Something I would personally never condone. No. YouTube yeah, Jeff oh, Flock. It is a glitch. It's a complete glitch. <laughs> We're literally I'm sitting here listening to DSP watch this. ads. That's awesome. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm logged into the wrong account. I think I'm logged into the wrong account. Oh, shit. That's why it played an ad. The whole night I was logged into the wrong account. So it could have played ads at any time. It wouldn't have been my ads. Like, I don't make money on these videos because these are on Dark Side Phil. Um, well, whose okay, ads are these then? Again. I am. I'm logged into the What does that mean? So let me do Aren't, are you not Dark Side Phil? Is this not still your channel? Whose ads are these? And then let me find it again. And I think we were on. That was part nine we just finished, I believe. Heavy rain, getting out of the car in heavy rain. Here it is. So All now right, here we are. The next part. All right, so let's go back down. Okay. I just I wanted to figure out where we're ending here. Um, no, guys, remember, I have, like, three YouTube channels, so I was logged in under a different YouTube channel, so that's why I played ads. What's odd is that... Guys, I scanned the ad, system by, the way, by again, having just, three just different so you know, uh, I do channels. not Don't worry about have it. ads on this playthrough, so if you guys watch anything on my original Dark Side Phil channel and you see an ad on it, that's because it either got claimed by a third party or YouTube just decided to monetize it themselves. And that's literally what happened there. Uh, I'm pressing X. That was weird. I'm pressing oh, X. Monetize. Why are there ads on this? It's weird. All right, anyway, so next time around, if we want to resume, we start at part 10, okay? <clears throat> but thank you guys very much uh, for a great night, right? This was a very entertaining night. I had a good time. I hope that you guys did too. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed hanging out with Heavy Rain. I mean, this is an awesome playthrough again. I enjoyed Back hanging out with Heavy Rain. Like, Overall, as if Heavy Rain was, is the person inspired that hanging out with. Like PewDiePie Sound good. To go ahead and make content for themselves over the years, Heather right? Heather PewDiePie name drop. I mean, pretty epic Love and it. meaningful. So, so far... It, so hang good. on, I thought hang that was on, fun. wait a minute. Wait Keep a minute. in mind, this is not... It's pretty epic and meaningful. The subway service had to, had to ban World for a second. ...really enjoyed hanging out with Heavy Rain. I mean, this is an awesome playthrough. Again, Blast from the Past, the one that put me on the map... Over 100,000 views. Apparently inspired other YouTubers like PewDiePie to go ahead and make content for themselves over the years, right? That's not how this shit works, dude. Just because you somebody liked your content doesn't mean that you necessarily inspired them. That's not how this shit works. If I were to start making music, not every artist that I ever listened to inspired me to make music. That, 
that's not how it goes, man. People can look at your shit, watch your shit, enjoy your shit, and not be inspired by you. What are you talking about? Maybe he watched your shit and went, wow, this guy, I mean, he didn't because he left comments and likes. Never mind. Analogy stupid and dumb. Right? I mean, Bring Subway Surfers back. So, so far, so good. I thought that was fun. Keep in mind, this is not a very long game. So, you know, a few more streams like this. I would say it's probably four more streams, and we could he probably inspired him to be better and through. successful. And again, it's DS, that's guys. how DSP inspires me not, too. I'm gonna have the option for you guys to vote. Every day I think about TV being TV lazy. Right away, I'm like, no, but, I don't want to be <clears> thank you uh, and again, thank stupid you guys, and broke like DSP. And supported. I'm trying to find this final. Every time I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do chores today. I get up and do them because I don't want my house to be filthy like DSP. Like I said, great motivation. So the final tip was a $7 tip from Cody, who said, I definitely want you to finish this playthrough, but also Dark Souls as well. I'm having a great time. So you're I think you guys, since you guys seem to like the content on this channel, you're going to have a tough time, right? Like, what do you want to see next? God I'm down for either. You know, I, this was fun, but I also liked watching Dark Souls. Uh, go so to Boehm. I guess you're going to have the, to, you have some work to do. You're going to have to think about what it is that you want to see next, all right? And again, thank you, everyone. Um, go to Boehm with the 999. Brand dude pointed it out, but it's crazy that whenever when something was wrong, he instantly thought it was someone else's fault and didn't even consider it was him. Uh, well, yeah, because he did nothing wrong and does everything correct all of the time, forever. Always been that way. He's never made a mistake. Obviously, uh, he's the guy. He's he is the one that ran a successful uh YouTube channel. So it couldn't be him. He's not the problem. Everyone it's us tonight. Thank you to everyone who supported the stream tonight. I really, really appreciate Yo, that. Yo, Bucket No Sense and, uh, with the gifted week, one membership. Big ups. Here, I'm sure Bradley will love it. Next. But for those watching on demand, please, again. Happy please, birthday, Bradley. Do you like the commentary style? You, obviously, the visuals are not very good, and that kind of sucks, right? Um, if you like this playthrough, you know, please leave some comments on the video. Share your thoughts. Consider contributing to support it in some way. And, uh, oh, brand dude fact checked it. PewDiePie didn't say anything about DSP. Uh, I'll believe you and brand dude. Brand dude's Until never lied to me. Out. I don't think. Another retro react in the books. See you then. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So here's the deal, everyone. Right now, I'm going to upload, and tomorrow uh, tonight, I'm actually going to set up on the main channel page here the next poll, where you guys can vote. All right. So please vote. Oh, guys, uh, we're talking next, about doing the poll again. Red Dead Redemption One. More Dark Souls 1. This is the third rain, time this stream we've talked about how we're setting up a poll. From 2013. All right, so you vote. You determine what you want, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, thank you all. If you are a member, you are able to watch that archive stream that we just did right away. If you're not a member, I'm going to chunk put it into chunks, basically like one part a day for the next five days. So you'll be able to watch one part every night. I think they'll go, go live at like 10 p.m. or whatever. Um. So there you go. But please vote on the poll. Uh, remember tomorrow, uh, back to full time gaming. Tomorrow it's going to be Tekken and Back to full time Yoshi gaming I'm tomorrow. Make a custom version of him with a custom outfit. And we're going to. It sounds so cringe to say full time gaming. Like tomorrow even night, if that's like actually what you well, do and you're good at games and entertaining, entertaining like still don't, saying don't full time gaming. That. We're going to have ninety six thousand dollars to Kinda spend cringe, in Hawaii. It's going to be a shopping spree to upgrade all our characters and have a great time. So I hope that you will join me for that uh, tomorrow. That's going to be a great stream. Ah, he lost. Sound good. Sorry, I was watching the subway. All right, guys, that was great. I had a great time with all of you. I hope that you really enjoyed as much as I did. I, I'm looking forward to more of this. Uh, I like these these streams. I think it, it's good for the channel because it gives the channel more content, but also it's just fun to reminisce on the past. And I, I'm planning on doing these probably twice a month. The reason we're doing two weeks in a row is because early March, I need to take time to do things like the private Patreon va React videos. And the reason we're going two weeks in a row is because you so want more money, to do stupid. One early on in March, but... so it makes more sense to do like a double one uh, at the end of this month and then bring it up. Fire Paper Mario. I was going to okay. go on Phil's suggestion box and suggest okay, some more variety in the you know, online the match streams. These are great, seriously. Besides things. Tekken 8 and COD. The week, have but he'll make one. an excuse. All right, everyone, please no, have a good dude. night. Be I safe. agree. I'll see you all tomorrow for the level one podcast. He has an excuse Second for everything. And like a dragon. Peace out, everyone. Have he doesn't play good games online night. because people troll, and he's got so many games that he's already playing, dude. Um, and uh, he's already behind, and he's skipping a bunch. So why would he play games online uh, with a bunch of stupid idiots that could like troll him and mess him up? Okay, sound good. That's pretty, I, I just saved you a bunch of time, actually.
you know, the fun characters aren't even up on the leaderboard while we want. In tonight. All right, here we go. This is the second okay, time guys, they wanted to see Heavy Rain on the let's React get, throwback. Let's set up, do a little bit of talk, and chill before we begin tonight. How is everyone? I hope you're in a good mood. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy. No, vibes. we can't just here watch Subway throwback. Surfers. I really enjoyed doing these throwback streams the last... We have to have the guy. I'm looking forward to tonight. You know, Heavy Rain last week was great. A great throwback game. Um, we're not done we're here. We still got up, time. Go, right where we had left. We got like another hour. Part 10. Continuing on with Norman Jaden. We'll see how this goes. Um, good evening, guys. Yeah, everyone. so to have about another oh, hour, and then I'm going to get some food. What do you think? What's going on? What are you up to, and how are you doing? To <laughs> Crimson Akai with the two Drawback found a way to spend money. That's thanks correct. for surfers. You didn't have to find a way. <laughs> yes. Surfers was already on yes, screen, yes. dude. For at least two hours, maybe two and a half hours. We've squeezed in two and a half hours to every single throwback stream that I've done so far. So I will try to do that tonight. If we start on time, I should be able to do that. We'll see. <clears throat> Never played the game before. Excited to see what happens. Uh, you know, doing my best. I haven't made it known that, uh, you know, no spoilers. At the same time, I can't exactly stop all spoilers. You know, idiots will spoil. And the game is 15 years old. So it's kind of hard to avoid spoilers in a game like this. <laughs> okay, I think back. It's 14 years old, actually, this game. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. So far, it's great. Yeah, no problem, Derek. That's all good. Uh, we already have... I haven't even really begun. We, like, I just jumped on stream. We already got shout-outs to do, so let's do them, right? No, uh, uh, start with the game. Right off the bat here tonight. from ah, Harry damn Nicole. it. Phil, I love the first stream of the Heavy hey, Rain Retro morning, React. I, cannot, I can't catch this one live. I have work. I want to show support. Hope you're having a good night. Thank you so much. Uh, Harry Butthole. Yeah, thanks, Harry Butthole. I want to talk about Derek in the chat here for a second. Uh, at DSP Throwback. I may have to step out at some point to eat some birthday cake. It is my mom's birthday, but I am ready for more heavy rain. Thanks, Derek. I'm glad you're here. Uh, so far, good day. The, the react stream earlier today, I really enjoyed. I had a good time with it. A good variety of stuff in that stream. Um, and so, yeah, I'm looking forward to a gameplay react stream tonight with all of you. I'm trying to see if the animation will play. Looks like my browser is lagging. Let's see if this works or not. <clears throat> Wow, it really doesn't want to load. It's being annoying. Well, let me get Harry Butthole up on the leaderboard while we wait for the... Oh, it played! It did play! The animation played, but my browser lagged up. Oh, that's... Well... <laughs> At least the animation played. I guess I gotta hit refresh and try to get it to load properly. Okay, good. I'm glad the animation... Dude, how does he have Harry technical Butthole difficulties every single stream? Like, this is a weeks apart, and he's still... Fiddle... You know, he's still messing around <laughs> with his, his animations. He's still having so issues with his tips. Like, week after week after week, there is something wrong with this guy's streams. A and he doesn't do anything different. That's the part that kills me. They're the same streams every single week. There's no difference. He just watches shit and plays video games. He doesn't add anything on the fly. He has no sources for anything. There were so many Kens in Capcom Cup because he's such a ridiculously overpowered character that... You knew the entire thing was going to be skewed. It's like 10, 10, 8 to 10 Kens, 6 to 8 Lukes, like 5 Juries, like 4 or 5 DJs. It's like the entire top tier that you know is top tier is just sitting pretty at the top, which is ridiculous. But it's sad, you know, the fun characters uh, aren't even Would in. I do some community there's, there's game streams with viewers there's, someday? Um, no Minos. That no sounds no like a lot of fun. No the problem is I don't play a lot of games anymore. <laughs> it's like, wow. All right. When I do, it's so, it's anyway. only for like an hour um, or so. So thank you very much there. Chocobo Spend too much time doing this, dude. Full-time hater. Stuff. It should be fun, right? <laughs> okay. When All I'm right, not so streaming, I'm pretty much editing a video or this making guy. thumbnails or... Notifications. Hopefully they reload. Doing something. Properly. And uh, I'm sure we're going to get more people. We're I would love to play games with some of you guys, so. though. And we're going to go about two and a half hours. Usually these streams got decent attendance. Not amazing, but... 
I wish Helldivers 2 didn't yeah. have that god awful anti cheat in it because I do really want to play it. It looks a lot of fun. Um, video was the Price is Right one. But I, I don't, I don't agree with the anti cheat, so correct. I won't be buying it. You, Shame, you sure really. Lasted a long time, Hopefully they change it like one day. Holy. But uh, yeah, we did lose the great, the Bob, uh, the great Bob Barker. Yeah, Community Subway Surfers. That would go dumb. <laughs> Oh, my nose. Oh, I should probably go to live chat rather than this. So, guys, tonight, let's chill. Let's have a good time. Rich no, I've thought about COD Zombies because I like the out. modded maps in Black sure we'll Ops 3. I think they're super fun. fun. Uh, just like we did last time with this, as we get further into the mystery plot and the elements of it, I wonder if tonight, if we will get to my video that was the end of my day one gameplay and I did, like, my daily recap of what I thought about the game. Because what I did, I played this over a course of three days. Each day, I played, like, two, three hours. And... Uh, basically, I uh, gave my thoughts at the end of each day of who I thought the killer was and what I thought about the game. So that was kind of neat. And uh, I'm curious to see how that's going to You know, that does actually game. sound kind so, of neat if it were coming we'll from anybody else, being that it is a thriller-style game. Like, giving your updated, like, who you think the killer is and, like, the mm -hmm. things that you've uncovered yeah, yeah. throughout so guys, the day in your gameplay. Like, that is kind of neat that, if it were done chats, well and by someone who was interesting. But DSP uh, sucks honest, and has you know, the mental capacity of a 9-year-old, according to him. So it probably wasn't all that entertaining. stuff. It would be great if we could... Uh, I'd love to be wrong, video. though. I hope he, also, like, shows that, and it's actually super robust and meaningful, retro, yeah, and the I best YouTube content I've weekend. ever seen. I want to so, be wrong so the bad. The ideas that we had so far, obviously, more Dark Souls 1 or more Heavy Rain, Bully from 2013, and then the fourth option that someone came up with was Bioshock. My original Bioshock playthrough from way back when. Um, again, that was not direct capture. That was a camera point at the TV and stuff like that. So, I think we will do another poll over the course of this uh, week and you guys will be able to vote uh, on what you want to see uh, next time that we do a retro react. Oh, guys, okay. make sure that you uh, vote in the poll. It. It's super and important. It, you know, I'll tell you when the poll's live. It might even Let me tell live you 400 times throughout the stream that you okay. have to vote in this poll. No, I cannot raise the volume of my mic. The, literally, the volume of my microphone is maximized in OBS. If I turn up the volume of my microphone a little more here in the receiver... It very well could make oh it God. sound blown out. So, for example, no, real quick, real quick, I do want to, I do want to address this real quick because I don't know if I'm going to talk about it at any other point. Uh, his microphone situation style, when he talks about it, he tells, he, he tells it like it is, and that people have com been complaining for ten years since he had this microphone set up that he's been too quiet and that they can't hear him, and he's quieter than everybody else that they watch on YouTube. 10 years of the same complaint day in day out time after time and he's never bothered to look into it never bothered to change it never bothered to watch a tutorial to see if maybe there was something he could do so does anybody really think that the suggestion box is a useful uh you know use of our time thank you we're actually going to get anything out of the suggestion box we're actually going to make any sort of improvements because i don't think so if after 10 years of the same complaint you don't do something about it i don't think it's ever going to happen amazing this guy sucks I will, i'm just going to turn it slightly up okay and you tell me how it sounds ready okay i just turned it slightly up how does it sound does it sound any better does it sound blown out now because I can adjust a little bit, little bit on the fly. I don't want to do too much and, you know, have it sound terrible. Good, too loud, better, still low. What Good. up, Bill Paulson? I think it's actually better. Yeah, I, I just seen it. Where did it go? It took him until yesterday to add a compression filter and okay. gain. And that's shit that you, like, like, like look I, into I a pretty much so as soon as I mean, you like, start I streaming. Before, and people always said, no, it sounds terrible. Just like ducking it. in your audio. Right. Like, it's something that I, I I did a couple of streams and was like, yo, I need to figure out how to duck. That well, way I'm not constantly having it. to fight Even with again, the audio more, from him or whether a gameplay or whatever we're watching. Like, that's something that you look into because you actually have, like, you care about the... The content that you put out, you want people to have an experience that is um, good and it's not just ass. Right. But not DSP's content. Hell no. That's too much work, dude. It's just right. There's a monitor here, but I don't know what the monitor does. I think this knob... Okay, this would have been if I have a second microphone, which I don't. So that knob is for this, a second mic. 
And then this monitor knob, I literally have no clue what this monitor knob does. I've never touched it. <laughs> I've literally never touched that monitor knob because I have no clue what it affects. So I really don't want to touch it and fuck it up. Dude, what does Wasteland even mean? Uh, I don't know, dude, but uh, shout out Jackie Chan. That's my only answer, really. Well, keep in mind, the game audio is what I can adjust. The game audio I can adjust louder or lower. I actually have the game audio d decently low here um, because sometimes the game uh, volume just completely drowns me out for these like whenever i'm reacting to something i'm a guy am so, i the reason that uh, we'll your phone thinks you're playing. saying you duck instead how, of how the, the f sounds. word uh right. yes but i can even try opening it, it was oh, me that? Re. okay so right now right there the duck dude it, like the microphone went crazy it actually went into it's doing it right now it's going into the what's considered the red when it shows as red it means that basically it's too loud for it to handle and a few times right there it actually went into the red. I can see on the the device. So I know he's about to get I caught by know. the security guard. Oh, I got away. Go into the cool. red or not? I don't know what causes it. To, oh, and then we got the boost. Oh yeah. Are you hearing anything when that happens? At all? Are no, you I'm not here in DSP happens? gameplay. Or How long have we been here? Thirty three minutes. Good evening. Go, go, go. to the raw fill stream. Thirty three minutes, and there has been no gameplay yet. How robust? It sounded normal. So you guys didn't hear any kind of distortion or any kinds of explosive sound. You guys didn't hear any explosions when a, I was speaking, that right? On. That's green. And that's supposed to indicate you're good. You're in the green. It sounds the correct level. But I raised... Oh, there it goes. It's in the red right now. Did it still sound okay? Yeah. My device itself is telling me that I'm in the red. Nuclear detractor. Uh, holy shit. Atlas is here and... Or still here and going strong. You have the salmon of a stallion. Uh, no. What's happening? Nothing. We're just messing around with. This the is the audio. normal style. People said for me too. If I had to go, uh, you know, later bit, than all. normal, I don't know if it made then I not, would have to agree. It's, it's kind of showing. But in the four hours, four and a half hours. That's cool about. Making, that's about normal. Then I'll keep it at that level for now. Then I guess. I have to get up and stretch my all legs, right, everyone, dude. We're about to get started. All right. And like I said, we're going to try to do at least two hours if not two and a half hours of progress tonight with this retro react of course it won't be actual two and a half hours real time am i playing subway surfers no 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 this is uh, this is just chat. subway surfers gameplay anything particular about the game please no spoilers oh he's about to get caught though permanent ban if you do to hurry up uh, any contributions oh, we lost him. Really appreciated this isn't no, we got the boost hell yeah if you contribute i will give you how is he gonna catch you on the ceiling stupid um like cheating thanks to anyone who does because as i've told you guys recently this channel does not make much at all. Without the Retro React streams, no exaggeration, this channel makes about 50 cents a day on ads. That's about it, okay? So your support during on this ads. stream is literally what's helping this channel to become something viable and something that I would like to do more. Like, if I get good support during these live streams, I would consider doing them once a week. You know, right now, it's kind of uncertain if I will or not. I would like to do them once a week, but I need to have enough support to make that viable. So... Please support the stream tonight if you can. That'd be awesome if we do get support and then I bring it into the, the fold as a weekly thing. Okay? Um, Can we start the gameplay? Right, I think we're going to start momentarily here. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, the gameplay's Kirby been started. Obviously, Subway Bell, Surfer is a superior happening. game. Uh, we're, we're about to watch more Heavy Rain. I would say that's pretty cool. We had a, t a great time with this last week, so I think we'll have a great time with it this week as well. I think I'm just going to crack my window open. I actually closed it completely because it was cold in here. But I think I want to crack it open uh, just to get a tiny bit of fresh air because it is feeling a little stuffy. I have the fan on, but just a little bit. Oh, we just got up. We got to go turn the fan on. Jesus Christ, dude. Just start the goddamn stream. What are we doing here? We're actually playing around. What a waste of time. Literally no respect for anybody but himself. Oh, guys, it's a little warm in here. I got to go immediately turn the fan on before we start doing anything. Like, you could just right. let this shit play yes, Derek, and then I come back. A million times you're used to typing DSP gaming. Well, yeah. I do have three different channels, three different names. You got to get used to it. All right, are we ready to start? <clears throat> 
Uh, soda chip. I have my fan on in the bedroom year round. Now, I need the noise because start, I'm a Zoomer style, and, and silence is terrifying to me. I basically so, just did the mic for your guys' request, but I turned the, the fan on and I pointed the, the day, other direction. So I definitely don't want to push the microphone volume any higher. I need air circulation, right. not mm -hmm. wind, dude. Cool. All right, so I'll have this up here. There we go. All right, everyone ready? We'll begin. Let me get rid of this person complaining. Goodbye. Okay, ready? <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, here we go. It's for my PC. It's the best light you ever came up with. Hello, I used to everyone. not have to Good sleep evening. with a fan. And I welcome. slept over at a friend's house one time when I was a kid, and right. he had a fan on, and uh, my life's never been the stream. same. Last week, I used to just sleep in silence. It was miserable. Original heavy rain playthrough from way back when in 2010. People really got the cool retro vibes, seeing the old camera setup and how it all worked back on my original Dark Side Phil channel. And I was going to do another one this week because actually next month I may or may not be able to do this as often. And people voted once again for various different games. And the one that won out was Heavy Rain yet again. So pretty cool that we're doing Heavy Rain a second week in a row. And we're going to go right where we left off with Norman Jaden. Yes, that's how he says his name in the game for some reason. Um, Is it, though? going to continue his investigation into this wasteland where, a sadly, the body of a child was found, a victim of the origami killer. Uh, good stuff. Now, to remind everyone how this works, so this is an interactive live stream. If people tag me in the chat and we have some conversation, that will happen. I'll be pausing probably frequently to comment on what's going on in the game or, you know, things about the old playthrough. I'll be doing shout-outs, particularly right now. Shout-out to Hiseo. X5, who just re-upped her membership for their second month ever, says ready for heavy rain vibes. He's actually the first person ever to have the silver throwback symbol, so that's cool. And also, Drastic Measures just did a $2 super chat and says Friday Night Fights and Retro Reacts are both fire. Thank you very much to Drastic Measures. I appreciate that. Oh, dra Drastic. No. Dras Drastic Measures. Wow. That, I, I still spelled it wrong. Measures. <laughs> Dude, how are you having okay, such a hard I think time I got it. here? All right. So let's do it. Let's jump back into the classic that is Heavy Rain. Let's have some fun, shall we? Now, I adjusted my vo my mic volume. People were trying saying, could I try to make it a little louder? I did. But let's see what happens. Guys, let me know how this sounds in balance, and we'll go from there. Okay. Go back down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, immediately. Oh. What an idiot. Oh my gosh, we almost fell down the hill, you guys. I'm so light on my feet. I'm like a prancing fairy. <laughs> Here we go. I do the prance. I do the prance. I do the prance. Yes, the prancing prance. <laughs> I'm like Peter Pan. Very nice. Peter Pan Jaden. I do the tap dance down the, the slippery wall. Alright, so how does it sound? Is the volume good, or should I adjust? Right. I can only really yeah, adjust the game volume, but I want to make sure that it's sounding good, guys. Is it good? You could ask. Video, you could know, ask and just video. continue to let the video run. Sound you don't good? have to stop. Yeah, pause little, count I'll currently at 43, but I probably good. missed like two to four of them. So we're on the low end. We're giving the, him the benefit of the doubt. There we go. So let me know how this sounds now. Okay, here we go. So now Norman will investigate the body. Thank you to Gabriel. Gabriel also re-upping his membership for a second month and now has the silver throwback. So you're the second silver throwback symbol. Thank you, Gabriel. Harry, coming. The victim is lying on the Oh, it's Abe Bogota. No visible signs of violence. Abe Bogota? Why'd I say that? superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. Ah. So that's, his body was dragged ah. down here then. Indeed, from the road. This game has an incredibly Indeed. busy train schedule. Uh, I agree, so dude. I was asking, did this game Poor use guy. any six-axis features? Public if transportation is crazy. correctly, yes, there's a couple of times where you have to do balancing in the game. And you would use the six axis to balance, much like it also was used in Uncharted 1. I think it did have that, yes. It wasn't often. There was a couple times when you were like turning the, a car wheel and you would go like this with the controller. So you'd basically be doing this. Like you're actually turning a car wheel. 
Um, and there was some balancing technique, but that was it. There was only a couple times in the game it wasn't frequent, if I remember correctly. Uh-oh. A small origami figure in the right hand. It's not good. The fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Just following the MO, the origami yeah. killer, because that's what they call it, origami. The origami killer. Why? <laughs> the victim is Jeremy Bowles. Oh, did he stop again? He God. Five days ago. Not gonna lie, so I was trying to find a burrito online so that I could, so I could go get a burrito That's after the stream. The exposure of my camera just gonna, just gonna be terrible. upfront and honest. Uh, <laughs> of I'm getting hungry. I'm thinking about food. A burrito sounded good. It's for, my day off. Record, I like to go out. I got, 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 got. Another playthrough of this from the HD remastered version that came out many, many years later. This part of the game actually is washed out, meaning the colors you're seeing are correct. And some you saw how on the, the cops' jackets they had like the big reflective things on their jackets. That's also correct. That's how the game works. However, what you're seeing with the text and the strobing, that's my camera. So it's kind of like half of the stuff kind of looks like that for real, but half of the stuff is definitely the old camera coming through and kind of looking very crappy. Guys, um, it's my old camera's fault. That thing I tried like I to sell you was the best thing tip. ever. Uh, from Quantic Dream, are you ready to play the prequel Light Rain we announced for 2025? That would be interesting, heck, but heck, I heck. actually Such a don't funny joke. want a prequel um, at all. I think I don't like prequels. Everyone knows that. I prefer sequels. I would love to see another murder mystery in this style from Quantic Dream. Yeah, we, we, we covered happen. recently why he doesn't like prequels. He told us it's because that. he already knows how um the char end. like the how so the characters end, so why we would he want to see them beforehand, things. Things. right? Really sweet, right? Uh, I think because he doesn't actually maybe. care about their backstory know, or how they came to be as uh, people. They to it, they've been working on like these two different games for ages, and they still have like no release date. Because actual character development and arcs are just not uh, in, in his wheelhouse. He doesn't understand a character arc. Is that it? It's all the clues. Yep, it's all the clues. Look, he's completely covered in mud because he slid down the hill because I fucked up the quick time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pangdell asks uh, why there's subway surfers in the corner for all my zoomer styles out there, like me. When the gameplay is not riveting or robust, you can look at subway surfers and be engrossed. I mean, look at how fast paced it is. Dude, he's collecting the coins. He's getting boosts. He's jumping on trains. Harry comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the way. It's just one of the policemen blowing the whole fucking investigation. I know, exactly. Like, have you ever seen a crime scene with more cops walking around it willy-nilly? Like, they're completely ruining the crime scene, destroying all evidence. I mean, what the hell is going on? See, Snoot is so they, they, accustomed they, 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 to the Zoomer fighting. style, he didn't even see Subway Surfers. Crime scene like this. Whoever's in charge will be immediately released. Um, thank you, 672. Two months as a member here on DSP Throwback. Appreciate that. Enjoy your silver throwback symbol. All right, I guess we'll get these glasses off. Yeah, still ran. Or, yeah, so, still yeah, ran. So super bright. I, uh, I, 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 I wanted to talk about that yesterday, but I, I didn't stream yesterday. Um, he, he talks about he hates the multiverse thing, and that's why he hated Mortal Kombat One story. And it's out. It's it's overdone, outplayed. Multi universes, parallel universes is too much. The multiverse. I hate it. But then he's going to hype up uh, the new Final Fantasy and say, oh, well, anything could happen, dude. It's super robust and uh, the hypest game of the year. And um, I don't know what's going to happen. It's the unknown journey now or something like that. So, yeah, it's just constantly flip flopping all the time. But the, the very blurriness is not. The blurriness is my shitty camera. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving, too. Go pop one off really quick, and then uh, we'll swing by your place for some martinis. <laughs> I think you have the ability to either leave with him or to say, I'll, I'll follow you later, and you can look at the for clues. Yo, no, Minecraft. I think I think the I think we watched 39 minutes oh God, of Subway Surfers and now we really are doing the yeah and now we're in 20 of Minecraft Parkour hell yeah dude now oh, bring it back bring it back hey reporter come here bam put you to face we really watched 39 minutes of Subway Surfers that's pretty cool uh I think the game just fucked up oh look because that's what's coming out of my speaker right now I'm not kidding that's what's coming out of my speaker <laughs> I adjusted the volume at all. 
Holy what are those release date bugs? What is going on? The game just glitched. I can go into the menu. Oh, I can go into Snoot, the I don't know what this, you're talking this about. This is Minecraft Barcore Banks. About me having a camera is that when weird bugs and glitches would happen, all right, all right, I hold them on. Live, but like I could pull, act out in front of the camera too. Now today I have a webcam, so I could still do this. But back then, like having that camera was ideal. Everyone else was doing direct capture and no face cam or anything. So if like the game would crash or whatever, they wouldn't be able to like like do much. But now, you know, I was able to like put my hands in front of the camera and stuff and point stuff out. So yeah, this is just another example of one of the, I was a bug magnet back then and i'm still a bug magnet today so the game goes black screen and then has an insanely CS go surfing but when i go that was some real 2016 go behavior everybody was cs go knife surfing back then this is what i get <laughs> well that's quite an interesting game bug don't you think so i threatened to punch a reporter in the face and the game crashes look she's talking oh god you hear that going on dude so this is a crazy game bug going on right you got now. You sucked into another dimension. Bug. What am I supposed to do right we're, here? I like, we're sitting here. Anything. I'm glad we left the bugs oh, in. God, it's even worse. Listen to that. Oh. Why do I get all the game bugs? Can someone explain this to oh, me? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, shit. Why don't you make it go all the way up in brightness if I can still see this guy? And, like, we're just playing around with it. I can see absolutely nothing. So I can't get in my car. Wow. I can't drive away. So what happened? I wonder what kind of a bug this was. This is not me making it up. This is the What game kind of up. a bug this is? It's a visual it's style so bug? It's a gameplay away. style bug? Like, what, what's, what's the answer that you want here, Chief? Dude. Genuine I have question. I the whole scene. I think I have to replay the whole stage. Will be lost. Yes, I have to do it. Because my game I'm pretty sure crashed. we have to do the whole thing again. A second time. And a game-breaking error. Because I went to punch a reporter in the face. <laughs> yep, I have to start that whole crime scene over. Can you believe it? Yeah, I'm, obviously, my apologies to anyone Just if you had phone. headphones or earbuds on and it like blew your, your ears out. It, it did. I mean, I was in a surround sound room with that blasting at me. Uh, I'm a guy. I mean, both game. left in back then, left in the bugs back then because he didn't edit it out. He didn't bother to just you know restart the recording and be like, well, it messed up. I'm gonna cut that out. And also now, had like three or four really bad bugs. One one or two were funny, but some of them were like game breaking to the point where they were funny. Still wouldn't work. It was pretty bad if I remember correctly. And then they fixed it later on. Complete. Easy transitions, no problems at all. I just got a trophy. How did I just earn a trophy, FBI investigator? Yeah. This is FBI investigator. My the camera's game blocking me a it. trophy, but they're making me replay the scene. What the hell? Oh my god. Yo, did you hear the controller slam? Let's run it back. FBI investigator. My camera's blocking it. The game gave me a trophy, but they're making me replay the scene. What the hell? Oh my god. He wonders why nothing works. Now. All of his equipment is always broken, and that's the that's the the, the controller slam for actually nothing. <laughs> oh my god! The the nice. I need I need the drugs that Norman didn't take. I need them. <laughs> uh... what, the fuck? The moving? what happened now? It's so weird. What the hell's going on here? Now I'm back up here. I'm back up here. I gotta do all these clues again up there. What's up, the Dan There's man? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Good evening. This is so mind fucking me. What is going on? Oh, I guess I'm just gonna go back, look at the body, and get out of here. Tire tracks on the side of the boat behind the railroad line. Yes, sir. Would you guys prefer to see the entire scene again, or do you want me to fast forward through it? This is obviously the advantage of doing a react is that we can fast forward through and save like another 10 minutes. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to watch it all again, or do you want me to just skip it and go to the next new scene? I'll let you guys tell me in the chat. Oh, okay. We're going to skip this now. Very cool. Very cool. I actually like this fast forward, feature. Fast forward, uh, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Yeah, please. fast forward, because I don't want to see this shit again, and it sounds like forward. ass. Okay. Let's, let's fast forward till the scene so we have to do the whole thing again. Same exact dialogue and everything. Goes to the car. Okay, so here's here's where you can actually get out of the scene now. Here we go. Oh, what happened again? Asshole. Before the game crashes, hurry up. 
Moving. Snood was asking for the slime videos. Uh, no. Best I can do is kinetic sand. Sorry. All right, let's go. They're really heavy with the quick time stuff. So, like, you have to, to start your car to drive away and stuff. Like, Goodbye, Shatter yeah. Hail. Have a good time. Hurry up. <laughs> Ten seconds. Do, 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 do. Well, we made it to part 11. Is it part 11? Part 11 of the playthrough. So part 11 of a, like a 50-part playthrough, still 149,000 views and keeps going. Like, you see what I mean about how crazy the amount of views... If we make it through the kinetic sand, I'll, I'll look for a hydraulic press. God. We'll install 20 gigs to your home. Guys are never satisfied, I tell you what. <laughs> no, it's funny because... I'm criticizing the size of the game as 20 gigs like it's a lot. Like today, 20 gigs is nothing. Back then, 20 gigs was huge. You, know, you didn't have giant hard drives on these consoles. Uh, you still don't have giant hard drives on consoles. I mean, like what? The standard, like the, the good sized hard drive on a console is like a terabyte? Okay. Dude, if I had a terabyte well, on my PC, I'd actually die. Mine back in the I'd be deleting day. shit left, right, and center all the time. I have and, so uh, much dumb bullshit on my PC. From Costco's bakery. A lot of it is for this, but still. Danish pies. All right, we Crimson. See you, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the Subway the Surfer's way. recommendation. We're, we're on a rabbit hole now. You have unlocked a new bonus. <laughs> is the bonus of the game <laughs> <is> fucking crashing? <laughs> Bat, insect, or butterfly? Looks like an insect to me. An insect. It does? What is this, a Rorschach test? It definitely looks like a wolf. The wolf! A wolf's head. Shadow Hale, you're back. You forgot he was starting later today. I went and checked. I was like, is he starting earlier today? I thought he started in like an hour. Because that's when I'm going to go. I'm going to go pick up a burrito uh, and death, listen death. to the guy in the car. Death, death. I saw death death. <laughs> that's why I don't do the restream, dude. Other people do it for me. And I just uh, sit in my car. High anxiety. Oh, Mel Brooks reference. Results of your MRI scans. Shout out Mel Brooks. Uh, who? There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. Ethan's You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. He's right. Absolutely. You, you do kind of got a point, though. It is all your fault. Every day. If only you hadn't jumped completely in front of the car, cushioning the blow entirely from your son while the car was coming forward at about one mile an hour, if that. Or raise your kid right so he doesn't walk away. Right. That was kind of that was kind of my thought. I don't know why your kid just walked away from you like sense, that. Right? We watched it back. Hands would have whooped my ass my back in the day if I just walked away like that. No, no one can make sense. How did Jason die in that situation? Jokes on them. I was too busy playing playing around in the totally in the coats. You got you guys remember when you went to the store with your parents? You'd play around in like the coat rack, and then they yell at you because you're not supposed to be doing that. Fuck you. You remember? What you doing? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. Hmm. With me, he's more distant. You know, they made the racks so you can't hide him in, in him anymore? Whack, dude. Walmart on games for that one. <laughs> Grab a Snickers. Mm. I stopped living at the same time Jason did. When that car ran into us. Oh, that's true, too. So, so last week we were hypothesizing they probably pushed out, and at the beginning of the game they probably edited that scene to make it look less violent towards a kid. But in this game, kids drown, right? We we're seeing the bodies of dead kids, right? There's tons. There's other dead bodies in the game, as you'll see as we go through it. There's incredibly graphic, violent scenes in this game. So why did they feel like they needed to like make it not as bad? It doesn't really make sense. It's kind of, it's kind of like I don't know. 
almost like like more than one director had their hands on the game or something and they were all tweaking it in different ways and they just don't all like align it's kind of weird yeah it's almost like there's a lot of people involved in the yeah, process of a game you know, and some people don't agree with the direction the of the game killer. yeah i kind of flash in and out and wake up with almost like some people have differing opinions and not everybody's a hive uh, mind who would have thunk really kind of crazy how that works actually no <laughs> death death no no he's the double the double answer guy this session uh, we'll continue this conversation next week Next week, we'll have the Nerf bat fight. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> it's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. Isn't that a reference to, um, After Anger all, Management? Doctor, you ever seen that movie? Face is fused to my you guys chest. ever seen Anger Management? You heard said? Was that strong. My son's face is fused to my chest Every for the rest I of my life. Mirror, I literally see him. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's how I feel too, DSP. Wow. <laughs> Yes, Ivega, we're still going. Why is everybody shocked by this? I'm gonna, I, I always, every Saturday, I try and go until like uh, the DSP okay. thing starts up, like the live, you know? The restreamers start up. They usually start up at like 145 Eastern. That's what I try and shoot for. Sometimes I don't make it. I won't lie. Last week I was dying. Probably covered in mold, but you know. The teacher yelled at me for being late again. Oh. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. Wow, he's an irresponsible dad. Shut the fuck up. Sorry about that, Sean. Next time, wow. we'll really pull it together, okay? Uh, was was there a WPIG show tonight? There will be. Absolutely. I can wow, get. I'll get another link I before I end the stream today for everybody. But yeah, WPIG tonight, 8 p.m. <laughs> East. Anyway, I received a tip here. A $2.25 tip. Would you consider reacting to Mercenaries 2? I think it's one of your first playthroughs. It is one Yo, of the Yo, the pause counter is like really in ban through. world, dude. I haven't when updated it in so long. YouTube, We're just going to add three and, and say it's accurate. I don't even know. I'm too busy watching like Kinetic Sand, dude. I'm on my Zoomer um, shit. <laughs> it wasn't until several months into making content that I decided to actually start playing the entire games. Um... You know, on in the like he's actually so, less uh, interesting yeah, so, than well, kinetic no, no, sand. What are we really doing here, Bapa? I'm so confused. Which is happening? Plus, I'm drunk. This is the content time. people liked back in the day. Yeah, now you're losing to literal the sand. Dark side, the dark side Phil channel is pretty much fair game, right? Still low. Give the All right. thing. It still sounds a bit That's low. Fun. Do you guys want me to adjust the volume a little more? I will. I'll go a little bit louder. Ready? Okay, I went a little like bit. Like actually losing to sand. How insane is that? Here we go. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Wow, what a great energetic kid this is. To Jesus. Sean used to love. If I could figure out how to opacity on uh, OBS, I'd totally just make the kinetic sand overlay on top of his entire everything. But I've never had to opacity in OBS, so I don't know how to do it. And I can't, obviously can't watch a tutorial right now. Sean looks so miserable. I wish I could help him. I'm just not sure I can right now. Poor Sean. He probably got into trouble at school because of me. Of course he did. You whore. <laughs> what am I going to do to cheer him up? Yo, is that all it is? It's just, it, it's just the chroma key filter? I didn't guys, see. Know. I'm glad I asked because I didn't I know. Like, I obviously have used the chroma key filter before, but I didn't know that you could do it specifically to add opacity like that. I'm stupid and dumb. A boomerang? I would have looked it up a eventually. Boomerang? No, not really. I can never make it come back. <laughs> uh oh. Can I give it a try? Heck, I know what's going to happen heck. here. This guy's going to plaster him himself in the face. This is going to be hilarious. Here we go. Get ready. Oh! Oh yeah, it is literally right there. He caught it. Nice. He got it. Nice. Where would he get? God wait a minute. Damn. This is supposed to be Pennsylvania, USA. Where the hell did he get a boomerang from? They're you can like a buy boomerang a boomerang anywhere. What are you talking a about? In a store in the United States, even if this was supposed to be like 2010, 2011, you would never see this. So I don't know where where he get this boomerang from. Where did he was get the boomerang from? K R one. I'm pressing oh, pressing R two like an idiot. R two. <laughs> and here we go to the hole. 
We're only watching sand because you hated Minecraft on parkour, Amazon. even though everybody else Did loved it. On Amazon? I was gonna get a slime ago, video, but then I started looking at him and I was like, wow, wow are all these people touching it, but touching the slime. Yo, I had a boomerang as a kid, so yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. That's right. And for an extra special boost of energy, make sure to be kidnapped by an origami killer when you throw it the first time. There you go. I'm sure you throw it next <laughs> time. mix maybe next time we can, uh, we can uh, get the CSGO go surfing. Uh, Vega with the five earlier. Have you noticed the detractor suffering by watching DSP's react stream to his heavy rain playthrough? Contact 1-800-555-1651 and get them help. I don't remember that part at all. Good job, Sean. See? That wasn't I so totally hard. don't remember that at all. Sure, now now I see everybody was telling me I'm getting handhold. Kind of messed up. Kind of messed up. Nice. Well, that cheered him right the hell up. Holy crap. He's like super happy now. Nice. Son, do you have special needs? Oh. Come on. Happy. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say. That I said 14 years ago. I'm actually upset with myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For God's all right. Sake. That is kind of funny. I'm scolding my old self. Like, shut up, old Phil. Shut up. That boy's having fun. Stop being a dick. <laughs> so, here we go. Part 12 now. Yes, these cuts are quick. It's only 10 minute parts, basically. 10 to 13 minute parts. That was the limit back then. So, that's why you see it like fade to black and come out. We're actually jumping through parts re relatively quickly here in the playthrough. Find something else to do with them. Hey, good morning, we do? Riv Skaz's official barrel furry spank bank of dicks just super jet two bucks. Kinetic sand is hot, exactly. so try really uh, a tongue butthole. I agree. I'm trying to figure anything sitting down. Thank you for the yeah, two, brother. Appreciate it. Exactly. Oh no, that was the end of the sand video. Here you go, son. I'll put you between these other two we parents. Like, yeah. That way you'll have two parents again. He lifts a different kid go. up, throws him away, and puts yeah. Sean between those two people. I haven't been on a seesaw <laughs> in a long time. What do you think? No, I never had a boomerang. Yeah. I think English is your second language, Dad. You should learn how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I got no, I was. I wasn't into boomerangs. I was into. I had. Uh, I like paper airplanes. So I would go like if I went to like a bookstore, I would get like a paper airplane book where you could fold all these different styles of airplanes, which was really neat. And I actually like those foam. They had foam planes. You could pop their pieces out of like a foam. Uh, like was it into boomerang? You pop out like the wings, pop out the body, and you would like fold them all together, and you could throw them. And those things would go real far. Like I would throw it, and that shit would go all the way down the street. I used to play with that kind of stuff. I really liked that stuff when I was a kid. This just in a tragic seesaw incident. <laughs> Children being hurt. He wants you to make him fly. Make him fucking fly. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, you're not doing it right. You gotta push off at the right time. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, well, we're talking about airplane books. We're we talking about uh, lots and lots of jets and planes. Oh my God! Oh. You guys remember that? You can do better than that. Oh. Fun. He's gonna wreck his son. He's gonna impact his spine here. <laughs> here we go. And there so my go. son walked over oh, like yeah, the like the hunchback for the rest of his life. My son loves me! Yay! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and he gets crushed in the balls. What? You gotta be careful there. Land on the ass, not on the balls. <laughs> wow. A happy child. It's got real old real fast. <laughs> A very meaningful and a robust family style moment. DSP yeah. can't relate. Oh, Had to hit you with the goat laugh. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that story. Alright, what else can we do here? Don't want to go too far. I don't know if the slide is too far. Come back to the bench. Yep. <clears throat> How about the swings? No, Mazinger, we're still here. I actually just streamed for hours on a Saturday morning. I love the soundtrack of this game. It's so Every good. Saturday, dude. It's like four hours or something. Good. Stream. We have fun here. We watch uh, hydraulic press videos, oh, and we laugh at the guy. It's so awesome. So dramatic, meaningful, emotional. Love it. 
Uh, I said Shadow Hill, I would style. imagine so. I did all sorts of little things with my dad back in the day that he still recalls, and I do too. It's meaningful moments like that. That that make the difference. DSP was giving him the character <laughs> shit earlier. He's like, oh, he just came in and watched TV. Doesn't want to spend time with you. But it's like that's not Oops. really what it's like, you know. You share little moments, and then for kind of the most part, you just live normal style lives. You can't be up each other's ass all of the time. Motion controls. Yeah. Try it again. Down. There we That's I'd have been so irritated down with my parents if they wanted to like bother me all of the time. Like I, I had hobbies and shit I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such a happy scene. Like in reality, I mean, not, not that I think any of you are going to be surprised by this because this isn't really a spoiler. This is like literally the last happy scene in the whole game. <laughs> like really, it is. Um, it's nice to have this scene considering the um, what's coming next in the game is, you know, so messed up. And in fact, it's almost foreboding. Like, wait a minute. This is supposed to be a game about an origami killer committing serial murders on children. So why is there such a happy scene in there? I think you could figure out why, right? Like, you can kind of tell what's coming. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, I received a tip, <clears throat> excuse me, from Shit Nipples. I was watching your mercy. Hey, shout out shit video. nipples, shit, I guess. Joking. You're totally hammered. You got a yeah. totally oh, yeah. mature crowd. I was very drunk during the mercy chat, stuff obviously. Back in the day. Like, ultra drunk. So, thank you very much for that tip. It was a $1.25 tip. <clears throat> Perhaps something for the future. We'll watch all the videos where I was shit face drunk. Anyway, let's continue. The fucking thing in like 100 miles an hour straight down to get it to, to register. <laughs> Does he have the hydraulic press on when he's commentating? No, I do. <laughs> That's me. It's far more important than the guy, I promise. Look at all the stuff we're crushing. <laughs> that was cool. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to get wet in a game called Heavy Rain. <laughs> it could be deadly. You know, sometimes I remember before... Heck, heck, heck. I said the name of the game, you guys. Wasn't that peak comedy? Aren't you laughing? Just be the way it was before. Well, Me too, Sean. Me too. That's life. That's just like, remember in the very but beginning of the game, the bird up. died? And, and he was all depressed about it. And you basically say to him, so, sometimes in life things just happen that we can't control and you just got to live with them. So that was so foreboding about the brother, right? Yeah, it's almost like, like that like, was the whole point or something. This game huh? is so... The writing is actually quite good in the game. The voice acting is terrible because they all have this weird French-Canadian accent. But the writing itself is very good in this game. Dad, you let the whole family down. Yep, here comes the rain. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Uh, no, stupid. Yeah. So my my wife actually pointed this out. She's my like, wife. So Not the dock. She goes, oh my God. Why is there a paid for carousel in the middle of a public park? Like you would maybe see this at like, like a, an amusement park. Or maybe like a zoo would have like a, a ride area. But this is literally just a public park. And then all of a sudden there's a paid for carousel. It's very odd and out of place. And I thought about it. I was like, she's right. Like this is, if this, especially because it's outdoors. Like wouldn't that be a horrible place? Like carousels generally you want indoors or a way to cover. And this one's just like out in the open. It's very weird. But obviously. Wait, no, you can a, have a carousel a outdoors, is, dude. What, what are you talking about? I'm not letting you run away. Seriously. Get on that fucking horse. I'm gonna tape your ass to the horse so you can't fucking get kidnapped. <laughs> All right. Tie him up. Tie him up with a rope onto the horse. Yeah, an indoor carousel. I don't even. I don't think I've ever seen an indoor carousel. I've seen carousels that have like a. They have a roof over them. One like they're, they, they're built under a roof carousel style ride. structure, but I don't think I've ever carousel seen one I'm in. Sure. Oh, yeah, I guess like at malls and shit, right? You see, like, I mean, honestly, how would they make back their money on that thing? Because that thing's probably really expensive to build and then the upkeep because it's outdoors. You probably have to clean it and dry it and everything. If it's only a dollar a ride, I mean, how many rides could they get on that thing in a day? Like 50? Like 50 bucks a day. I don't know if that's going to ever like be a profitable venture. All right, here we go. <laughs> 
Amazing. Oh no, he's gonna have one of these flashes. Uh oh, oh. Song. Uh oh. Of all the times to have one. When you're with your kid on a carousel. I mean, at least he's not driving a car, right? But still. What the hell's gonna happen? <laughs> he's back on his street. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I failed it. I failed it. I, I hit by the car. I was supposed to press something. What the hell? <laughs> I hit by the car. <laughs> He's back on the same street. What is it with this street? How's it keep getting here? Shut up. Dude, you're obviously not Shut really up. here, dude. He, I don't. Did he make an acoustic joke? He was definitely making some acoustic style noises, though. Uh oh. I think he's a little late to be running back to the park. No, Renee, you're you're on the hook for this one. It's just a bad day at the office for you. Oh shit. Because if you quit, you're not gonna get your severance package, and you're gonna lose out on all your benefits. Dun, 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 dun. The tense music, right? Builds the drama, builds the suspense. What's my it's top really five well burrito places? Um, I cannot over. give okay, my top five burrito part places part without part probably part. doxing myself, so I'm gonna have to uh, say no. Uh, no, stupid. I have to protect my family. <laughs> what protein do I get in a burrito? Uh, typically chicken because it's the cheapest option. If it nice were up to me though, I'd definitely safe. get uh, worry, their right steaks. There. Oh, shit. Burrito places with steak is, is the way, man. This sucks. I'm cheap as hell, so chicken's the option. Wait, it's gotta be. Schizophrenic flashes, you asshole. Good job telling the doctor about that. True, he did not tell the doctor. He could have, but he didn't. Oh no! Oh my god, he's got origami in his hand. Oh no! Yeah, Trip, you have told me that there's a Mexican place that doesn't even do a quesadilla. You had to, like, explain All it right. to him. Good place to split the part here. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching the Retro React to Heavy Rain. I hope you're still enjoying. Uh, now the game gets a lot more serious with all this stuff going on. So thank you very much, and see you in part seven. All right. Thanks, guys. So far, so good. I'm having a good oh, time. Oh, no. Uh, thanks to everyone supporting the this video. hydraulic press video is over. Shout out before we get to the next part. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. We we'll just Epic watched Kirk this one, I guess. Rush to the dollar tip says, do you ever this one's an hour long. A father and son family together in his good times like in Heavy Rain, or it doesn't outweigh all the negatives? Uh, you know, something to be said, because when I was a kid, you know, I had some really good times with my dad. Not all the time, because my dad worked a ton to support us. But the times that I had with my dad, like going fishing with him or, uh, you know, going outside playing catch. We used to go on walks and, and play with a rubber ball on this nice big wall at a schoolyard we used to hang out at. Uh, we used to play badminton in the yard. Like, there was a lot of nice times that I had with my dad growing up. And you might say, well, don't you want to pass Meaningful that style. A, a kid of your own? To some extent, there's been times in my life I've thought about it. But honestly, I don't know. I think the kind of life that I, that I, that I led, the things that I've done, are more for, you know, if any risk is going to happen, it should be adults actually actively choosing to be in that risk like my wife when she met me when dude we to this get is so marriage, sad she knew what she was getting into that I this is actually incredibly sad i don't think this is definitely not the first time we've talked about this before but it's crazy he lets the trolls get this w like the biggest w on the planet a lot like they've decided you're not allowed to have a kid and you let them that's so god damn sad because for some people like having a kid and starting a family is the biggest like life goal milestone style thing in your life for some people and dsp has basically been told he's not allowed to have a kid because he's i guess fearing for his life or something that's i don't know why he lets him win like this and i don't know why he outright addresses that he's letting them win like this 
I, I, I couldn't imagine living in fear the way that DSP does, that he would change his entire life because he's scared of trolls online. I was a YouTuber that sadly people were harassing me all over the internet, all the crap that I was going through. She's well aware of it, right? It wasn't like, oh, she was shocked when we met that this was the case and she, I fooled her into a relationship. I wanted her to understand everything that was going to happen and stuff. And, you know, she still willingly married me. That says something, doesn't it? I mean, obviously. Yeah, she it really says she's stupid. So, that's all, that's all it I mean, says, I dude, that she's stupid and ignorant. Situations that I have to go through with harassment, with financial worries, because people are screwing stuff over for me and stuff. Can you imagine that? Having a kid, and that kid then has to live with all this, this stuff going on. So I think the answer is yes and no. Like, yeah, there's times that I've thought about it, but no, it definitely isn't anything that I would I would do in my life at this point. Um, Because that's not really fair. Uh, I received a dollar fifty tip. Uh, someone asked the same question. But it's not Kirk. It's somebody else. Someone said, "Do you do you feel bad that maybe you'll never have a kid? Did you accept it?" I think I literally I literally just answered that. Did I not? So, <laughs> wow. So two people had exactly the same thought at the same time. Kirk and someone else. You have to have there sex first, and DSP. That, right? Yeah, that's that, the part. Yeah. That's the real well, reason he's not having a kid. He doesn't want to have any sex, generous. dude. That's not Get realistic. This. People in real life don't do that. Uh. Only you nerds in Baldur's Gate 3. $77 tip. Whoa. 77 bucks. Holy moly, that's a huge tip. So let's play the animation for that one. That's going to be the $50 tip animation. Thank you so very much, whoever this is. I'm about to read the message and find out who it is. Thank you so very much. Let's get Gunner Glasses going for that. They said, I love this nostalgia. Thanks so much for the great content, Phil. I've been watching ever since your Arkham Asylum demo footage. Wow. The Arkham Asylum demo. Now, that's really far back. Uh, this is Jared Jackson, by the way. For some reason, my tips always come up anonymous. Stupid PayPal. No, 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 no. The way it works on PayPal is all I get to see is an email address and your message. That's it. So unless you actually put your name into the tip, I will never know who a tip is. Uh, not right. Say, this is PayPal absolutely doxes your full so, name. Thank you so much, Jared. That is amazing. 100%. Percent. PayPal doxes your full name. Do not oh, use PayPal me. for people you do not want to know your full name. No, I don't have a seventy-five dollar animation. It's that there, simple. Like it's been proven point. numerous so, times. He's outright awesome. lying to get now, money. Obviously, to the running total. Let's see how we're doing. That gets us to a hundred and three dollars in tips. Wow! Thank you guys. And we're only in part one for the night. We got many more to come. Thank you for that. And actually, another tip just came in. A $10 tip from Jay Wizard. He says, Jason, I wish I could erase my memory of Heavy Rain and rewatch you play it again. Thank you so much for the great... Oh, my God, content. cringe, shut up. I and wish I could erase like, my you, memory of you playing Heavy Rain so I could like watch Bioshock it again. One, and it's huge plot twist. Heavy Rain and it's ongoing mystery. And then, wow, when you find out what's really going on, like... It's cool because the plot is so well done. At the same time, you really wish you could get that back and get that that feeling of I just don't know what's going on again and trying to figure it out. Right? I dude, love I'm it. there right now. I don't know what's We're going on right now. We're watching around, hydraulic so, press videos. Uh, yeah, we've got this cool. pig in the background talking. Much. We got the we got five dancing in the corner. Thank you, Kirk. Like Thank what you, is Jared, going on here? Thank you, Jared. Obviously for the ginormous tip and whoever that other tipper was. Again, guys, if you like the stream, please support it in some way. Obviously, I'm very happy we just hit a $100 tips goal, so we'll probably do a hat poll uh, in the chat. Let's do a hat poll quickly. JWASO989 has joined the gang. New Phil Goat laughing at old Phil is one of the most annoying things Which on the internet. Which hat is heavy rain? Thank you for the resub the for a month, JWASO. Appreciate it, brother. Hat. I agree. Oh, the DSP laughing at, don't laughing at himself or is terrible. The Los Santos cap. There you go. We'll do those four hats. Oh guys, what hat you got going? Uh in the which one do you think is gonna win? Right now it's beret. What do you think? We only got four votes in. I'll give you a second to catch up. W w which hat we going for here? Me personally, I'm a fan of the uh the cowboy hat, obviously. I think cowboy hat goes hard. It's a classic. That's a throwback style banger. Uh he wear, used to wear for Ask the King, dude. We got one vote for Beret. Boo. Beret. No. 
God damn, cowboy hat. No, no, Nazi hat never wins. Nazi hat's not allowed to be on the board anymore. Cowboy hat. We are divided. We are divided. I'm going for cowboy hat. Thanks Let's go, hat. cowboy hat. So please vote on that. And basically, when the part ends, that's when uh, when we will put on the hat after that. And if any other contributions come in, thank you. Yo, an you know, Atlas hat would go hard if he got a if he got like a wizard's cap you. that was right, purple. That go. would go kind of crazy. Someone. Oh, no, right here, no, 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 like, maybe you could argue, in the in the case of Jason, it really was some bad parenting that he kept letting his kid get away from him, right? In the case of Sean, he blacked out. It's a medical thing, right? At least we think yeah, it is. Yeah, Dark Slayer, Don. We, we talked about that earlier. They don't explain What's those blackouts. About, right? They just kind of uh, um, quit, I don't and know no one ever addresses the them again. Time. It's very robust. Police station, Tuesday, 7.55 p.m., 1.326 inches. The, the rain is apparently accumulating. I think that's what the inch inch calculations are. How much rain is accumulating in town? Break. Jay Wasal, we already did this. Favorite meat in my burrito is chicken, because I'm cheap. That's always the cheapest option. There's another split part. And by the way, hold on one second here. I just want to see something. Epic Kirk rebrushed hit me a dollar, so it's rare. I get parallel thinking with someone else, even with all mirroring going on. Ha ha. There you go. Do you think Thank it's gonna you, take long? Epic Kirk. No, he should be finished soon. Oh, thanks, Miss Snooty Pants. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. So you need to put the glasses on? <laughs> That's right. Play with those glasses. I mean, I'm wearing glasses right now. Why shouldn't he? They're cool. The They're stylish. Dude, he didn't even get paid to Why wear the glasses, glasses though. though. Oh, look at this mini game. Screw the ball, I'm gonna put the tank mini game. What, what is this? What the hell is going on? Here we he go. is playing a mini game. <laughs> Can you believe this? Ball on the wall. Not Mario. That's what no. my dad and I used to call. Remember I just said my dad and I used to go out hanging out. Rest in peace, stuff. Mario. So yeah, my dad and I used to go play with a rubber ball against a, a, a brick wall just like this. We'd throw it and try to bounce it at different angles, and then we'd the other person would have to try to catch the ball, and whoever missed it, that's like Hell, a point so if you get, if they miss it. <clears throat> so now that everyone thinks that you're a crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> You just played invisible ball on the wall. The Galaxy Captain Perry. Sonic, no! They, yo! They put him back up there after he fell. They did Sonic mad dirty. There he is. I'm off, Charlie, and I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. <laughs> oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. He's creepy. He's right behind you. <laughs> you smug motherfucker. Of course, we've been expecting yeah, Chris, Christian's I downstairs crying right, right now, dude. They crushed Sanic. As we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself. Is that is that started. handball he was explaining? Uh, is handball a real time. thing? That sounds like a made up fake uh, game. Like I've done that with my friends before, but I didn't know it had a name. Every day. Finding something to tell him. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him. Well, oh, of course. Do you know how There's absolutely no cases where... Yeah, it is. Shatter Hill, exactly. It, that's what it was to me, a made-up urban-style game. Show up. Ever clash, ever, in any story whatsoever. They've always had perfectly Yeah, wall ball. Like, we just... Hey, you want to throw this ball at the wall and we'll try and catch like, it? No like, that was the game. game. I didn't know how to name. Look at this. But the press 
They're all over us. What are you Sorry, fucking trying his tie for? Case. He's the chief of police. <laughs> Oh, here you go, Chief. Go road his ass. Wobble. This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. See, I never even knew I had a name, Wobble. And the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. Why is he doing this man's tie? With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. Why the hell am I tying this fucker's tie? Exactly. That's what I'm what are saying. You doing? We're all on the same page here, at least. Of course not. <laughs> all I'm asking is that you make progress and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver. Would you like anything else? Some fucking Evian or maybe a crawler, you fucking motherfucker? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, gosh. M Maguro san says, take a look behind them. For some odd reason, the police station's front door faces at like an on ramp. Either for like a, like a parking lot or a highway. I mean, you're right. I guess maybe like people would have to frequently visit. I, it's almost confusing. Like they thought that the police station was a hospital. Like a hospital, that would make sense. But not really a police station. Like how many people are going to freaking be at the police station at once, right? Why do you need a parking lot there? It's a little weird. Asshole. In fact, you just want to so open access to the Charlie street, she'll show right? You to your office. My office? Check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Thank you, sir. May I tie another? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. As you get Perry's assistance, show me. This my whole eye. stream is weird, and DSP. I don't know why you thought this was a good idea. So he's setting up and shots. to me, this was like this was this is the pinnacle of DSP throwbacks, right? Yeah, okay. Like the Heavy Rain playthrough. Been a fan it's since Heavy work. Rain, That's classic meme. No, this fact. is one of his most popular playthroughs ever. He should have something important to say, and he and he just does it. Like this is what we're stuck here doing. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. I'm we're sitting here watching hydraulic press videos. I have a look around the station. Ah, just go drink out of the toilet. If you can't find the water cooler. Where is the water cooler? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Blake's right over here. I thought here he is. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case. I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. No. Uh, blows him off. Just uh, let me know when you're available. You know, Asshole. he's literally here to only work on this case with what Blake. Do you want to talk and about Blake just blows size? him right off. What a dick. <laughs> That'll be a quick conversation, because I've got the biggest. What? You see these holding cells? There's no one in oh, there. Yeah, any of these What's cells? the point of these cells? Oh, I think there is a point to those cells later, if I remember Charlie, correctly, right? in a certain scenario. I think it makes sense later. What the hell is this? A training class? I've never seen anybody play this game and have such a miserable time with the oh, movement the either. It's like he doesn't understand how fixed camera angles work. You can constantly see him like, uh, so, like moving the wrong direction because the camera changed. How weird that this is just in the game right now, right? Now, if those of us who have played it know, actually this is important to the plot. So this is the present that is given to cops when they reach a certain level. And then they, a lot of cops who basically like retire should have this watch. <laughs> there you go. Huh. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. There you go. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Because isn't it weird that it's just out of, of place that that's there? It's like, what? Larry what does it have to do with anything? Head. I'll be sure to do that, sir. You never know when it'll come in handy. He's covered in mud. Perry says His you pants. can show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Maybe like a shower, too. <laughs> you pig. Looks like you rolled around outside. Captain Perry. Nice. My name is Office, apparently. No. No. <laughs> name my name is What's Office. Comments? My favorite my show about I'm karma, dude. Shit. That's where I was told to take you. you. Remember that classic line? If you need anything, you know where to find me. <laughs> I was also told to lock this door and throw away the key. <laughs> yeah, I ordered the extra cockroaches. I don't see them. <laughs> okay, time to work. I also don't see the douche gel that I ordered. 
astronaut, no, I'm not going to explain the watch right now, but it is one of the many clues. This game has a ton of clues. Yeah, exactly, expand it on. Like it, it, that is actually an observation run, that sudden, could have been funny. My name's off, egg, egg, egg. But like, the first run's really confusing, but if you watch it a second time, you're like, oh, wow. That's exactly if old DSP doesn't ruin it, new so DSP will. Not the Mac rules. No. It was like delicious. If you go back and watch this playthrough a second time, you'll be like, aha. Oh, wow. Now I see it. Okay? So there you go. By the way, I appear to have received yet another very generous tip. So Jared just did another whopping $36 tip. He says, okay, another I guess food, but I'm done for the night. My back hurts from carrying this with tips. Joking, joking. Thank you, Jarrett. Awesome, man. I mean, thank you so much for supporting the Throwback channel. I really do appreciate that. I'm happy that people are liking this stuff on this channel so much, especially these streams. Seems like you guys are really enjoying it. He's going to come across streams, a playthrough so where he I'm down there goes Chicky Chang Wang and you them think he's skipping those. Uh, to see them. That's okay. the um, so I'm down, MGS3 down one, there. isn't it? So with that, now we have hit $150 in tips. He might, he might watch that eventually. Tonight. Did I ever think I'd be wearing a vest on the Throwback stream? No, I did not. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, looks like you guys have voted for the red fedora, correct? It looks like that's what we're doing for the hat. Oh, no. Red fedora one? So Whack. allow me to go grab that for you. Cowboy oh hat gang. Put that on, and then we'll do a vest for... A vest. We'll do a poll for the vest and uh, and go from there. Cool. The red fedora is the worst. I know it, it gets... I forgot where I was. Um, if only... But I seen people popping off for the red fedora, red vest combo one time, and I thought everybody there was guarded because the red fedora looks terrible. It looks so stupid. Because it's a nice fedora, but obviously... Like, there's something about a grown 41-year-old man cop, wearing a fedora that actively murder, pisses me off. You probably don't want to wear off. a bright red fedora. This sucks. I'm just saying. Kind of stands out. <laughs> but uh, a nice hat nonetheless. Thank you so much. All right, let's do a quick... Uh, a quick poll for a vest, and I'll probably put that on in the next part of this uh, playthrough. Oh, I have to end the existing poll. Oops. Get in that poll. Start up the new one. So, which vest is heavy rain vest? Oh, man. Vest? Which vest is the red, heavy rain vest? The McFly, the denim. Or denim. the gold, a gaudy gold vest. All right, there guys, which vest are we going for? All right, cool. Let's continue. I actually don't want to. Yeah, I go for denim. I'm going, going denim vest. Oh, they won't let me. I Derek, have a good night. Conference. Fuck. Derek, get the hell out of here. We're talking to me. I was hoping maybe I get a couple more clues, but I guess not. So now, clean that shit off. That's how I clean stuff off. Oh, shit. God damn, it's dirty. <laughs> I just say, get all the shit out of the way. Ah, onto the floor. Flip the table. Flip it. Little did I know this would become a game later. An actual flipping the table game. It exists. No, but that's it. that's exactly what I'm saying, Bonsai Boy. This Heavy Rain playthrough being his peak is it's still pretty shit. Absolutely. This is his uh, most popular playthrough. This is what everybody's stuff, the biggest fan of. Fan of since Heavy Rain. God, you were so funny. And like, this is what we're doing here. And I'm just going to investigate evidence while sitting at the desk here through his eye Step glasses. one. Change the office. Here we go. This is cool. This is AR before AR existed. Like this, you now he's going to pick explain uh, AR. This kind Very of stuff cool. Can here. Now everyone's seen AR technology on their this. phones and VR, you know, VR headsets and stuff. Everyone's seen this before. I don't have any clue what these are. Let's find let's this. Look at this. Boosh. Smash that shit. Holy crap, where am I? No. I'm on Mars or some shit. What's the point of this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Compared to, no to Spoonie's Peaks, like the Ultima series, uh, like reviews that he did. Not God, those are I. so good. I don't know shit about Ultima. What the hell? Now I'm he made me care about Ultima. What's a paladin? Desert. I don't know. Like some tropical island. Like a rainforest plateau what the or hell something. Is this one. <laughs> Hershey Kissland. Oh wait, underwater. Under the sea. Oh my God, we're under the sea. <laughs> Where's the big daddy? Yes. And then what's this final one? Maple Leaf. Probably a autumn woods somewhere. Or Toronto Maple Leafs hockey game. Or we're in the middle of a very 
fall looking forest. It's kind of nice. That's common. This is a nice, relaxing one. All right, I think I'm going to go to. Oh, no. see what I want. Like I want to go on the, the sea, on the, the sea. <laughs> oh, yes. Good. Yeah, the ultimate retrospectives are a little boomery. I do Sometimes I can ap appreciate a boomer style. Every all right, now what do I do? Clear all. Pick this one. I choose you, Pikachu. It says Where clear I all. I pre Dude, I. how do I select it? I'm pressing everything. Hoi! Fuck. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, all right, now I can look through clues now that I'm underwater. Excellent. Very nice. I should have known. You have to go underwater to look at your clues. It's just so logical. Oh, all another right. part. So now that we're all Got that under split. the sea matrixed out, let's check out some clues. <laughs> Oops. Under the sea matrixed What's in the box? out. Bro, what in the box? are these What's in the words? Box? You're so what do we got here? Analyze. How do they go to get that like reference? This? That's another murder mystery. Ooh, look at this fucking thing. Chevro Chevy this Malibu. This car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Huh. You're going to notice in the game, they say things very oddly. Like instead of saying a 1983 an or an 83 Chevy Malibu, you say a Chevy Malibu 83. Who says the year last? Right? Who the hell uh, says that? Uh, dude. I do. Anybody could I say know, that. It's so confusing. They do that. They do everything. Why is this something we're nitpicking? Dialogue. You could tell that it's not a native English speaker who like wrote all the dialogue. It's very bizarre. Okay. Why did he just throw everything away like an asshole? Because he is an asshole. Ah, that sucks. Geoanalysis. So that's supposed to show like locations where these clues can be found on a map or something. One, do cops say it like that? I don't know. Never talk to a cop. The coming water bubbling sound around you. Oh, why would I? Ah, ah, ah. It is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Ah, eh, so that's not going to help. help. Orchids are not rare in Philadelphia, apparently. A flower of the orchid family, a funeral flower. A common species. That doesn't help much. Nah, too common to help us. Okay. Check out the next one. The origami. The origami. No, you said it wrong. Origami. <laughs> no prints or specific clues. Mm, nothing much to go on. Huh. I'm sure there's not going to be any geo analysis. Anybody restream? Okay, because it's about that time, folks. Oh. Really? Well, maybe we'll check that out then. That's a lead. Let's clear these clues. Hang in. Bang. Shit off my desk. How dare you. Files. Virtual files. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to file my taxes. Here they are. <laughs> oh. All right. We're done here. That's it. We're done. That's it. Yeah. DDM's up. Bra fills up. Here's a link for anybody who wants it for later. It's the scheduled stream for 8 p.m. tonight over on WPIG for Axe the King. Um, tomorrow... We will be doing the Sunday React with Ink Blessing. For anybody who wasn't here and get didn't get the schedule segment earlier, Sunday React tomorrow, all day long. We'll be here, hanging and banging with the gang. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the Heavy Rain style. I wanted to check it out. I didn't have any expectations for it, and I was still very disappointed. Um, sorry to, I did that all to you. We had 53-some-odd pauses, probably more than that. It sucked, but I had fun hanging with y'all. I will redirect all of you guys to Raw Phil so that you can watch the pre-stream restream if you'd like. Uh, I will be. That's usually where I watch it at. So, again, thanks everybody for tuning in. Hopefully I'll see you tonight and tomorrow. Bye-bye.